Right, it is an absolute Saturday watch along to behold in the next three and a half hours with us at cricket.com. I'm back in the comfort of my beautiful Bangalore and with me, of course, the guys who starred yesterday with Akshay Kumar Swami. So just a straight swap, like for like, even though I'm a better looking lad. We have, of course, Nikhil Popa with us on the left, the fantasy guru. You guys must have known him. If you guys don't, what the hell are you guys doing in your life? And of course, another man who's going to be making his second appearance on cricket.com. But before we introduce Jeet, straight away an inside edge to third man. And that's an indication of things to come, guys. Because remember, Paddy Cummins winning the toss and choosing to bowl. I don't know how lucky he is with tosses over the years with Australia, but he's certainly bringing it to the party here. Jeet, you're telling me you're a KKR fan tonight. Why is that? Well, look, this time, I've got high hopes from them. After the debacles that they have been having for years and years with their squad selection, their opening combinations, this year, they seem to have got quite a few things rectified. Yeah, rectified indeed. Now, Nick, I'll come to you because uh, you look at their opening pair. Yeah. Last year, they used eight combinations, yep. the most for any team. And again, yeah. no surprises, Salt and Narayan. Yeah, turning by the clock, I just don't know which way it will go. The right way or the wrong way, but... Experiments are something that KKR never stopped doing and uh, they are just straying to their true elements. True <laughs> elements <laughs> indeed. And that is a perfect way to, of course, show you some stats on this watch along. You'll get everything. You'll get absolutely everything. Promise you that. And if you want more, check out the cricket.com app because make no mistake, it's refreshed. It has a brand new fantasy tinge to it. And also, this fantastic content to check it out. Not just in the studio, but even outside fan cams and all of that. We'll tell you about the team changes and much more because it is going to be some joy in the city of joy tonight because the Eden Gardens is a special game to watch cricket. I'm guessing play cricket for those 22 guys out there as well. Right. Uh, essentially, you've seen me in my true element all the time, but I'm not happy, guys, with these two elements, guys. I'm honestly not happy, but I'm bloody delighted because I'll tell you why. I'm a guy who likes to snack, essentially, very healthy. I've been uh, consciously doing it, subconsciously doing that for the last two or three years. So all of this is literally candy for me. It's like I'm a kid in a candy shop, but go check them out. The link's in the description over there. Ooh, and straight away, a Yorker, brilliant. And that's Boovy being in his true element. Yeah. Plug in for that. Right. Um, what about Eden Gardens and the toss? Because even I was looking at those numbers last year, it's even Stevens, four and three in terms of batting first, batting second. So there's nothing to choose there, right, Jeet? Well, nothing to choose, but this is what you get quite often initially in the tournament. And this is a very good point that Ricky Ponting had made a few years ago. Yeah. Wherein what the teams like to do in the first half of the season is to opt to bowl first. Since they are very uncertain about the conditions and they need a target that they need to chase. Yeah. In the second half of the season, it's more about setting the targets so that the batters have got into the groove. They know they can bash. They know the target that they can give the bowlers to defend. So, this is a kind of pattern that we have seen previously as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, let's see how it is because two IPL veterans going at each other straight away and talk about two T20 veterans as well because Gautam Gambhir and Daniel Vittori in terms of coaches over here and none of them are going to kind of blink because they're shooting their own ways. Phil Salt, he's been phenomenal as an opener. I think 15 innings, he has a pass of from 208 next. I was just yeah. looking at that data pack. Ridiculous. But I think Booby could get him out here Ooh. with a little in-swinger. And straight away, if you guys are watching on Geo Partners, we're watching on Star, so that's slightly quicker. And a shout out to all you cool cats joining us on a Saturday. You guys could go probably to a nice club. You guys could go to a nice restaurant, but you're here with us at cricket.com. We really, really appreciate that. Let us know your thoughts straight away because there are prizes to be won as well with regards to the first innings prediction. If I'm kind of feeling it all right, I could even throw in a power play prediction over there. But, Nick, I want to ask you. There's so much talk about bloody Hyderabad and who they're going to be playing in terms of four foreigners. It's basically Pat Cummins in South Africa. Yeah, very good. Jansen, Klaassen, and who else? Who's the And who are we missing? Markham. And Markham. 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 Oh, yeah, Interestingly, another one who's benched is Ben Phillips, who's actually born in South Africa as well. Exactly. And Head and Hasidanga has not been in the bench, Nicks. Yeah, What's I think happening? Firstly, I'm just glad that they did not go the head way because they just picked it. Yeah. I think we've all had that discussion in a long way in our previews as well that why. You have to trust Abhishek Sharma up top. Correct. So, hopefully, that he's the guy who's going to come in as the impact sub. Uh, and yeah, I, I think Jared also echoes those thoughts. The no head is good. I mean, hopefully, yeah. that, that head is there, yeah, but yeah. not this one. And see, the thing with uh, Makram and Klassen and others is they know their jobs very, very well. Yeah. If they get a good start, I know that is a problem and we'll discuss about that. But one of the wasn't available. Okay. So, I think that Fair. probably made that call easier for them to probably play Makram. But I'm still very happy. 
or no Travis Hill. Yeah, no Travis Hill. What did you make of that? Because was that like a eyebrow raising thing for you when you saw the toss in the teams? So personally, I was massively in favor of backing the Indian trio for the top yeah. order. They have been proven performers. I'm sure it's going to be Abhishek Sharma, like Nick said, who will be swapped in as the impact player. And to party at one yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fair. With Agarwal opening. I mean, let us know what you guys think as well. Jaren, good to see you. I'm guessing there's a lot of familiar faces or names that we can see in the chat. Just keep those comments coming through right now because it's going to be a lot of swing, even though it's almost a case of spinning it to winning it traditionally here at the KKR. Uh, is this a good move to open with Narayan? It pushes everyone one place down to their preferred position. Look, Priyanshu, you got to factor in Gautam Gambhir and how he's going to be rejuvenizing these guys. He's worked with Narayan. He honestly was uh, a huge kind of son under Gambhir, I feel, with that 2012-2014 success. So maybe you talk about good management skills, maybe Gigi will get something out of Narayan here and flabbergast all of us. But there's also the point of Winky Ayer having an average of 7.6 yeah. against this side. But he also struggles at the Eden, right? I think all yeah, he his... A, yeah, Eden last year, he had a tough time at Eden. So maybe that is just a punt that they're happy to take. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, the punters had his game done earlier. <laughs> but yeah, KK are happy to see. It's, it's a move that is always debated. Some are in favor, some are against it. But see, as long as it works out for the team in terms of it helps others bat at a good rate. Who are we to complain then? Yeah, Jadson to salt. Ooh. Oh, gone, is it? No. Yeah, that's off the like now, one second. It's tomato, tomato, but Jansen or Jansen, guys, because I know I'll get pelters in the comments, but this has always confused me. Like, even football names don't confuse me as much as Marco Jansen or Jansen. Jansen. It's Jansen. Jansen. It's Jansen. Okay, it's Jansen. If you guys remember your James Bond stuff, there was a villain called Jansen as well. So go check that out. Speaking of checking things out, I did have the liberty and the privilege to interview Brad Hogg, who was wow. associated with KKR. He features in the latest episode of Unwind. He's spoken everything, and I mean absolutely everything, from IPL cheerleaders to RR's ban. That's such a story and everything that you guys want to know. And if you guys are wondering why me, Jeet, and Nick are kind of cockeyed, we aren't, because the TV is slightly <laughs> elevated above the camera, so we're literally pandering to that and we're trying to make as much as contact with the comments and the TV over here. Right, 1.25 for none and what we've seen so far is a little play and miss. I want to ask you boys and the chat power play predictions from the get-go. What are we thinking here? 48 for two. 48 for two and Salt slashes away six. and slashes six. away for six. six. Plenty of joy in the city of joy because that is definitely the first maximum of um, I don't know, the Eden Gardens this year's IPL. So he's saying 48 for two, and that was just before the six was hit. What are you going for, Jeet? I'm going for 50 plus. Somewhere around like 44, sorry, 54, 55 mark for the loss of one wicket, which could probably be Sunil Narayan. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a good call. 54 for one, 48 for two. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. And Shonak, you can, of course, flash the scores whenever you feel uh, you get good enough responses. Let's also put a light poll out there on YouTube. Uh, Who is going to be raking in the two points tonight? Because... Last year, I think it was a similar opening fixture, and it was Harry Brook who dazzled that night, and SRH won by 23 runs. But head to head oh, wise, six, no, yeah. oh, so yeah, it is. has be. to be. It has to be. So he's taking his man on here, Salt, and it's going to be a good battle here. But yeah, just come back to that head to head and all of those numbers because we can put that out of the way. Essentially, KKR have always had srh on toast like 16 to 9 in terms of ipl record but last year like i mentioned harry broke an srh pocket of the win so do you think it'll be deja vu or do you think you still think look there is always a chance of a deja vu yeah srh look it's my perception of srh whenever i hear that name i have no hopes yeah <laughs> in terms of the performances but this year some of the names that they've managed to include yeah are some big names and they've got their balance Fairly well settled. It's much better than how it was in the previous seasons. I believe once Vanandu Hasaranga is back, yeah. I feel that balance is going to get even better. But Som called it even in the power play. I mean, power play I'm saying oh, in the preview. That's another six. Boy, Salt oh, is going for oh, it. This is absolutely brilliant batting from the Englishman. But Nick, I was going to ask you with regards to how... Yeah, the, the hitting is crazy, but... With regards to Hasaranga not being available, once he comes back into the scheme of things, do you think Markande, he has to feature and really do well tonight? Because even Soam said he'd rather see Markande over Hasaranga. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think even for that, I think the point was to just find a way to play Markram. Yeah. And if, if it meant that missing one Hindu for that reason, he was happy to take that call. So, I think for just to have that 
option it's also how it's also crucial to see how marco ends and goes here because then effectively at times you're just eliminating options more than picking correct so if he has a poor outing like he's he had this world cup uh, this problem in the world cup as well where he would spray a bit the ball around yeah he get hit earlier when he got it right he get he was great yeah but then you can't afford to lose a uh, no give it that, oh, that's a good, good ball. ball good comeback oh yeah, there's trouble in the non striker oh he's gone, he's gone. He wasn't really? even like Naren wasn't throwing in a dive there. Yeah, That's man. brilliant from Shahbaz Ahmad, ex RCB. Get in there, lad. Yeah. Brilliant. What a direct hit, though. And KKR lose their first wicket. Gumby must be fuming. But good ball, good cricket all around, essentially. Salt immediately said no. I mean, not immediately, but like fractions after. Oh, but you no, feel no. like Sunil Lara is carrying a bloody injury the way that he didn't even throw his. His body smart. in the line, G. That's or, how he is. That's his body smart. language. He's, he's very smart. He knew he had no chance. So he doesn't. He, he doesn't want to pull a hamstring straight yeah. away. Fair, fair. But yeah, 23 for one. And next, you call it. There was going to be a wicket in the power play, and there is one. He's called two. So let's see how that goes. Abhishek Shishar says he's looks. I mean, look. This is exactly what Jeet asked me, and I want to kind of say that I was itching for Stark to do well. Good old RCB guy. But I'm reverse jinxing it because I'm not really a big fan of Gautam Gambhir after what he did. Uh, from an LSG point of view. But good old Gotham and me have had some good moments on this very channel. So Gotham, if you're listening, obviously you aren't because you're on the dugout. Uh, do give us a like. Uh, what do you guys think about the pitch? Uh, what is it? It's not a traditional Eden wicket. Is it the World Cup wicket that we saw? No chance, right? I don't think so. I mean, there were a lot of talks about this track supporting the KKR spinners. So a pitch, yeah. idea to the KKR spinners being prepared. Yeah. But interestingly, the curator said, yeah. well, there's going, there's going to be no home advantage for KKR this year. So, right now, there is a bit of movement, but it's too early to judge until unless the spinner comes on. Okay, here he is, Wanky Iyer. Will he yeah. fire tonight? Because they have another Iyer after that. Uh, Rishik Agarwal, thank you so much. Uh, please do ask no. us any question. And we'll be continuing. And straight away, another indication of some good swing early on. Um, Shana, more comments to just keep unfolding. Because like we'll try to make everyone feel special, even if... We might be rambling across in this watch long. What would Papa Ponting blame this season on? Good that you reminded me. It's a great segue to just quickly talk about that result. Because, I mean, Delhi were out, I feel, what, in that 17th, 18th over before Abhishek Purel, maybe the best impact sub ever so far. Uh, quickly, guys, your two pence on that result. Was it sort of inevitable? Well, I did feel it's inevitable. Yeah. The PBKs, again, this time around, they were looking quite good. Yeah. DC still have quite a few gaps. And the fact that there's no Anrik Nokia yet. Oh, Paul. Oh, yeah. That was always going to have a big contribution to how the bowling resources revolve around. Then that unfortunate injury to Ishan Sharma. Yeah. I'd like to point out one thing. Yeah. Sumit Kumar making his debut. That guy's a new ball bowler. Yeah. His first over came in the 11th over of the innings. Yeah. It's not going to work out, is it? Yeah, and I just generally feel like if they do their homework or are they kind of just front-loading the other options? Because I know it's still early days for Sumit Kumar. It's his debut, right? Yeah. So, look, let's see how that goes forward for him. But, Nick, were you surprised straight up with them? Oh, boy. Oh, what a ball. Yeah. Saul. Oh, he's so good. He's, he's been off to How old is Booby is the question? Because he's literally turning back the clock bowling like this. I yeah, mean, we know... He's good as in the clock, though, but they're not... I mean, literally outswingers to start the over. Just on that Delhi game, Nick, because... Yeah. Even you called some of the matchups in the fantasy that you did in terms of the preview. But were you yeah. surprised, surprised with the result or not really? I think I was, I felt like we would be in for a surprise when they were 94 for 2. Okay. And then they went on to become 128 for 6. Yeah. That was and collapsed. Yeah. So the only person I felt bad was for sure. Uh, because, I mean, he's, but he, had, he had high hopes. Yeah, he had high and hopes. And hopes did well. Yeah, and hopes did well. But yeah. at the mid innings mark, after yeah. that old Pharrell sort of cameo, did you feel like, okay, fine, they had the run for the board now? If yeah, they had, I think, had they taken a few more uh, early wickets, I think Khalil had a very off first over. And that kind of just pushed them too far back. Yeah. And I think Dhawan was trying to, I mean, it's crazy now that we've had discussions over every game's visualization. And both me and G discussed about how Dhawan could again get a quick start. Without making it big. Yeah. Because he has an average of 30 odd, but striking at 140. And exactly something similar panned out. So I think had they kept taking wickets, when based also got out, we felt there was a chance. But Sam Karan. Uh, but do you know whom DC would be missing right now? It's this man right here, Phil Salt. Yeah. This guy is smashing. Well, oh, it. you oh. want them to take another keeper? Okay, great. Well, they shouldn't <laughs> have taken five wicket keepers. Yeah, That's a big problem. Five keepers today. I think, yeah, he did, he did shine as well for Delhi a little bit, right? Phil Salt. 
Well, yeah, we did. Yeah. Maybe maybe they heard Paji screaming about so many openers, yeah. so many openers, so they're on the wrong way. Yeah, and Kailash, you're right. I mean, that summed up Delhi's evening. Yeah. Warner dropping catch. I mean, you don't really accept, expect it. People are screaming in the office, Warner, you're washed, Warner, you're washed, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Even Tristan Stubbs put yeah. down yeah, Sam Stubbs, Carter, Sam Carter, that, that was a crucial point. away from Ayer for a single. So, look, they dragged it back well in this movie over, even though yeah. that Marco Jansen over went for 20. Um, 27 for 1, 3 over. So keep your comments coming through because you're watching the cricket.com watch along. We'll be doing more watch alongs tomorrow night. Is an absolute humdinger again with all those fascinating subplots. GTVMI and man oh man, that Hardik Bandia derby. Indeed. Chichan saying Paji already knew DC women was going to choke in the final. The DC finished last in the IPL and he took a break from CDC. I mean, I honestly, we asked him in that last episode on MNL as well, like, how much are you going to be inclined towards the IPL? And he said, no, I'm not having it. Absolutely not. I don't know whether he's lying to us, maybe secretly watching on his phone under his blanket. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, Paji hopefully he comes back. Um, also, let us know that live poll, KKR SRH. I just want to know the community, how much you guys still think about purple tonight or orange. Uh, I'm misleading y'all. It's a reverse jinx, like what Aksha was trying to do in that CSK RCB watch yesterday. What's happening? Thank, yeah, thanks for calling it out for, oh, for once. I and mean, you know what? Like, I felt, and I'm going to say this <laughs> not with the benefit of hindsight, but I always kind of slightly knew that CSK would be tricky, man. It's the champions in their own den. It's historically against us. You felt the writing's always on the different wall. But, like, my Dagger and, of course, Anish Dagger. Big positives with regards to that. But coming back into this, oh, good stop. Great good feeling, Eden Markram. And the Trojans' first ever ball of IPL 2024. How much should this band stay fit? Yeah, I, I'm not even insinuating the World Cup chat just for SRH next, the Trojan, because he's such a good bowler. Yeah, and he's had a tough time, uh, you know, in terms of form and fitness, both been part of the setup and then been completely out of it. Yeah. And which is, again, it's given opportunity for us, the to come into the setup and then have a have a time. So I think if he remains fit, we did we discussed yesterday as well. It's better that India have more options with people in rhythm. Yeah. Because we know injuries happen. And it is best if you have people in form so that they're easier to replace. And then you're not asking somebody who's not played for two years. No, I agree. To be to be back in the setup. Just 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 one 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 week before the World Cup. But even in terms of SRH, how many death bowling options they've got? They've got Bhuvi. <sighs> you can't back Someone like Pat Cummins, who's got a woeful yeah. record everywhere. Yeah. So that is what makes Nattu even more important for this yeah. particular side. So that they've got somebody to partner up with Bhuvi from the other end. Yeah. And even from an Indian lens, we were talking about in which IPL 2022, I think it was, where there were just a few Thora left armors doing well that season. You think about Mosin, uh, think about all the other ones who are doing well at that point in time. Sanjay, good evening. Good to see you. And if you guys are watching us right now on YouTube, please give this video a like because it helps with the fucking algorithm. Please, pardon my French, but honestly, it does help us a lot. Not to to Wenki Ayer through the offside. Oh, that's gone. Not through go. that's the Wenki. offside. Straight through. What's the average? Yeah. 7.6. 7.6. He's got average of 7. 7 of 5. Thanks for coming, Wenki. I was almost like crash bang and wall up in many ways. 32 for 2 now. And Pat Cummins, it seems like wherever you go, sir, you're just getting that bloody winning formula, but still early in the game. 3.3 3 overs in. Remember, power play predictions have closed in this ball. So quickly, you have another 30 seconds to let us know. You have another 15 balls to let us know the power play predictions. And we will, of course, hand it through. Uh, 48 for 2, this gentleman said. This gentleman on on the right of me said 54 for 1, if I remember correctly. So 32 for 2 already. And Shreya Sire now, who said he's fantastic, feeling fit, feeling fresh after he was questioned at the toss about his back. So let's see how that is. Sorry, Kushal, uh, I've been uh, parking that question for a while because <laughs> I've just been going on and uh, I'm in good spirits as you can see. Adam had two elements, not to forget. Uh, also, why in the name of the hell is Narayan opening? They have good batting lineup to drop. We just answered that just earlier, if you're tuning in right now. It's maybe Gotham Gabi's man management of Samuel Narayan. Maybe he might not open the next game, but maybe it was yeah. just a move which could have kind of thrown Pat Cummins and that particular set of tactics off the chart. But Look, it was a run up from Shabazz Ahmad. Yeah. Uh, Avnish is not audible. Wow. Not audible. I don't think I ever imagined hearing or uh, reading that. That's ridiculous. Well, actually, yeah. coming back to that opening point, this actually could be a pretty interesting thing. We don't know what has happened behind the scenes, right? Maybe Gauti would have wanted Sunil Narayan to open, but then someone like Chandu Pandit might have wanted Venkatesh here to open that yeah. MP connection. No, indeed. Ooh. Am I audible now? 
Is it better now? Oh, I need to switch it off and on. Then so, yeah, Nix, short balls coming? Yeah, we discussed, we discussed this uh, in terms of, you know, uh, what are the numbers for uh, KKR batters with short ball? I think they've had, what, 45, 45 dismissals, dismissals since IPL 2022? The most for any side. Yeah, exactly. Against short balls and back of end balls. And this guy is no good, is he? I think he'll come good. That's, I'm banking on him to come good. But, of course, and in all the games so far, that's that. Oh, oh my, god. my god, it's gone for a touch. Is captain Cummins takes yes. Iron mid off. And can you believe it? KKR in their own backyard up against it 32 for three. And Orange is certainly seeming playing over purple momentarily. Jeet, talk to me. Shreya Sire, he's come and gone in the blink of an eye, man. Man, this is you're throwing a wicket away. I understand Jesus. he was trying to clear the infield, but man, what are you doing? That's what are you doing? Yes, sir. That's not even a short call, sir. That's not even a short call. And not who has the last laugh. Oof. Knicks. I mean, I don't know how much DSI yes, had featured in any of your fantasy picks, but did he? He did. He did. He did. Okay, fine. That's up to the team of Chin then. But yeah. again, what do you put that down to? I think he was just wanting, see that, that is something that I keep saying that has happened with Shreyas, that he's wanted to impose himself. Yeah. And you can see that very well, whichever format he plays into. Sometimes you just are a bit too early into it. And I think that was the case today. I think he was, I wouldn't say he was waiting for the short one. Maybe he was anticipating one. Yeah. He felt it is up and he wants to drive. But also good catch. Uh, some days it just goes over, some days it misses it. No, indeed. And it's a fine line, right, with regards to how things are in this game. If that went yeah. over his head, G. Yep. And got four. We would have been like, you know what? Go short. Yeah. From the catch. Exactly. Intent, intent. Let's go wires back, baby, and all of that. But he's perished. He asked for this, by the way. Uh, this is audio problem. But hopefully this one is a good one. But Shreya Sayer, he had those back spasms for a while. Yeah. Then he came directly into the finals for the Ranji. Yeah. Again, he suffered with those same back spasms. Yeah. But I remember quite particularly well when Vidarbha started bowling shot straight away as soon as Shreya Sayer walked in and they managed well, to get him out. Final. Ranji final, oh straight away God. from ball one and it worked. It's like a child bowls to Shreya Sayer in the street and probably bump him out. Anyway, Natu is fucking brilliant this over, guys. Oh my God. You know God. what this reminds me of? Mustafa's? Oh yeah, exactly. I was, yeah. I was about before, to say that. Just before the I start of the over, that. I felt, can he do it? Exactly. Please? I should have what just said it out loud. What is in the evening games of IPL 2024? What is it with him? Mustafa's rule last night. It is, of course, not to tonight. Two for five in that over. And again, he's done a wow with regards yeah. to ending that over well. Wicked dot, wicked dot, wicked. I mean, wicked dot, wicked dot. Now, who's going to close up the power play? If you think Booby on the trot, Z in the trot. Yeah, you wouldn't mind that. And uh, I don't know if this is the right time, but I think Pat wouldn't, wouldn't mind having a bowl here. At yeah, I'm thinking Pat as well. Yeah. Probably one over the new ball. Am I audible, ladies and gentlemen, boys <laughs> and girls, aunties and uncles? Am I? I think that Not am I, am I playing tomorrow? Yeah, right. okay, yeah, yeah. Play tomorrow. <laughs> this IPL, almost every team has strength and weakness. No one can yep. actually say which team will be the top for sure. Yeah, I mean, actually, that's a really good thing to even ask you fans and maybe try to do some content around it in terms of locking in your top four right now in the second watch it long, and then maybe featuring it on our fan board later. So, oh, Cummins, oh. first ball is SRH captain, and it is to Phil Salt. So, a little ashes battle going on here. I don't know if Salt will the ashes in his life. What's his obsession with Gigi with Narayan the opener? I don't know, man. You tell me. It's one of his sons that like I termed it. And I don't know how you guys feel about that. KKR fans, let us know in the chat. Please like this video if you guys are SRH fans. You guys must be absolutely buzzing on Saturday night. 32 for 3. And Cummins just like, I don't know, messing the hair not to who would have seen nah. that coming. Nah. Who would have seen that coming? Nah. IPR just brings you these moments. Not, not, not after Gaba, but yeah. Not after Gaba, yeah. <laughs> not after yeah, Gaba. That's a good point. That's a good point. They have a fielder in the deep over there, Mike Agarwal, who refused to come on the cricket.com and wine, join the IPL, but he said oh. he'll give me his time, post it. Why is Glenn Phillips sitting out? Um, it's just a problem of plenty. I don't know. And he's, of course, not South African. That, that's a huge <laughs> credit at night, clearly. And he's and, born in South Africa. And maybe it's Cummins again, just trying to get the best out of his team because he knows South Africa exited the competition here in the World Cup. <laughs> he's just making them, you know, getting the best out of them. I knocked you all out here the last time we were on this ground. But look, we're teammates now. So deliver for me. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe that's messaging. 33 for 3, 4.2. Obviously, we were just slandering Cummins the bowler a while ago. <laughs> but do you think with this captaincy hat on, you can see, I don't know, Cummins 2.0 the bowler? Well, Cummins has 
Look, I was actually going through his numbers, his okay. performance in India in any format of the game. You talk about tests, you talk about the ODIs, the T20Is or the IPL. None of them look good. Really? Yeah. None of them. Not even a single phase? None of it. Like... Absolutely yeah. none. Jesus. So, that's why I'm kind of hoping that maybe Nattu finds some form. Kubi and Nattu can close out and Pat Cummins is more, you know, in the power play in the middle overs and that's it. Yeah. Done. Yeah, I actually can't think of it. I can't actually think of Cummins having a really red-hot spell against India and India in any format, right? Yeah. And again, that is something that it's been discussed. Oh, oh is that a Sean wicket? Paul, Cummins, to Rana. Oh, there's nobody there. Oh, God. Yeah, he's fancy, he's chances and he gets four. The Rana opens his card of IPL 2024. And remember, let me know your power play predictions because another eight balls to go. Let me know if you guys think what these lads are thinking. 48 and 54. Uh, Phil Salt be like, time for some pepper <laughs> in the remaining overs of the power play. Samish Santosh goes out. Say good evening to you, Samish. Please tell all your lovely people about Cricket.com, watch along more than merrier. We've built a community now close to 49k. We're literally about 80 85 people away. So I know more That's good. of you all are going to watch this watch along. So if you guys are sharing this message, do not forget. Oh, who's that slip? That's Janssen. Yeah, the tenter and Nitish again has had great numbers against SRH. Yeah. So he'd fancy his chances. And uh, I know there was a uh, Jeet wanted Umran Malik to play this game. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Because again, for is, he, is he in the subs? He's in the subs, yes. He's in the subs, right? Yeah, but then you expect Abhishek. Abhishek is going to, yeah, probably come in. Yeah. And who do you think is going to for KKR then? I think it, see, yes, logic yeah. tells you Suresh, but I won't rule out Manish Pandey coming in. And if they are in trouble, if yeah. they lose another one very early, say they are 50 or for four, then Manish Pandey could be the one who's given that uh, role. Okay. Uh, pulled away, I think, for two. So, 39 50, five overs gone. Cummins is living his best life. Yeah, good looks, uh, happy <laughs> lives. It's just a video. What does he have? I mean, he's just, like you said, perfect is uh, an understatement, I feel. <laughs> uh, go on with those predictions. I just want to see how we are placed, Shonak, if everyone has just given their thoughts about the score. Because then we'll actually kind of even build up this over, the final over, the power play, even more. 51 for one, saying some social power. Santosh has won a lot on this yeah. platform. 62 KKR, oh, well, that's something to think about. It's a big over coming in then. And um, Priyanshu saying 55 for one. So all of you guys need in excess of 10 this over to really contend it. Speaking of in excess of 10, you need in excess of, what is that, 26, if my math tells me right, um, this final over. So unless Harshad Patel is bowling it, <laughs> you never know. The, the the last one, not the first. I think his first two wickets were very good. I was very happy yeah. to see him use yeah, that short ball, yeah. uh, punt and the and, and the first wicket. So I, mean, I, was, I was just thinking about Hashem Patel, guys. Is he? Oh, oh so. exactly. This is this is, this is me who yesterday. <laughs> and look, this is I think this is going to be one of the single most talked about or no written about aspect of this IPL. The the short ball. Yeah. Because the two bouncers, they've kind of just freed up the bowlers that. Now, let's just try and bowl one earlier no, or anywhere you want to. And in this format, how long have we been saying it? Oh, you have to need your Yorkers, but yeah. now you have to need your bouncers. Because yeah. again, margin of errors will be declared by. You can review that as yeah. well. We saw Karthik try to do that. But 40 for 3, 5 hours gone. First ball is a wide, and now uh, Natural goes back to the tried and tested length mark. Um, yeah, good predictions. Just come back to that. What was I asking here? Harshal Patel. So he accumulated what 11.75 in this option, right? Crawls. Then I remember asking you bottom for 14 crores. So I was actually trying to think who are the players over the years who accumulated the most amount of money in auctions. Is Harshal right up there? I'm sure he is. I think Yuvraj is also up there. Yuvraj has got to be up there, yeah. Yeah, Yuvraj is up there. Spark, yeah. but, of course, 25 plus. Whatever. Yeah, but that's just one. one uh, okay, he, he would have. No, I don't probably know how much he get for 2015, yeah? 2016, yeah. he would have gone for like, I'm guessing, four crores. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. The, actually, the price that he's gone for now is individually would cover up for two, three people in yeah, that sense. Exactly. Oh, Ooh, by, the that, okay. by the way, also, we have plenty of questions in this watch along to keep you guys interacted and poked. The first of which, what is your favorite KKR versus SRH memory in the IPL? Tell us that. Yeah, that nice. can go on as a side chat as well. I can think of a few, but I'll let loose in a while. And I'll put you guys to think about that as well, apart from prediction contests and whatnot. What is more exciting to watch than oh, bouncers and Yorkers? I second mean, one for me. Second one. Yeah, so definitely. Has heads, to be. And toes, heads and toes. Has yeah. to be Yorkers. Sadly, we aren't seeing so many of these yeah. Yorkers being implemented. I think That's... Yorkers is generally more seductive because it has the element to see the stumps explode. Yeah. Right? yeah. And hit the batter really hard. But the bouncer is just like, if you're a cynic, 
and you want to see like someone really like getting in, the yeah. head, then maybe you like a fiery bouncer. Teams are going to go mad with bowling two bounces yeah. every over. Yeah, Nick's just saying that. Nick's just saying that. <laughs> Akshay was saying that as well. And, and it'll really that's take, a good point. Yeah, it'll really test the bowlers, right, yeah. Nick's, about who can really nail a good bouncer, who has a good good bouncer you know, consistently. You see, uh, the good example of that aspect of UCJ is somewhere like Kangaroo. Yeah. Now, we discussed this yesterday as well in terms of how he doesn't have the pace, but if he gets uh, the line right, there are times where you will get the badness out. But the, the line is so, the margin of error is so small that you'll have to have excellent control to be able to do that. We discussed yeah. that with Olda, Alzari Joseph at the other end. So he wasn't getting it right, but Green got it right and he got, uh, he got wickets off that. So I think uh, more teams will experiment with it and they'll get it. Of course, I don't think I'll not say that Bumrah has probably the best. I think he has everything that is needed there yeah. in any bowler. Yeah. So I'll probably keep him up there. Uh, Stark also has a decent one. But then he can also at times lose. lose How about Umran? Yeah, Umran, I don't, I don't like the control at times. So in terms of control, more likely to execute it better. I feel Bumrah, Cummins, and Stark would be the yeah. three options. I think with Umran, he does have a really yeah. good one. Sometimes he might even have a better bounce than Bumrah. But the yeah. consistency okay, about that is key for me. And I think he sprays it quite a bit. But over the years, I'm guessing he'd get better at that. So two more balls in this power play. Nix is utterly close if there's a bounce yeah, in a yeah. single. So Natarajan. Oh, and it's a little warp outside off stump. Uh, and I also feel generally when you talk about the Yorkers and the bouncers and all of that, the bouncers with me, I think if you close my eyes and think of bowlers who can bowl a really, really good one, Nix has nailed it with those <laughs> three. I've tried to think of a few more. I liked how Malinga had the slower bouncer way Stain. back in the day. Stain as well. He was brilliant. But who else can really? Mongol oh, also had a good. Uh, yeah, my point being is like imagine how you try to practice for this, right? Because you definitely need the batter in the nets. Who's going to yeah. brave up every time? Mm. Otherwise, you have to have concussion bloody subs at some nets. Like, yeah. madness. That, that's that's a great over from Natarajan to close oh, out. Very just good. Over. He's both two banging overs, just two yeah. for nine and just two overs, and now the power play prediction close. I'm pretty sure no one's won the bloody hamper, the prizes. <laughs> what are you guys doing on the Saturday night? I thought I was having a little liquid diet, but clearly <laughs> you guys are too. Uh, did anyone win that, Shona, for the benefit of... No, he yeah. says no. So, I'm probably the closest without Gary going over. Yeah, I mean, so closer yeah. there. He said 54. 2014 match where Yusuf Patan told about SRA that KKL got to play that. Mm. Qualified home. Saltik, you read my mind That's a good pick. like a book. That was the something that, that was something that I was actually going to talk about. I think he hit 72 of 28 or something. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah. Something, something like that. A mad, absolutely mad knock for the ages in... It was that peak KKR in that 2014 where I was obsessed with Robin with the ball, the batter, and he was just yeah. shining bright uh, for the Knights. Hello, Nikhil Lavnish. Good to see you. Good to see you, Vaishali. It's been ages. Mm. I'm sure you enjoyed the WPL. We certainly enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. Nick's did as well. But and sorry for the the Akhtar lady not playing. Sorry. Yeah, sorry that Jassi Akhtar. <laughs> Jassi Akhtar did not play. Yeah, 100%. Oh. Uh, good ball from. Uh, the South African who continues yeah. to flow now. So there's no spin right now. What are yeah. the spin options? Shabazz. Then they, of course, have Markande. Yeah. And who else is there? Sundar, but then he's in the subs. Sundar is in the subs, yeah. Sundar he's not even come on. Okay. Best bouncers I've seen was Bob Vyaz in 2015 with Shane Watson. Yeah. Oh, if you talk that's about bouncers, that's right up there. And then, of course, we talk about all those old tapes of the West Indies, the Fire and Babylon documentary. Go check that out. It's all plug in from us. If you guys are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, big up to you guys on a Saturday night. All you guys are legends in the chat, and we will feature all of them. So far, Ooh. so good. Four. Oh, that's yard. a four. It's okay. got uh, Cummins often that you see a little fumble, but they'll come back for two forty-five to three. Also, let us know what your power play predictions. Forget that the first innings predictions, indeed, because you guys have a chance to again win an opportunity, win a prize, to win an opportunity about winning stuff on this show. Uh, also, how Ibra Khan last year was good. I was at the stadium. I mentioned that in terms of the head-to-head. -head. Let me quickly shout out to all of us being truly in our elements. And it speaks about our snacks and offer on the display right now because it's one hell of a brand. They said, I keep harping upon about how we should generally eat healthy. But you only eat healthy when genuinely it's tasty, right? These crunchy minis, which are protein bars, you could just snack them along. And if I do that right now, it'll be rude of me because then you'll just hear every munch. small of munch. But what I would suggest is even if you guys are returning home in the evening, pour it with some milk 
It's an absolute banger, especially cold milk. This is great, the crunchy minis. This is something that you can add to your morning cereal. I mean, I don't know how much of you guys are cranberry fans, but I feel like for me, I think it just adds a different twist. In salads as well, I think it just really, really works well. So two elements. Thank you guys so much. So quite kind of you guys for making us healthy during these watch alongs. Indeed. So returning to the action, gents, when are we going to see um, some sort of momentum being built from KKR? Because in the salt after these wickets, oh, 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 oh. the release shot was coming. It was Abdul Samad, was it? Yeah, that's yeah, Abdul Samad. Yeah, that's Abdul Samad. Sorry, who's uh, in the third world? Oh, they. Actually, look, let me do a proper introduction of Geet because he's one hell of a person who you guys should follow on Twitter for all things women's cricket, but now even cricket in general. The last time I, of course, heard him rant about the 100 and the draft <laughs> and the graphics of, I think, Naomi. Oh, God. Uh, the the Tari. Tari. Yeah, the yeah, Tari. yeah, yeah. And I was just like, sorry, the name now is confusing even more with the 100. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just follow him on X, not Twitter, because that's what it's known as. And the, the confusing bit when Akshay was telling me about you was your last name. So can you introduce oh, yourself wow. with your full name and for all the new faces in here? Well, that's a big challenge because no one gets it right. So I don't know if there is any point or not, but I'll give it my last attempt. Okay. It's Teeth Vacharajani. Vachajani. Good luck. Vacharajani. Vacharajani sounds like a really fancy African footballer's <laughs> name. like. But Johnny hits one. Oh, that's sensational. You know what I mean? If you catch the zip. Anyway, uh, let us also know what you guys are doing this Saturday. How much you guys enjoyed yesterday. If any of your teams are playing in this Super Saturday. Or tomorrow's game is also going to be a belter. Not to forget RR LSG. We're not doing the watch along for that. But we will, of course, talk about it in the evening game. Salt has been a little sedate, Nick. 29 to 21. But do you think he's looking at that batting depth as KKR? And it gives him conviction to still go at it, or do you think now he should still be there till the thirteenth over and then take chances more? Yeah, I think his his intent is still there in terms of his wanting to hit. Yeah. But SRH have bowled better as compared to that one uh, mark over that was there where he was able to hit those sixes very freely. It is something what happened with Faf as well yesterday. Yeah. Where whenever the bowlers have erred, there have been a couple of batters who have made them pay. But otherwise, it has been tough going for almost everyone. So that's a good thing to see. With batting the batting, KKR do bat deep enough. Uh, it's just about picking the right matches because I'm waiting to see how he plays spin. I don't think he's going to be sitting there and waiting for them to work. Yeah. He'll try and put pressure on them, and that could also result in a wicket. But I think he'll be happy to take that chance. Go on. Yeah. So I think it's a very similar situation that RCB found themselves in yesterday yeah, as well, yeah. weren't they? They were like 42 for three. Then they had to rebuild. They rebuilt and it was then Anuj Rawat and DQ capitalized at the end. So this is a very similar situation. This is that someone like maybe Nitish Rana could be waiting for spinners to come on so that he can take them on. Since yeah. that's his and primary also strength. On Rana, I mean, we discussed this in the previous year, right? We kept saying, don't bowl off spin to him. Don't yeah. spin to him. But it's, it's been a season where uh, the last uh, the last season, the middle order, the number four to number seven, they had an average of 13.9 against leg spin. So who's come on to bowl? Bayang Markandi. Bayang so, yeah. Let's see if we have a, a, a very, very early chance. Whether there's a wicked alert here or not, but Nitish Dana, like Nishman mentioned before, he does thrive against SRH. He does love the orange army. Why is Marco Johnson not using his height to his advantage? Even his good lens can rise above shoulder level, right? I mean, only time will tell, of course. I mean, this is the first game of IPO 2024. Hi to Akash Mori watching on Facebook. And you guys should definitely check us out on YouTube because that's where the real content lies. We'll post everything across, <laughs> across platforms. But generally, uh, YouTube is the hotbed for Cricket.com's content. Um, and Instagram, not to forget. By the way, um, if you guys are SRH fans, let me know because I know Sanjay Papiagiri is. I know some of the other guys who generally tune in to Cricket.com are. Nitish Anna will try to settle the dust. That Hopefully not. <laughs> of Yash Doom. <laughs> Uh, that was quite crazy, but well thought of, Nitish. Honestly, I, I commend cricketers literally when they put in some thought in terms of celebrations. Very good on them. But Markande <laughs> to, of course, Salt. What about Salt and Spin and Pace? Can you just tell me and the viewers randomly watching this? Yeah, I think Salt doesn't mind facing Spin, but I it will be good to know the exact numbers. But I think he'll not mind Spin, but. There are times when he at times looks to go very, very big, very early. Yeah. So I'm thinking he's also having a look at Mayank. 
once he gets a grip of it then he'll probably go harder at him probably the next over who knows yeah. so he's much better Bruce against Swift oh. and goal that's oh. gone that's a wicket wow. it goal that's again. a wicket alert nick calls it again and mark on the having a laugh the tish having a laugh but yeah. in the other sense and keith yard capitulating it's a short selection again why would you play that short But that's so a regular Nitish Rana shot. That's that's Nitish Rana exactly. That's But trademark Nitish Rana. Yeah, you can say that's a regular Nitish Rana shot. That was a regular Shreya Sahir shot. That was a regular Regni Chai shot. But like it's not come to fruition. Maybe again it's a Cummins juju. And it's just I think SRS have done the basics very very well. Apart from that one over and it will be great. You know if Andhruj you could just help us out with the numbers. I think they've gotten just worse. Yeah. For uh, you know Who's KKR racing. The the one Andhruj that uh, is there right uh, now. The other Andhruj that is there. But yeah, stats man, the new stats man will give you a shout out indeed, uh, for sure. So we apologize on that for, of course, just walking down memory lane. A uh, 51 for four looks like Amit has been insane about his ex-franchise sports fan going on a say. That is true. It's a bad come derby tonight if you guys are watching us in this watch along. And please hit like immediately. I want to see 100 likes because it's about 100 of you all joining us on YouTube and elsewhere as well. We are on Reddit if you guys are into that stuff. And we also have a very, very good app, right? Uh, it's time to lock in, not lock in, but like let us know your first innings prediction before the 15th over, and you can, of course, rectify it within that particular time zone. But right now, early shout. Do you think we're going to see an early finish today? It will be an early finish. I'm probably expecting a score of probably 149 from KKR, and that's purely because there is still Rinku Singh was to come. Should be the next batter and probably. So they have Rinku now. I think they're playing Ramandeep Singh. Ramandeep yeah. Singh. They've got Andre Russell as well. Andre Russell as well. So Ramandeep the batter can. Oh, he's he's out. There's oh Ramandeep. Right? Ramandeep the batter is come out of bat. Uh, so they're keeping Rinku and Russell. So is that a pure Gambhir playing his moves? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Even I expected Rinku to come, but you know, come to think of it, when I come. Oh, it could be Rinku. Right? Oh, my word. He's nearly ran out Phil Saul there, Ramandeep. That would have been a real Namakara moment if you know. You know. Uh, <laughs> is this bad from KKR or Cummins' gold run continuing? Matt, I think it is literally the latter. I mean, it's uh, the juju. Yeah, it's a juju, like I said. But look again, still early days, and do not rule out KKR with the beat back at the helm. I know he didn't really get success, success in LSG, but he's a shrewd operator, that man. And, I'm sure he'll want to prove a point to all those lovely KKR fans out there. Not a run out, so let's move on. 52 for four. How much do you guys like that whole new rule, by the way? If looking looking at the third empire. So far, out of the ones that I've observed, it has actually not been that quick, has it? It's not been that quick, but I generally feel like that whole three camera split cam. Yeah. Is like football vibes. You're looking at VAR, and then of course you're looking at the assistant referee there. And it was weird to see who was the commentator today. I think it was. Wolf, right? What was that guy's name? The English, but uh, Alex Wolf. Alex Wolf. Um, who's third advice? So you could see him, and then literally lip read as well. Salt's put that away, and then it's a sweep out there. So 53 for four. Markandi's done again. Fab job. These bowlers bowling their first over, getting wickets. We saw that with Natu. We've seen that with Markandi again. We have to double keep your comments coming through. What else do we have tonight in terms of comments, Sean? Up because those people are super special as they've all been. We are you again firing another comment saying a last minute change wow. by fans. Oh no! And Tishie, no way! Shut the front door. But he's <sighs> going with pitch report. Pitch report of being a flat wicket. Man, how many times? I have been. I mean, that there. I, I could. I don't even think it is possible to count the number of times you've lost because of pitch report. Exactly. I lost yesterday because exactly. of pitch report. Supposed to be the Steve Smith at the dry wicket. So who did I take out from my fantasy team? Most of his time. Oh my god. And who did I put in my section? It's a okay. sometimes it's life. Yeah, it's life. It's life. And sometimes look, the more you kind of see these things happen, the more the good things are around the corner. So yeah. look at that. Pick up the positives indeed. Basim Narayan, it's been a while that we picked any comment of yours, but we will do it right now. Cummins back in the attack to solve and just a single to find. Like uh, T20 is a fickle format. Yeah, yeah. certain Sadar calling that. Especially for SRH team is good for captaincy. Is let them down along with tactics. Even if Cummins' role as a bowler is less, his captaincy will be important. I mean, that's why Kavya Maran went in all in. If she's like playing poker, she's like all in Cummins. But man, Markham won the title too. All in Cummins. <laughs> But man, he's really good. All in Cummins. 
Man, he actually looks better than Goggins. All in Goggins. <laughs> I'm Dean the Gonzo. So, literally, Goggins might have looked Dean Dumbs there. I would have generally felt sad for Eden Markham. But then, Barry Goggins, bro, someone said in the chat, geez, he's just like fucking perfect. Man, he's like a Greek god right now. Not in looks, but even when he's success. Oh, Ooh, no, it's not a goal. Oh. And I'm reverse jinx it for Kiki. Yeah, look what I'm doing for you all. Uh, uh, boundary. But jokes apart, Gene, that question about Cummins, how much do you think he can lay his imprint as a captain in this league? Because if he gets the IPL and the CV, <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know, bro. I honestly don't know. But look, he's been a good captain. I won't deny that. Yeah, look but... at that. That's insane. Will Cummins earn a lot? A pat in his back goes on to say that stat. Now, even if you look at all his wickets over there, it doesn't give you really com much confidence as a bowler. But again, Cummins will use himself really strategically. I don't see him bowl four overs all the time. I generally feel like he can bowl two overs here. Might not bowl certain games. He's going to be that kind of captain, I feel. Right now, also, I feel like he's still operating with pace because you batter wants to keep him on his toes sort of thing. So, Cummins, I think he's just, we're going to see the tactics of Cummins more and more only in like a year or two to come because right now people still feel like, you know, he's had like a great team and not many people are giving him the credit as captain but I feel like winning in Pakistan on those dead decks, yes, Baz Ball did it but even they did it. I mean, the fact that he silenced that crowd at the... Sorry, it's good. Yeah, I mean, Can't remember. Let's 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 ball. let's just let's just move on. Fifty nine for four, eight point four. Another two balls left in this over of Cummins, but um, just Markande is a spin option. I don't think Shabazz might bowl given that there's not too booby to complete that quota. I'm guessing. Uh, who else? Oh, it's thing in the helmet. Yeah. That ball. Who else do you think would bowl four today from an SRH perspective? Because booby for sure, not too for, sure. for four. And yeah. I would think maybe Gamson is four for four as well. Yeah, I think Yancel is the one guy you possibly feel that it could be a tricky call because you can't have both Cummins and Marco not bowl yeah. both. So they'll have to bowl one of them. I think it it, it won't be a bad time to get him out uh, on in the next one if they want to after the Mayank one uh, that is because that's how you have to at times I don't I won't say hide yeah. but try and force them into bowling those bounces and get those wickets because he has a good variation as well but it's the line that he at times gets wrong. So I think Bhuvi, Natra, Bhuvi, Natarajan Mayan should definitely bowl all four. Cummins, because depending on how Marco goes, I think he'll bowl four. I don't see Shabazz bowling. So, let's see. Maybe it may, it may be one over. I feel it might be split. The four over spell of Nattu is going to be split between him and Shabazz is what I believe. Ooh. Shabazz could come in for a couple you of balls. away from Ravandeep. That's, that's a boundary. That's, that's a six. six. Brilliant show. Sure. That's fucking stylish if there ever was one six tonight. And he's full of good Cummins. So, it's a really, really good repost like Nick says. So, none for 20 for Cummins and his two overs. He's doing all the right things as a captain, but not as a bowler like he's been harping upon. Surya Sai, good evening to you, saying, Come on, Cummins is far better looking than Markham. Saying Surya Sai, I was just joking, this is a part of my role play. Oh, when will Lord Riku come? I mean, Keith asked that question, and now he called, Good to see you as well. I know you criticized me in one of the reels, saying that I was not appropriately dressed and whatnot. Let's see how that goes. But please, like our real content, our short content as well. Lots of fan camps being a program of that. Right, strategic timeout. And normally, we'll try to do like a lot of quizzes and trivia with you guys right now. So, a little bit to think about in the next two minutes. KKR and SRH players. Name me players who played for both franchises. I want at least five to six options. We can all cumulatively think. I have none that I can think of straight yeah. away. Uh, Yusuf Pathan, did he play for both? Did he play for SRH, Yusuf Pathan? He did. I think he did. Yeah, he, did. He, did right? he did, he did, he did. Pat Cummins himself. Pat Cummins is himself with one. Who else can we think of in terms Raul of... Raul Tripathi. Raul Tripathi. Raul Tripathi is definitely one. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more. So, I'd love to ask the chat this. Let's try to think of about 10 names. I'm guessing there have been 10 sort of deals like that. Um, when we look at even the Indian talent, we look at... The foreign talent. Rajan Discard never played for SRH, did he? No, he didn't. No. Um, who else do we have? Who We've got three so have? far. How many more? No one played. Vahidu Zaman, Vahidu Zaman. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, Vahidu Zaman. I this is exactly how Narain did with that running. <laughs> yeah, no one played. No one played. No one We're played. all good. But yeah, lots of uh, things to like from uh, SRH perspective in the first nine overs of this game. Yusuf Patan is one full kit, but we're asking you. Name me 
KKR and SRS players, as in players who play for both franchises. Comments, we've named him. We've named Raul Tripathi. Comments and Yusuf Patel so far. Finch is short. Aaron Finch has played for every franchise. Every so, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good shot. Finch, Finch and even Parthiv generally. Finch but Parthiv. he hasn't played for KKR. Yeah, yeah, Parthiv didn't play for yeah. KKR. I'm surely thinking there's maybe a bowler of some sort, a spinner. Um, but SRH have also had a lot of pacers right, over the years. So, yeah, let us know. I mean, that's a good question to ask on Twitter as well. So, Melville, if you're watching, please put this out and uh, put that out. Lots of weird reactions we've received <laughs> on this. Hearts, shocking faces, angry faces, uh, and love faces as well. But do like our content across the board. Like I said, fan cams, unwind, and watch alongs is something this summer is there to see. Also, Rishabh Pant returning after fucking 453 days or something. I want to ask you guys, remember the last time Pant played? Generally, which which game was that? You guys remember? That was the IPL game, wasn't it? Did he feature after the IPL? Thinking that's what I was just like. Yeah. Is it like for India or is it the IPL that he played last? Because this car crash unfortunately happened in December, December. of twenty three. Yeah, I think it was a T20 series. Yeah, then he must have played some international cricket. Yeah, he should have played something. Let us know that in the chat as well. Lots of things to be uh, answered in the chat. What's the thing of KKR behind their opening pairs? They haven't gone for an Indian opera and have not given enough chances to whoever's open, and hence they've lost fifty six. Uh, wickets. Yeah, wickets in the park in the last two seasons. That's a good stat, Adi and Singer. You know, actually, uh, today Singhal. today is the day of uh, all the lowest opening averages in the. Oh, this could be another. No. no. See, so PBKs were the worst with the sixteen point seven as a opening average. Second was KKR twenty two. So then you had DC and then, then PBKs. See, oh, I mean, yeah. the opening. SRH. Partnerships is something that Gotham Gumbi would probably go in and want to rectify. I know you guys must be wondering again, it is a plan failed with Narayan opening with Saul today. But let's see how that really kind of goes on in terms of stability. Because in that sort of phase, when not just last year, even the year before that, when they had Rahani, right? And they had Billings and they had all those kind of people, Sheldon Jackson. Who once apparently was termed as an overseas player for someone. <laughs> but point being is KKR have always chopped and changed at top. And they've really, really kind of twisted more than stuck. But I think this time it's going to be maybe if this Narayan plan doesn't go to thing, he'll put Venky up there and he'll just oh. give me confidence. He'll just be like, listen, I'll back you. Go out there and play an absolute game. So I think that's how it's going to go. But are they a good stat from you? But also for more stats, check out cricket.com and we have a conveyor belt of Great data. KKR could have sent Rinku or Russell and have had uh, spent to settle and <laughs> have had time to spend to settle and then go for golf swings. I mean, it won't be golf from the word go. I think they'll have a couple of sighters whenever they yeah, not this. Yeah. So that think, is not golf. That is yeah. Golf. I think it, it's a fair shot also to send Ramanthi because, see, sometimes I feel the entry point for Rinku was a bit more earlier. Yeah. Uh, you'd possibly want him to be entering at the 12th or the 13th hour mark. True. And for Russell, I would put it to the 14th or 15th. I think it that's is, an excellent point. Yeah, so and it also gives Ramandeep a good good amount of confidence and game time because far too often KKR in the recent years have been very individual dependent. Yeah. If you get more people to perform, if you have Ramandeep scoring and he had a good smart as well. So if he scores, then Ayer, Rana, they all have that much more confidence to keep playing their shots. But do you think that's the difference between KKR last year and this year where Gumbi has clearly identified this? And been like in game management, like you said, entry point, and been like Ramandi, you go Rinku wait. You see, I don't know who's exactly taking those calls because there are two yeah, very, very big yeah. names there in terms of Chandu Pandit and uh, 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 Gauti there. So, again, that is something that you keep looking forward to in terms of whenever there are switches like these. Because it's as you say, the, the same point that was mentioned about opening. Yeah. SRS have not gone for Travis, eh? but KKR went for Sunilar. Eh? If you look at it from a point of view that, ooh, one franchise is saying, okay, we're not looking for quick runs yeah. or impetus up top. We are backing Indian contingent. The other is saying, okay, I don't mind losing of uh, losing a bigger of Narayan, trying first week. It's yeah. just different uh, different ways to go about it, the same thing. And sports fan mentioning over there, G, stable opening pair maybe help avoiding such class to collapse. We can all sit here as armchair critics and say that, but it's harder than it's done. What do you think is the way forward for the Knights? Because is it, okay, fine, salt plus whoever? Or is it salt in someone else, no matter what the hell 
happens in terms of scores and results? So I think uh, as far as that st stability is concerned, even in the past two or three seasons, they've tried so many such stable openers in yeah. terms of yeah. some like maybe Ajinkya Rahane. I think uh, Baba Indrajit had played as well, hadn't exactly. he? Aaron Finch. Aaron Finch. So they tried so many opening combinations and nothing worked. Right now, at least I'm seeing some like Phil Salt as a set opener, irrespective of what happens, how he performs. Oh, shot. And it is, it is actually, sorry, Yanzen after the Mayank over. Yeah. So let's see if there's a short it's ball coming. Salt, Salt's got off to a good start this over. But you say Salt, no matter what happens, I just wonder if he did fail in this game and then the next and then the next. When do you kind of pull the plug on him and then go for good balls? That's a good question, but uh, probably I'll still give him a longer rope because this guy has been performing for a long time. True, true. So, realistically, it is unlikely that he's going to kind of have a very, very lean patch. But in case he does, probably like five, six games before you make that switch. Yeah. Unlike what they've been doing last two or three seasons, I where agree. somebody plays two games, he fails and he's out. Yeah. You can't be doing that. In terms of Sunil Narayan, I think it's time they realize there was a time when Sunil Narayan used to deliver as an open. He had his own time. He had his own golden era, that, right? That ship is sailed. It is sealed. It's long gone. Oh, but that's the first time I've seen Chandu Pandit smile. You know, Chandu Pandit, I mean, good in uh, spirits as well. He was when, I don't know if you guys follow KKR on social media, but they were dancing for like um, the little Mendy, I think, one of the <laughs> three parties at the IPL. But Kushal, I agree with you. I think Menkin sold it the way forward because. Chandu Pandit and Menki, of course, go a long way. So, he'll have some assurance over there from the whole MP angle. And then Salt, like Jeet mentioned, is just a better pick that kind of good few bars. But it's about giving them that longer rope. Um, so, yeah, good point mentioned from you, Kushal. Also, Kushal, are you a KKR fan? That is no sports fan. Also, guys, just an exercise because this is just the second watch along of IPL 2024. Please, again... Let us know who you guys support in the IPL it's, shop ball. And Ramanthi doing an Abhishek 4L with regards to just not being the impact by any stretch, but having a real impact in his game. Uh, coming in, in just in front of Rinku Singh, given the scenario and delivering indeed. Can you tell about Ramanthi's part? So, sorry, sorry, let's go back to that. Exploits saw him only in MI a few times. I agree with you. Just MI, I have no idea about his domestic. Exploits, guys. Yeah, he, 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 were you there at the games where he played? Oh, no, he sadly didn't play those games. He was yeah. bent. So. so, I think he, he caught some 2 and 227 runs something in, in, the, in the recent start. He had a very good strike rate as well. Okay. So, uh, again, haven't been able to personally see him play. And he won't be used as a bowler, right? He can be. He was decent for more, but again, he's not your first 5 or okay. first 6. Option. So, he's so, just a finisher. Yeah, I would possibly use him as uh, someone to just get those quick runs. And he's solid. You can look from how he's played yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. Apart from the one that he got hit on the badge, the uh, rest has been okay. Yeah, 27 to 12 is a good yield so far. Yeah. And it'll make Gambir look very good this move because they were in a spot of bother. Now they've got themselves out of it with this whole little pinch hitting exercise. And Gambir knows, man. He just knows. He's watching <laughs> cricket.com. Look at him. Uh, what happened with Umran Malik? He's on the bench, Anch. He's on the bench. So if of course, Kea Kamins decided to bat first and SRD for bowling. Then maybe we could have seen Umran if the Pacers had their tails up again. Speculative indeed. I am without loyalties, but would good to see a new winner of, of the IPL. So essentially, you're backing five teams LSG, Punjab, Delhi, RCB. What's happening on the title? Or just four teams, is it? Yeah, DC, RCB, Punjab, and uh, LSG. Yeah, LSG. So four. So one of those four. Imagine they, they make the top. That'll be absolutely brilliant, but not in the wildest <laughs> dreams with Tala, Dhoni, Kartik. <laughs> so, um, yeah, essentially, let's see how that goes. Remember, you guys still have four more overs for your first innings predictions right now. And you said 149, that's 60 away from nine. I'll give you time to rectify it with Rinku and Russell in the heart. We've also put out a live poll, Jeep, as you can see, which Biryani will prepare tonight. <laughs> It is always the aloo in the biryani which wins because Kolkata has that little brilliance about the aloo added in their biryani. I'm a huge sucker for Hyderabad biryani, huge. But my asshole just hurts the next morning. Let's not lie. Let's not lie. But KKR, uh, you guys must be happy with your biryani. 56% of y'all saying aloo is needed. But I've not had a really good Kolkata biryani in Bangalore, or maybe. Oh, Kolkata. Oh, oh, 
Good old man. Come on. I'll see you wives. Let's eat some runs. Straight away, I'm on the <laughs> inside out excellent for six. Excellent shot. Take excellent a look shot. at that. And how good is now the promotion looking? Because suddenly they are around 100 already in the 12th over. Yeah. Oh my god. It looks as good as a hampers tonight. Two hampers, yeah. remember? It is, of course, crunchy munchies in terms of the minis protein. If you guys just generally want to pump up some guns, if you guys are hitting the gym and want to snack healthy, Two Elements is the place to be. And they honestly don't lie. And I say that because if you look at the packaging of other brands, it's honestly horse shit. For True Elements, it's detailed. That's it's a brilliant. No Ooh, that's a no ball as well. And that's it's a bonus. Bonus. all kicking off. Shabazz Ahmad, honestly channelizing his inner RCB and his True <laughs> Elements. Home ground. Oh, home ground nerves as well. Place for Bengal. Place for Bengal. Shout to the producer. And he's just over. It's not a Mohamed Amin Noble by any imagination. But it is six. And it is that whoop whoop. So anyway, six of his first ball. No ball. Now Ramandi, 33 of 11. Oh, oh he's in the to actually hit that the next week. Was it the week? 98 for four. 11 overs gone. The last four or five overs. Would any have seen any of us seen that coming, guys? Because I was just asking you, like, I think 25 minutes ago, early finished G. <laughs> and right now, it's like eight egg in our face. So, 149, I'm pretty sure you're going to rectify that, right? Or no? I have to rectify <laughs> it. I mean, given the two batters that are still to come yeah. in yeah. their preferred phase, yeah. we're probably looking at 170 plus. That's mad. That's honestly mad. What about you, next? I'm going 189. 189, I like it with Rinku and Russia. Yeah. It's going to be rinse and repeat with those two over there. And like you guys mentioned in the comments earlier, golf could be the mode of sport. Right, um, Shabazz, let's see how he comes back and it's over because it's always tough for any bowler to start their campaign bowling with, of course, a no ball and a six. Has that ever happened yet, I before? Where a bowler starts his first ball of the tournament, bowling a free hit and conceding a six. I remember a test match happening like that. Uh, so how Ghazi get to so get it? Uh, Chris Gale Gale. A six of the very first ball. And it was a no ball? No, but that, that was a no, no ball. ball. Is this starting a test? That is, that is even even rarer. Starting a test match with a six. Yeah, yeah. It's only happened twice, I think. Yeah. Yes, man. Honestly, but all you smart, knowledgeable guys who always love to throw answers in when we're playing trivia and quiz games, answer me this. Name me another bowler in IPL history or in cricketing history who's bowled his first ball of the tournament and it's gone for six and to three. I know it's like a caveat question, but bear with me. Now that he's taken off the helmet, he's just like, you know what, Gambit, I'm going to show you, man. I will, of course, deliver for you, make you look good in the Prince City that you were once ruling in 2012 and 2014. And now it is Salt it's also. Good shot, oh, good shot. Good shot. Nice. From Phil Salt. And he's one of the few Englishmen who's playing this IPL. Of course, we've already seen four of them tonight. In terms of today, um, with the three in the Punjab game early in the afternoon, yeah. and then Phil Salt playing today. Who are the other Englishmen in the teams, guys? Going, I mean, Mohan Ali didn't play yesterday, Chris Wokes didn't play yet no. today. Who else did they have? Tom Colacadmo, Tom Curran didn't play yesterday. Tom Curran didn't play yesterday. <laughs> More, more Bobat didn't play this. <laughs> uh, speaking of openers, out of favor, what's going on with Prithvi Shaw? Yeah. Him finding a place as an impact up when the team needs quick runs. Mate, Yash, I just saw him in 1A commune. I'm not even joking. Last week I was there for dinner and I saw him and Jahel, I think it was. And they should have idly been in their camp. So this was just maybe days before their camp started. Yeah. And they were just like waiting at the valley for their driver and their fancy cars. So that's the life they've chosen. And maybe, who knows, man. I'm, I'm again, slandering them for no reason. I feel bad for Prithvi Shaw. I really like the look of him. But there's other things which happen with cricketers. It's not just cricketing logic sometimes. So, who knows? Yeah, anyway. just, just to close out on the English conversation. That's that we get. Oh, oh, that's a great catch. Oh, good catch. Go wrong, but Mark Kande. Mark Kande, well done. And Shubh will be a happy man. Ask me why. Shubh Agarwal would be a happy man because he used to handle... My Markande's Twitter account before picking.com. Nice, right, interesting. Today. Fun fact, then, the, another, another thing that we got right was the entry point for Inku. Yeah. Well, he's done his job. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. Strike it about the one page. 
He's thrown his wicket away in a perfect way. Mark Dante will be proud of it. Cummins elated because that's his first wicket as an IPL captain. Remember, in this whole tournament, only two captains are making their debut, so to speak, in this tournament. Cummins and who else? It is, of course, Shubhigil. Shubhaz! Shubhaz! Yeah, just speaking about Englishmen, yeah. only one the Englishman has won an IPL final. Only one Englishman has won an IPL final. Okay, why? Let me just quickly do the math. I think so. I think only Ooh. one has won an Englishman on an IPL final. Don't tell me Dominic Thornley in 2010. No. Oh, Mumbai didn't win in 2010. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Chennai. Uh, 2011, 2012, 2013, no, 2014, no. I think he's going. Okay. Do you know? Yeah. Okay. Moin? Yeah. Oh, it is Moin 2023. Who did you play for before? Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <you know, like, laughs> What is Sunil Nayar from 2014 doing off on right of Ash Ashwin <laughs> in a funny way? Oh yeah, he does with the mohawk. And Rinku, oh, oh, Rinku starts well, well. the IPL. And I tell you what, Rinku fans, I I'm with you guys this season because I really, really like this guy and I want him to play in that World Cup as follows right after the IPL. And he should also, in a way, get ready for a big package after oh, quick wow. Rinku stats. Get ready for fireworks is what the producer tells me because Rinku Singh in T20 since the 2023 comp or generally the year 2023 in the IPL, 14 innings, in T20 International, 11 innings and the numbers are there to see and not to forget the smat as well. Good Todd. And we saw power in his first ball, we seen four in the yeah. second ball, but more crazy numbers like that available on Instagram. But yeah, speaking of Sunil Narayan and Mohawk, I mean, <laughs> is this the natural in terms of the hair? Well, I've been inspired by someone like Sunil Naran, haven't I? It's just that yeah. it's not clean shaven at the sides and at the back, that's it. Yeah, you remind me also a little bit of uh, Gautam Amani without the uh, oh, yeah. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. He has bit. the glasses on wearing them for a long reason. Because of the moha kind of scrawny and all of that. But yeah, so you were going to say something, Deep? Yeah, so I was just coming back to the point of Rinku. Yeah. So I was there covering this mat and I watched this guy in every game. Yeah. So even with his state team, it was a very, very similar pattern where they used to lose quite a few quick wickets. But never did Rinku walk in so early. They would be probably three down or four down at the end of the power play. But you wouldn't see Rinku walking in early. So even the state team were very clear with regards to what his strengths are yeah. and backing those strengths. So this guy used to walk in in the, that 12th or 13th over when they were probably five down, six down. And he used to do his job every game. Yeah. yeah. Then he gets promoted to India and man, he's been a superstar, hasn't he? He's yep. been honestly phenomenal. Rinku Singh, I mean, I don't know how well he'll do this season, but whatever the case, I think it's definitely going to be positive. What's the best thing about Rinku Singh to you, Nick? Because we've seen him, of course, had that breathtaking moment or that knock or whatever you want to term it as last year. But ever since, it's just been onwards and upwards for someone like Rinku. Yeah, I think there are a lot of things to like. Uh, I think the first one for me is temperament. Yeah. Because you can't keep doing or saving your side from trouble for fun with those numbers yeah. for that long. Yeah. Across competitions, across conditions. So I think that is something that stands out. A very good case and example is that last T20I, where it's just that partnership with Rohit. Uh, it's probably the first time you probably saw him so early. That was so really... he's able to handle space. He's able to <laughs> handle spin. And we're all good here. We're all good. So, yeah, that's what Rinku does, you know, he, he's unstabilizing things for the opponents. So, I mean, there's everything that you want to be having in somebody like him as, as a finisher. Yeah. Handle pace, yeah. handle spin, not getting frenetic about the pace at which the game is doing, which we saw in the T20 again. So, I think it's just, I just hope, I just hope, and I'll just hope, he is part of the level in that World Cup. Yeah. Because if he's not there... There is really something to be worried about. Yeah, I think for him, he needs to lock in that position. I think he is one of those kind of Indian candidates for his batting in a similar position that he bats for his club and country, yeah. franchise and country. Even for Ranjay he was good. He has a great FC bank. record, so just to put it out there, it's a great FC record. No, well, he does, he does indeed. By the way, all you guys watching, please like on YouTube immediately because just 23 likes is absolutely shocking. When Many more of you guys are watching. Yeah. And remember, you guys have another 11 balls to lock in your first innings predictions. Because what is it going to be? Is it going to be Nick's 189? Is it going to be uh, your 149, which you've changed? Slapped away from Phil Sorrow. That's a very good 50. 
50 for a KKR opener. Well, oh, that's uh, when was the last time that happened? I think it was that Winky. Yeah, Winky. I think Winky yeah. might be the guy. But, but yeah, well played. Salt. Oh He's done the God. job. He's sprinkling it tonight yes. in <laughs> Kolkata. And they absolutely love it. So this has been a good innings. And again, what a shock this is. Just talks about the power that Phil Sol possesses. And um, if you guys are joining us right now from wherever, because I know everyone will keep hopping about in this watch along. Quick reminder, Ooh, tell everyone to on this IPL because we're definitely here to stay. And onwards and upwards, because it's going to be a summer of cricket, not just for the IPL, but for the World Cup after it as well. And we're going to be doing, I think, over 100 watch alongs this year. So what better way to get started in the IPL? Rinku is only the current inning player playing with a salary of 50 lakh. I was going to bring that up, and I just I think I did. That is definitely going to be a huge, huge pay grade or pay scale lift, or however you want yeah. to put it, in terms of that mega auction, because they'll retain him no play now. Yeah. And he'll probably be retained for 12 crores easy. That should Maybe be unless unless crores. unless Russell Narin have a, another agreement uh, which is that's which you're not aware of. Oh yeah, that's a good look. But to yeah. begin with. Yaar, so 50 lakhs over so bond paper. Hota hai, yaar. Kuch nahi hone wala <laughs> oh my god. It's not crazy. possible. For someone of this guy's quality, there is no way he's being paid 50 lakhs. Yeah, and also there might be some upgrade as well in terms there of have been, yeah. when, when you were uncapped and then when you get capped, I think there is a yes. uh, direct upgrade or something like that as well. So yeah. But again, don't worry, Ringu will eventually get is that a wicket? That's a six. So oh, oh, that's a wicket. Oh, oh, that's a wicket. Oh, like yes. That is the Marco. Janssen. Literally saying Marco Polo, Marco, I've caught it. And get the hell out of here, Phil Sol. But again, brilliant start to that first 10 balls. But the last 30, do you think, I mean, again, it was because of the fact that he kept losing a lot of partners? Yeah, and also they bowled well, right? This is again someone, some, a shot that you would want. He'll probably put it away 11 out of 10 times. Yeah. So it just got out the wrong end of it and it is like spin. So yeah. it's okay. I think he was getting tied up uh, and wanted a release shot. He got a boundary. But I think they'll probably rule well, this. Point for Russell. I'll probably feel an over early an because over suddenly early. if you lose Russell here, it's no 125 or yeah. 130 or for seven, and I don't think that's good. And, and I just hope Mayank just bowls a googly on the stumps and Russell is blocking. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. We've, we've seen this happen before. Uh, I think it was Adam Zampa uh, in that in that series first game. One just had just come in. He went for a big one and got bowled. And that did not lose. That did not lose his wicket print. So let's see how Russell plays leg spin. And look, even if Russell gets out, we'll see start coming and then coming forward to start because that's yeah. crazy. Because yeah. that just never happened. I'm guessing. Is yeah. Ikea's in the middle or a call the best among all? I mean, Akshay kept hinting upon that in the yeah. previews, saying bro, they saw they said. But this is the problem. Not everything looks really glorious in paper. I mean, Arsenal yeah. for the longest time had yeah. three best batters in the league: Gail, De Villiers, and Cody, but we didn't get a single title, did we? Um, Ooh, here comes a block. Monday to Russell, and I think they might use a strategic timeout right now. It could be this far. Is it? Is it? Or in yeah, the couple of overs? Uh, keep your comments coming through. Remember, last over, final six balls for your first innings prediction. The winner stands a chance to win. Good stuff from Cricket.com. <laughs> I will say that not in any sort of drug peddling way, but generally in terms of. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking away. In terms of the first innings prediction in thousand bucks is an Amazon voucher that you can win. Watching comments on main cam and man, he's looking so <laughs> cute, like a little tense and happy boat. I think there was also a little appreciation comment from me. Shout out to whoever that was. Thank you so much. Because it's hours we put into building cricket.com and yep. making community in China Aras. Good to see you as well. So onwards and upwards to you guys. So right, uh Shana, if you're watching like everyone else is. Comment and you can stand a chance to win that thousand buck voucher in the next one over, though, my friend. So let's see how much you think Rinku and Russell will get in their last six. Uh, Andre Russell is just an absolute beast. What is your favorite Andre Russell moment in IPL history? Let's quickly say that. Was it the way he pumped the <laughs> shit out of the RCB that day when I... he came in? Oh my god, that was just a mad knock like 15, 16 ball 50, something like that. I have two dismissals, so I Deep can go for the batty one, I'll go for the, uh, the two most favorite and the result dismissals of mine. Okay. Oh, the Ashwin dismissals, yeah? Was one, I think, I, for me, the one is firstly of most of his, when he had him falling over. Oh, uh, yeah. That one, Yorka. And yeah. the second one has to be Sam Karan, right? Oh, correct. Sam, Around his legs. 
around his legs. Yeah, I think there's just some joy uh, because Russell's again yeah. a very, very dangerous guy to buy a bowl against. So, when you get them falling over and bowl around their legs, oh! oh! That's a proper alarm. That. That's an alarm. Giving him a good the taste of his own medicine in terms of being from West Indies and having a short Cummins board. and good bouncer. That was a that was a oh, that was wasn't the bouncer. bouncer. But it's a good lack of a length. Yeah. He was expecting a bouncer. Yeah, I don't think he picked double block in these, but smelling the leather that he did over there, oh. he could have really ballooned up in the air and gone anywhere. Pratula saying love and appreciation, all you guys. Always you guys, by the way, where is Akshay today? Man, he's disappeared. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know where the hell he was. He was late, so I had to come through the last minute mm. just joking it's an off everyone needs an off everyone needs a little breather from time to time so he's got the weekend off but we'll catch him i think next to money night live so we'll have another new <laughs> face joining us in tomorrow's watch along and i won't give it away more but is it only me or who sees russell without a cap as the hog guide of the clash of clans he could be he could be i mean i've never played that game of Same. all of that but I, I know where you're coming from because I think I'm guessing the whole that I have yeah. that whole hairdo that he has. What's the glass ceiling here that Rinku and Russell have? 200 or is that even even in their wildest dreams out of equation? I don't see 200, especially with Bhuvi and Natarajan at the death. 180? So, 180 is definitely possible and I think that is what they would be aiming for. What is expected when you're having Rinku and Russell right now in the last five overs? You, you talk about carnage. Can we like put a metric to it? I mean, in terms of quantified against this pace stack, do you think they can get 40 and you'll be fine with that or 50? Yeah, I'd, I'd think of it in terms of a couple of sixes every year, uh, or, or a couple of boundaries every year. Yeah. That, that would be my least, ex at least 10 hits to the fence. So that in itself accounts for 40 to 60 runs. Right? Yeah. So I think that would be the bare minimum. But yeah, I do agree with the point of Booby, who has his best record against KKR. So, I don't think he's going to matter. And we've seen countless, we have countless visuals of Booby going to Russell. Yeah. So, that's the battle that I'm looking forward to. But I think that solved wicket is probably just gone at the wrong time. Uh, oh, they just so needed 20 oh, more runs. And then it would have just have been that much more better for both of them to take risk and not worry about getting out. No, that's true. I just think about again coming the first two overs, man for 20 guys. He's come back exceptionally well, broke that partnership with Raman Deep. Fair, everyone was saying at that point in time, it's a perfect entry point for him yeah. anyway. But Sachin pointing out, Russell Zero IPL trophy, Pajara <laughs> IPL uh, has won an IPL trophy. I mean, that way you can say Karan Chalma has three in Virat Kohli has <laughs> none, right? Karan Chalma looks like an absolute king. So if you have to really go down that path, Final ball of Cummins' spell, and if he can get a wicket, it'll be a cherry. Oh, wicket. God. Oi. Fantastic ball. Full, fast, and Russell. Yeah, I, I liked how the spot. backward point fielder just jumped in the air. To uh, give us an illusion. <laughs> yeah. And hope. Yeah. Indeed. It, still not the strategic time up, so they're waiting till the dying embers yeah. of this over, and then they'll take it indeed. So, you guys have all locked in your predictions. Too bad if you guys haven't. And there's a chance again you guys have slipped through the hands of winning thousand bucks because there's no more time for you guys to get in your scores unless you can do it right now before the first ball of that 15th over because technically that counts within the 15th over so 122 for six 15 overs gone i'll quickly say 171 for eight i wonder 189 it'll, it'll need both of them to bat deep so I'll probably reduce it to 168. Yeah, 171, 168, 160. Sorry, what 168. 168. I'll go with 173. 173. So all of us Ooh, in that similar yeah. nick of the woods, so to speak. So Russell. It is leg spin hand to hand. Russell. Let's go. Clash of the clans. Three sixes are six. a wicket. That's a six. Three sixes that's are a wicket. That's a first six. That's Shabash. A six. And okay, he's gonna tee off. Yeah. We're gonna watch the PGA Masters in the next three bowls. Uh, can't wait to see Bumna tomorrow nailing perfect yorkers and bouncers and showing how everyone to do it. Yeah, imagine if Bumna bowls a pearl to Shubman Gill up front. Imagine that. Early call. Imagine that. Early call. Indeed. It's going to be Hardik Pandya. It's going to be Hardik Pandya. There is a matchup. Join me at one for the Fantasy Live. We'll discuss that. There is a matchup. Fantasy Live tomorrow early as yeah. today. So, of course, what time is it next tomorrow? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Ooh, Good ball, my own. Nice ooh, ball. ball. Well left. Oh, and class is reviewed it. I was getting a wide, wide. He's given a wide. Reminds me of how Rohit spoke to, uh, I think, Pant and Kohli was, is that wide there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that wasn't a wide. That wasn't a wide for sure. Who is this umpire? Who the fuck's umpire? Like, 
Josh Hughes who once said, who the fuck's turned five? Who is this guy, though? Who is this? I mean, we yeah. don't slide them buyers, you know. We tried reaching out for an umpire, and apparently that man said, ooh, that's a great ball. Well, no, I don't think line. that should be a wide. Yeah, that's within the tram line. That it's passed. Be, it's passed behind the line, and then maybe it's probably say uh, looks like margin in terms of on the line. But yeah, we're going to see a lot of stoppages in the clock as well with regards to wides being reviewed. I know they might yeah. say, "Yeah, it's a correct call." Yeah, so it is a well good call. It was a well done. Umpire, you've just been absolutely looking like a fool on the big screen over there. Anyway, one twenty nine to six five point four. Who will go? Who will go? Well bowled. So right, I think like Nick mentioned, a couple of more sixes or a wicket, a top edge. But who will swallow it is the question. Will it be Cummins running in and having the last laugh? Anyway, one twenty nine for six. What's going to happen here, KKR okay, fans? You guys need some six. six. Wow, it's six. what a shot! It's six. Top shot. And Nick is bang on again. And Mark Gundy, you can't blame him because yeah. you're bowling to a bloody giant. How yeah. the hell do you bowl yeah. someone I think like him? It, it's also a very brave call. Yeah. And yes, we did get a sponsor. Thanks for noticing, Mansi. Really, really props to you. Just a reminder: two elements that were kind enough to, of course, give us his very keen snack. They don't lie about their food. Just like how Russell is in his two element right now, pumping the sixes out. We're going to be pumping the munchies in the as belly six. as nice. another six. Two elements again for him getting his prediction right. Two elements for me being again. Vocal and energetic, and Sharuk as well. Just being in his two element, not to forget. Right, but go check these guys out. Uh, two elements, crunchy minis, protein bars. You can mix them with milk, whatnot. There's right cranberries, uh, and more stuff of this. This generally like what there's a Sapa Ratna trail mix, which is pretty yeah. good. It looks pretty good as well. So essentially, it could be a wicked, is it? Oh my God, <laughs> Nick, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Moments ago, when they overstarted, he said three sixes in a wicket. That is exactly what's revealed. Can we give this guy a lottery ticket so he can make us all rich? Cheers, we keep trying. It's okay. It's madness. And what a way for Mark Gundy to have a last laugh. He gets his third, and that does you guys well in your fantasy yep. cricket teams as well. 25 points for a wicket. He's got three of them, 75. You captain him beyond your wildest dreams. But they're checking if the catch is yeah. clean. I think it is because Markham doesn't miss any. Jeet, I mean, chaotic over. But who's won this over? I would still say Russell because he's done what was required right now. I know there are four overs to go. Okay, that's touch and go. And that's I a hate close it call. When we look at these kind of replays because how many times have we? They'll seen always this? look not up. They always look. That's true, up. but now the umpire has the option of zooming in. Yeah. So that's what maybe. Are, that's what no, but even if yeah. they zoom it in, I mean, they can't get it to be like. 128x is a camera or something where it literally shows everything. So it's a little tough. So it's all like the problem with these kind of calls is that the more you see it, the yeah. more they look not right. Exactly. And who's in power today? It's uh, Rod Tucker, no, four rifles, no, who is it? Yeah, I can't afford it. Let's Bruce Oxenford it is yeah. over there. That's Bruce Oxenford. Good old Brucey. But yeah, please, if you guys are watching us, yeah. liking a content, please like this video right now. Oh, it it's gonna not, not out. out. Is it not out? You're having a laugh. Okay. You're having a laugh. Are they going there to the third of bars with the little KKR lens on over there? The crowd absolutely love it. And why wouldn't they? Eden Gardens, I think all of the fans would probably been like, he gets fine. We've lost Russell and they were looking forward to Rinku. But Russell gets another life. And unfortunately, that's how that little over fizzles out. And it is a strategic timeout. So it's quite ridiculous. But yeah, Kushal. Spot on, Nick's indeed. You said three wickets or a wicket in the Wala or nah. But yeah. I, I generally feel, I mean, that was out, yeah. No? Yeah, it's, it's something that I don't think we can ever debate or get a clear idea on because it. And if you want him out, you'll feel it's out. Yeah. yeah. If you want him not out, it feels not out. I think fair. It was probably a fair call, wasn't it? But again, the more you see it, the more you are going to doubt that. So. I've rarely seen the ball actually just feel like oh it's completely like, under the hand and then it's yeah close. and then, yeah you're right Prashad a classic case of IPL which is IPL we've seen moments of controversy and madness and who knows if Russell goes on and get another 20 30 from here and defines the game this will be a controversy of the weekend for sure second pick for the third action is I think in two D pick two D pick no problem uh, but yeah. <laughs> 
that is that. Smart. But let's see how that goes smartly play. I mean, it's quite short. But I think but what that over does is it, it actually just puts off all our predictions because if it's 141 now already, four overs to go at Russell batting there, they could challenge that 190 mark. That's yeah. true. But again, I mean, you never know. Someone like Nattu coming in right now. Yeah, it's all about cutters. Weekends. It's I all about it's over two weekends. Yeah. They get Rinku or Russell, they can will be in the But I think Nattu bowling to Rinku, I think KKR will really fancy that matchup. I think Rinku will have any toast. I mean, sure, Nattu is yeah. prone to be the awful king and all of that. But I just generally feel Rinku might have a good day out today. What do you think is the messaging in from a Dan and Vittori perspective right now? Because sure, they have Bhuvi to bowl one, Natu to bowl two, or Bhuvi to bowl two as two, well. Bhuvi to bowl two. So Natu two, Bhuvi two, Bhuvi two. Yeah. and Marco Johnson one. And this is four, no, right? This is the four overs remaining. Oh, sorry, so that's it. Four overs, so those yeah. two will finish up. Next by after knowledge, what is he Because he's Honestly, go check out his fantasy previews, the ones earlier today and tomorrow, 1 p.m. It's an early show, the Fantasy Center. It's been rejuvenated, uh, resuscitated with Nick's and his fantastic fantasy cricket knowledge. Uh, keep your comments coming through. Remember, if you guys are watching the Watch Along, we're going to be doing so many more. It's unbelievable. It's a really good innovation on any Indian YouTube channel, especially with the cricket lens. Yep. You want to watch the game as much as we can't have y'all, all of y'all in the studio. Yeah. But in through the comments, we can, of course, think what you guys are thinking. Quickly, two other people are watching this. So, of course, 100 likes minimum as yeah. and when you do it. But throughout, you might be watching tomorrow. Throughout, you can like our content. That Russell and Riku, they got 20 and 10 apiece. Let's see how Booby will get. Russell, I don't know this matchup. Yorkers. Twice. Oh, he's born to Riku first up. And, oh, he's trying to. Ooh. Thread the needle over there to, of course, shot third man and backward point. But what is the strategy for Booby right now? Is it wide Yorker, Chief? I would say Yorkers in line with the stumps. Booby has got some outstanding Yorkers at the death. And Russell has a very, very simple way of, you know, approaching whenever he wants to hit a big shot. Yeah. Just open your front leg and swing it through the line. But yeah. Booby can nail his Yorkers. If he gets one in line with the stumps, you never know. You never know, man, and it's quite. I feel it'll be probably a slower one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that because that could be there. Oh, he a... sent him into oh, the Howrah Bridge, bridge. <laughs> or wherever it is. Oh my uh, word! It's six four. Slot. And it's about this that catch, slow. guys. I'm telling you, it's about that catch. Kick here, fans. I sympathize with you, but producer also wasn't the happiest man when that was a not out. And Shahrukh as well. He's looking. He's looking. I don't know. I don't want to say that word because I'll obviously be be mourning him. But uh, Nachi Kate asks, what do you think is the past story? And will there be a due factor? I don't think there will be a due factor. I might be wrong. But yeah, we'll have to wait and check because for every... And uh, Russell again. That's a flat one. Flat one bounce oh, ball. One Watch one. out, you ball boys. Because you might have your head decapitated if you're not looking. But 150 comes up for KKR. Who would have thought? Because they were in a little spot of bother in a pickle, should we say, when they were four down. And then Ramandeep with that counter-attack of 35. Now Russell getting a life and making it count. I mean, talk about being a money-spinning contest. It's a head-spinning contest, this one. <laughs> and there is no head, thank you. And there's no head. <laughs> so one second. Who's going to have the last laugh here? Booby to Russell again. Catch it! Down the ground. Oh, Carry on, guys. Well, uh, again, why is he not banking upon his Yorkers? Yeah. He's trying everything else but not the Yorkers. That's true. That's I think true. he'll do it in the last one. Sometimes I've seen that with Booby as well that just goes to it only as a last resort. If nothing is going on, then I'll go to that resort. So, let's see. That is true. Which of these batters is the most fearsome hitter? Andrew Russell, Riku Singh, Hanif Klaasin. Klaasin. I, think I think for now, I'll go to yeah, Klaasin. In terms of form, Klaasin. Yeah. Because even with Russell… Historically, Russell. Russell. Yeah, historically, Russell. Because at this point of time, in some of the SA20 games, it literally looked like he's brought his own video game. Yeah. Okay, you pull wherever you want. I'll just hit it for a six. Or short and running. It's a good good feel as well. Short in a way Ooh, which is not directed. Like timed off the bat. But basically, even if you look this at uh, this replay, you can feel that Rinku is always playing two years, so he's yeah. making Russell go for it. But yeah, Russell's not gonna like mess about, guys. That's he's Lord Bowling. Yeah, that's a whole three start. In the arc, like yeah. three seats out of the park. But yeah, keep our likes coming through on the video, of course, and we will answer lots of things going forward in this watch along. During the mid innings break, we will also feature our fan cams episode. So go sure, check that's that out. Sure, that's a boundary. Yeah, that's a boundary. 
159 for six. All our predictions is going to be horribly wrong, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm 189. 189. Yeah, you're my first one. Yeah, first 189 one. is definitely a cross. Pranamana, good to see you. Uh, good evening. You go on to say, can they use Mitchell Stark for the role they're asking the Ryan yeah. to play? He won't be worse than the Ryan who's been basically found up. Yeah, but why would you want to put Mitchell Stark in the firing line with the bat in hand? Yeah, and he's, he's also shot. Yeah, imagine you're playing Mumbai. I mean, how the party is more than capable of giving the ball to Bumrah and be like, break his arm. You know what I, mean? I mean, please, I do that if I see Stark coming out of the back. Like, you're taking the piss or what? I didn't know I was Stark speaking with Clark. Uh, Michael Clark, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And Jimmy Anderson. Broke it all, mate. Uh, keep your comments coming through. We'll take as many as we can. I know Nick, Jeet, and me, sometimes you get carried away with conversations, but we'll try to keep you involved as much as we can. Rinku, the timers, excellent yep. thinking abilities. I mean, someone off camera, I think one of the fans around the stadium yesterday, said Rinku Singh is next Dhoni Anna. Like he was a proper yeah. Chennai guy. And you can see why Catch it, are you saying that. Absolutely. Because he just plays with so much maturity. Yeah. Uh, he picks his balls. When you talk about calculated risks, what else sets Rinku apart, guys, both of you? Because when he came out of bat, both of you guys are ogling, saying, oh, Rinku, Rinku. <laughs> what sets him apart, just for the layman watching in this back home? So one of the things I would say is that with all these big hitters, you generally associate those big hitters with one or two strong zones. Yeah. Rinku Singh knows how to access the leg side, he knows how to go down the ground and he knows how to access the offside as well. Be it any length, be it a pacer or a spinner, this guy's got a game and an answer for everything. Yeah. So I believe that is one of the key reasons that makes him a stand apart, doesn't he? And it's about skill, but you match that with will and he has yeah. that in yeah. abundance as well. Right? Yeah. And it's also what, it's see, when you have you know, just to add to it, it's like when you have a limited amount of zones, then it is still easier to plan in terms of, okay, Absolutely. these are the areas I can block. But him, with him, you can't do that. It's quite crazy. I mean, you look at Riku Singh, and we'll try to put out his bag and wheel in the last couple of IPLs also. Oh, maybe in the second innings, if you can fetch those stats up. It will just show you that he's just an all-round player. Oh, and again, oh, look decent at that. more than decent versus the Ryan. Riku gets pace, last three IPLs. Look at that strike rate in the zones. Because if you roll anything... Yeah. In terms, even within that fourth stump line, fifth stump line, he's going to have you on toes. Good ball Ooh. from Natu. And this is where Natu, I think, is a very clever exponent of that slow bouncer as well. Darshan, good evening to you. Darshan Center, please like this video. Not strictly a cleaning term, but Rinku just makes you believe even when the odds are completely against him. 100%. Yeah. And again, it's not just that particular five sixes that he hit, so on and so forth. But generally, again, those knocks that he played for India, Helping roll it out in that critical game against Afghanistan in Bangalore. I was lucky to see that live. Um, so, yeah, things like that. Anyway, Russell 32 15. There's still 16 balls to go. Yeah, oh, and well oh, mixed. That's also a good idea. idea. Very good idea from the Tajan. Execution just slightly off. And in this game, it's just the margins of error which can cost you. But that could have gone for four. Let's see what the poll says with regards to the IPL poll. Nick's went for class in. Historically, it's Russell yeah. and Rinko Ooh, wins it though. Wow. That's just a heavy Indian in KK uh, bias. Uh, I mean, that's ridiculous. More comments to take, 100%. Keep them coming through. If you guys are joining us on X, Facebook or YouTube, uh, watch alongs are the best on cricket.com. Everyone might have started doing it. Oh, but Russell wow. has made this WrestleMania, if I may add, at the Eden Gardens. Not the Madison Square Gardens, if you know my WWE references, you'll know. By as the last ball bounced on the outfield, the view seems very evident. Yeah. It already looks like a flooded outfield. In KTR, you might come into the scenario much more, given geographically how it is in the eastern part of the world. Yeah. We've seen it even with the football, and I don't think the Salt Lake is too far away, but every time those two teams play, you can clearly see the sheen in the grass. Yeah. But it's here with Russell as well. That... Catch, yeah, I'm telling you, Nick, <laughs> that's a scene. You called it and they took it away from you. 50 yeah, partnership. Yeah, oh, great. They end up wow. just 24 balls. Oh, that's a good that's ball. A good yeah, ball. Almost. yeah. But again, I, I think good ball, but I don't think Russell's not being dumb about it because he's just like, yeah. we've got 170. We might push this to 200. Yeah. And I asked y'all, 2.4 overs go. Even in their wildest teams, could they fancy 200? And you were like, maybe not. So how many times have you had to rectify your prediction? <laughs> Good old Jeet. We talk about, you know, Joe Jeeta, Bobby Sikandar. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Go on. No, but that's a classic thing, right? 
if Russell and Rinku survive right till the end, you yeah. just never know what can happen. Yeah. Yeah. But even if you dismiss one of them, that score comes down significantly. Now, here's a classic case of both surviving, surviving, surviving and the impact is quite visible. Talk about IPL and best finishers in 2024. Do you think KKR are right up there with these two? Who else has really good finishers? I mean, I, I would say Dhoni and Rizvi. They haven't done much. So let's 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 win. let's uh, get them. I would say Rahul with the DK. Come on, 98. A good is start. Four. That was a good start. Good start. In terms of more of it likely to happen as much, I think Rico and Russell has put yeah. them right up top. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to how Mumbai finish things. Uh, Tim David Hardik. Not that a, is firepower. Uh, not not a bad that option. Gives you vibes of old MI. Yeah. And, and if you have Miller going off at the other end oh with Rashid, we have CSK fans have good dreams. Oh, oh that's a good shot. He's yeah. connected as he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's one down four. And that is doing KKR a world of good because 174 for six is what they voted on to now. And that's thrown all our predictions out of the water. Because he said 173, I said 171, he said 168, but he said 189 firstly. So we'll let him have that. Uh, seems Dadagiri, Cholbo, Korbo, Lorbo, Jishore, <laughs> Singh, Harsh, Tavari, Harsh. Uh, are you a KKR fan, Harsh? Good old Harshi. If you are, um, great. If you are, then tell us who you support. And of course, two more overs. I guess there was another guy who said 195 in the prediction. Let's see if you can yeah. get that right. Come and snap me after, such a, uh, after every ball. Such a calm captain. And that's the... I mean, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but I generally feel like he's one of those guys who will keep his emotions, head, yeah, yeah, very well cool and not get hot on the collar and so on. And yeah, so forth. and then just the the ones that we discussed about you know, them, what is the ceiling? We've thought about ten boundaries; they've got eight already. Yeah, yeah. So that just tells you how sometimes these hitters are thinking very, very differently, and not in terms of runs, but just get those hits, one or two hits every over. Yeah, just sets it up. Priyanshu's adding in the chat, lads. We're going to say I want Rinku to blast away in yeah. this IPL so that there is not even a hundred percent agree out to have him in the other and there should even be right now. Yeah. I agree with that as well. I love the brackets there. Yeah, I absolutely love the use of those uh, brackets in that sentence. But Bhuvi to Russell, the penultimate over of the Super Saturday clash. You're watching Ooh, the cricket tried for the yoga, tried for the yoga. That's a four. That's a four. Is it wow. Andre Russell surging or what? Because he's definitely. Penetrated that gap, and Russell's got 500 runs in a strike rate of 229 in IPL. Has anyone scores that much at that rate? I don't think so, yeah. but that's definitely up there. That's definitely up there. I think this part of some trivia that I asked JP Dubin in one of the cricket.com quizzes, but he's definitely up there, Salvik. Good that he pointed that out. And it's a no, no ball. ball. Oh, it is a no getting ball. Back to us. Literally yeah. that. And again, not a Mohammed Amir one, but Booby. Yeah, you know exactly. it, brother. You've been bowling for a while, but that's the pressure and fear of bowling to bloody Russell, man. Yeah, the margin of error is so less. And, you know, just on Russell, uh, he didn't have a great record against the SRI just until a few years ago. And after that, he's had a, a few 40s. And now again, he's looked, trying for a 50 year. Yeah. And finally goes to the wide wide line. But this is, yeah, it's a signal. I think that's what I wanted him to try just a while back. But just showing as a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's an open ball, the knuckle ball, very wide line. That is when you're just, But then... It's the timing that's crucial. It has to be when Russell is not expecting it, like this one that is off balance, and then you can get him on. Yeah. So, again, the margin of error is so less that you have to get it exactly spot on. But just food for thought. Why not try around the wicket? Yeah, I was just actually going to ask. Yeah, you but that. I think that the, the square is any which way is very short. So, I think if Russell is able to use the pace, which I think he can, so just aim for the Yorkers from around the wicket. Just create that yeah, angle. Yeah, See, that now he's far more confident bowling the Yorker to Yeah. I so I think that's, it's just against the presence yeah. of the man intimidating. Yeah. It's almost equivalent against football. If you're taking a penalty, you see a huge ass goalkeeper, you get bloody nerves of oh my god, I might miss, I might not really kind of beat him. It's literally like that right now, bowling to Russell. It's a good thought that you had, Jeet, because even if I had to pick up the tennis ball right now, bowl to Russell, <laughs> I know he's gonna smack the shit out of me. But I'd rather make him do it by creating angles, yeah, which is awkward, but two points which is worth considering. 181 for six. Ten balls left in this kick. Oh, out it's a ball. That's a six. And another six. That's a six. Oh my word! Andre Russell. Gets 50, 20, 20 ball, 50. Oh, good. And he's given some exercise to those two umpires out there. Not just in terms of right. everything. He's literally. Oh, he's telling yeah. Sharon. That is a combination if there ever was. Name me a better duo: Andre Russell and Sharon. Nah. 
Oh my word. I'll tell you what, I'll name you a better duo. It's two elements. Yeah. Guys. Well we have crunchy minis today. We do have dried cranberries. And we do have, of course, that trail mix, which is something that we'll definitely dig into as well. Um, but speaking of KKR fans, you guys must be chuckling away because how time flies. You guys were 4 for 54, whatever it was. Now 187 for 6. Staring at 200 and it's a wide. Oh. And the wheels have well and truly fallen off SRH in the last four or five overs. Since that 15th over mark, they were 122 for six. And now they're 188 for six. So they've got 66 of 4.3. And there's more devastation to come. There's more devastation to come. So I've, I've got a quick question here. Wasn't it really brave on the part of the SRH management to hand over the leadership to Pat Cummins, who has never led in T20 cricket before? I think, again, it's a price tag. It's just a price tag. Yeah. I think it's generally the fact that how the hell can you sit someone out who you paid twenty? Oh, more, that's a boundary. For, oh, no, and all across for, and it was just a price tag. Sure, there is a lot going on that Cummins captain CV. Yes, there's like fifty percent of the decision there, but money, of course, goes well because everyone would be like, "What's the point of spending so much on a player if you're not going to play him in your fourteen games?" So it's just that. Already imagining Russell Chinnaswamy nightmares this <laughs> season. Yeah, we'll have him in toes. Mayank Dagger will get him out, lad. Mayank Dagger will get him out. Remind me of this. Uh, hi, Neil NP. Good to see you as well. Uh, last eight balls of the innings. Oh, my word. Oh, this boy can bat. Oh, man. He's Boys, held the pose. Guy. He's held the pose there. Wow, wow, This guy's wow. not finished yet. He's not He's finished. Not yet. finished. We talked 292 about, wow. minutes. Yeah. It is ridiculous, guys. Honestly, all our predictions have been blown up. No one's winning any predictions <laughs> the way these way. I mean, the, the way that Russell's batting in this style, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. That's what the Eden Gardens have been missing for the last one year yeah. in terms of IPL cricket. And then they're seeing their first game in flesh and Russell just going mad. This time through the offset, I think that's his first six on the offset this evening yeah. and this evening. Why don't bowlers do go wide outside off from round the week and get him to hit towards? Yeah. We spoke about that at the RN. So, seven balls left. Last ball of this, pit ultimate over. And KKR could get 200 with an over to spare here. That is absolutely breathtaking hitting from both these two. And Russell again might ah, get four. I oh, get four. Wow. 200 he up. Get 200 with a ball to spare. I beg your pardon, an over to spare. And Russell's liking it. And how much is that catch going to cost them? Because he was at 33 at the time. He's already got 29 16. more from there. Russell is batting at the 8th. It should be a crime to have that much depth. Saying AJ Ragnarok. Honestly, he's slotted in the number 7. But that Ramandeep master exactly. stroke literally yeah. makes this as well look Entry so point. good. Entry so point. good. We keep speaking about it. That's the right usage as well. Exactly. That it just adds. See. There are times when it will not work out. Yeah. But there are far more ups to it in terms of Ramanthi feeling. Oh, 100%, 100%. He's feeling more confident. It just allows everybody else also to just that much be more exactly. free. And both of them will have the most cheekiest of smiles in that dressing room. But yeah, Neil just spot on about Coven Park in Delhi and Bangalore bowling suck. Abish RCB men team should learn from RC women team. RCB Cup came because of bowling. It's the first day or first round of games, man. Well, sir, let's let's knock out. Uh, anything too early. I'm not saying Delhi are bad either. Let's just give this tournament a little bit of a sort of evaporation before we make our calls. Russell's blowing steam here. He's gassed yes, yeah. by the look of it. Look at that 77 of the last four <laughs> overs. <laughs> now, again, you may probably criticize Pat Cummins, but... I don't hey, know hey, that long looks long long a tough is one. Is this, this. Long yeah, it is. Well so, well done, Natarjan. Reefer yeah. on the night and getting the main man Rinku out. But even Rinku's played his part, guys. Yeah. 15 ball 23 and 200 for 6 becomes 200 for 7. But again, they talk about those three R's in life. Today, it's three R's for KKR. Yeah. Ramandeep, Rinku, Rinku and Russell. It's not recycle, reuse and <laughs> what is it? Refresh? I don't know. What is yeah. the other R? You guys let us know. But Markram getting him out this time. Clean catch, Apayo. <laughs> or do you want to refer that as well? I'm not an SRH fan, but I really feel for them. But already, I know we're not even technically at the midway mark, guys. But has this finish kind of already put SRH out of the game or again? Is it too early to see? 
I think it's too early yeah. to say. Then you, you can also say. But KKR's... what you so much conviction that SR is going to chase that because Agarwal's on in form, Tripathi yeah. is on in form. Who else is going to be opening for them? I, I mean, Abhishek Sharma, we all like. We hope does really well. Then Markham obviously in class in that those two are great. Samad, mm, Jansen, mm, yeah, oh, but Cummins. But... Sure. <laughs> come in, sure. I think I like how Yanis went. Mm, and come in, like sure. As if he. No, I say come in, he'll hit the ball, runs in the offside. When he runs, yeah. he normally does. Yeah, I think it's about the conditions as well. Oh, that's a great sure. start for start. Already value for money, bro. Twenty-five crores, you get players, and he'll do this. Four hundred yeah. likely. Yeah, next match, next match, he'll open. <laughs> next match, he'll open. But yeah, I think the point is the conditions, and also. I think the the game lies in the power play for me. For yeah. I think they were one of the worst sides in the last season. Uh, run rate was seven point nine. Another stat that I said in the preview with no batter had a power play strike rate of over one forty. Yeah, that's that's not something that you that's want. Shocking. See, so hopefully Mayank, uh, Rahul, and Abhishek they just just rectify that because if they do that, then they have the machine just at the bottom to just really take care. You know, Markram, Glassen, Jansen, Cummins, Samad. If you then want them to hit a couple of sixes each. It could potentially happen. Could I'm happen. not saying it will happen, but the game, I think it's set up in the power play, and then these guys versus Varun Chakravarti. Yeah, so one of them, if they want to go into the dime embers in this tournament, you're expecting those three Indians, one of them to have a 600 plus run season for sure, and the others maybe to contribute 300, 300 individually. Yeah, I would say so, and I think they would be probably backing someone like Abhishek okay, Sharma. Yeah, yeah because out of those guy, three, does Abhishek Sharma give you the most conviction? To me, he yeah. does in this format of the game. It's a lot more. Look, this is a format that comes a lot more naturally to him. Yeah. Even the Ranji Trophy, this guy smashed five sixes in over. Yeah. Yeah. He had a great smart five fifty scores. Yeah. yeah. Good ball. Good ball. Yeah. So he's a good batter and he can turn around games. Where? Where? Uh, just a left field shout, guys. Um, last couple of balls should he have just been in strike, or do you think look it's Stark so when he can get it? The. Yeah. I mean, it's a fair call to want him to strike, but then Stark can also hit him again. Something that you, I think they already feel that they have enough. I don't That's know. Crazy, yeah. uh, Two hundred five. I mean, it's a, it's an amazing recovery. Yeah. They had that similar recovery act against RCB last season with Shardul and who was <coughs> the mother trouble. And that is a catch. And the no, get a okay. fourth, no, he doesn't. So that's all. Gets the last ball. Yeah, that's perfect sort of end <coughs> for KKR. And if you get six more from here. You would have got 69, which means 36 more than that drop, drop chance hit. or whatever. And that would have really kind of um, annihilated the option lead for SRH. But these boys still reckon that SRH can get things done tonight. So you're telling me this is KKI without our yeah. highest performances? Yep. I mean, last year as well, similar yeah. sort of game where they got up to 200. The ground is small also here, but then you have a giant like Russell. Final ball. Well, ball. Well, well, good ball. Well, ball. Well, Finally. Well. And it sums up his night because he's bowled really, really, really well, Natu. Yeah. But uh, KKR will be absolutely happy if you would have given them this score, especially 54 for 4. They'd yeah. have bitten both your hands off, your legs off. They would have probably even gone for your torso. So, look, 208 for 7, 20 overs done. And Natrajan, 3 for 32. Pat Cummins, first outing as SRH captain. Couldn't really curtail the runs in the last five. Jeet, 86 runs for the ball of one wicket. That's mad hitting, bro. It is yeah. mad hitting, and that's a point. Like you probably criticize someone like Pat Cummins for his leadership, but you can't quite do that. He just yeah. batters experienced bowlers to get the job done. Someone like Bowie just struggled, struggled and struggled. How you talk about even essentially the batters and Rinku, Russell, yeah. and Ramandi. The master stroke again. We said it before. We're going to see it again for all you guys joining us right now and watching along. Ramandeep's thirty-five was absolutely integral. Yeah. That was the cog in the wheel to give this innings life. It was almost yeah. like, you know, like this <laughs> innings go. Because it was not catching fire. Phil Salt was trying. Yeah. Ramandeep yeah. comes in there, gets hit in the badge, and then, of course, gets a couple of sixes. But Nick, where do you stand? Mid-innings, Mark, Soup Saturday, KKR, SRH. I think KKR's start favourites. Mm. Uh, but uh, I from a... From the first thriller, I want one thriller hopefully today. Yeah. So from that angle, I want them to drag it to the last over. And it, it has to be the power play. Hopefully, SRS can do that. Otherwise, I think at this point of time, KKR probably have 25 to win. And they have a bowler who's going to be defending this particular total for them, who's what, 25 crore worth. Stark's going to get his tail up. 
who's going to be partnering Stark with the new ball in three? It will be Arshad Rana, I believe. But they might as well throw in someone like Sunil Narayan, keeping Abhishek Sharma in mind. Although it's still unlikely, but it's a possibility. First choice has got to be Harshit Rana. But my go-to player for this particular innings will be Suya Sharma. If yeah. he comes in as an impact player, this guy can have a huge impact on the middle overs with what he does. So, he's probably my go-to man for this particular innings. Yeah, you're literally taking that out of my mouth because that was my next question to you guys. What are the impacts sort of strategic subs we're looking at here? Especially from an SRH perspective, can you factor in a Glenn Phillips? You can't play five, right? Oh my god. <laughs> it oh my it god. will be Abhishek. Yeah, it has to be Abhishek. It has to be Abhishek. And he's a pick of the law. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I think from KKR, if I want to pick one bowler, I I I have made a team with Russell and Varun Captain. I've kept it, so I'm banking on him to take a yeah. four for Blaston will smash anyone in the form he's currently in. Fair. But how much would you leave Blaston to? It's like what makes it insane. The game can be set up early yes. on the power play. And dictates yeah. it. Blaston will be a Suyash. That's perfect. Yeah, I That's think, a matchup right there. Yeah, and also, I think if you want to put a number, you'd probably say 10 is still fine as yeah. a rate when class and walks it. If it is 15, 16, dude, you're then asking just too much to, to be done. It's super important this uh, particular game because even though it's not like the most important game in the world, to start any tournament really, really well is Ogre as well. And Gambir must be confident, quietly confident. Hello to Jagmeet Singh Obroy. Good to see you as well. Speaking of Jagmeet, the contest that I would like to bring on. None of y'all won it. Unfortunately, <laughs> no one predicted 208 for seven. You predicted 210, Akshit. You came close, but no cigar, my friend. So, I'll tell you what, you guys will still get a chance to rectify your predictions. Not the first innings, obviously, but have a chance to win the opportunity again, the prizes that I mean. In the power play of the second innings and the second innings time that we always do. It's a freaky contest. You have to tell us the time that the game ends. That and it, it's also crazy how many people get it right also. Exactly. It's amazing exactly. to see it's that. like the fancy game. Last time, yeah. a number 8 in IPL, top score. Yeah, that could be a good stat to look That's into. a trivia for all you guys in this mid-innings break to think about. Because Russell, honestly, smoking it out of the park tonight. 64 that he got. And you look at him in the figure of the movie. Four old movie. Oh, number yeah. 7. In his first two for exactly, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> that, yeah, and see, that's, that's the risk that you run running. Exactly. Uh, but I think the, it's also where I think one in those and Marco ends. That debate will always stay on. That what do you get out of Janssen and do you need somebody else as a bowling option? So, looking forward to see if when one in is available. How but be, but be it SRH fans or India fans, right? Will they wake up tomorrow morning, G, look at the scorecard and be like, what movie? Not for 51. Yeah. Do you think people will start seeing that because it is not for 51? Well, people will for sure. I can tell you that. But Please. it's probably, you know, like we discussed, these two guys, I mean, Rinku Singh, who is perhaps the best death overs batter in the yeah. last probably year or so, and Andre Russell, who has been sensational over the years. Bowling to them is not an easy thing. And that's the kind of fear that they instill. So, I mean, you look at the last five over 85 for what? Exactly. That's a lot. There is no hiding. Absolute madness. Shahrukh liked every bit of it, and so did all the spectators who've gone to the Eden right there. I definitely want to do fan cams around the Eden. That's some stadium we haven't touched upon, but in due course, in due course. Speaking of fan cams, we might just uh, showcase a little video if we can, and we'll also try to promote uh, the Brad Hog Unwind after that at some point in time. But nevertheless, go check this out because I was in the streets of Chepauk last night. Given that CSK fans were always going to gloat it into RCB fans, and this is how it all went down. That's insane. And this is pretty loud. Sukumar, Sukumar. How are you, brother? Ah, oh, brother. It's Sukumar. Oh, buddy. And look at him. It is the RCB fan, the Red Indian. What's going to happen today? Definitely, we're going to rock the show, that's for sure, because our uh, team is uh, batting lineup is very good and even bowling as well. So today, uh, everyone knows like it's a high voltage match. Like uh, most of the Indian fans, not only Indian fans, across the globe, they feel uh, RCB was a CSK like India-Pakistan match. You're wearing captain cool glasses, but Virat Kohli colors. So because they both are brothers from another mother, we have to respect each other. That, that is my motto. So at uh, the end of the day, it's a game. So I respect uh, all the players around the world. Okay, and you've been a big RCB fan. 2008 was the last time they won here. Do you think they can do it tonight? Of course, definitely they are going to repeat uh, the uh, same as what they did back. Okay, and finally, predict Virat Kohli's score today. 100 plus, 
100 plus. Okay, super. Is that a cup? I'm no. done. I'm done. Right outside Chair Park, and of course the IPL begins today. How excited are you? And some of the RCB fan, buddy. Is that a cup? I'm That's chanceless until Dhoni is there. He's with the plan already. He has already passed his bat on to someone else. Okay, what about Rituraj Gaikwa, the captain? Are you? I'm excited to see how he's playing in the first game. Probably he has Tony Jadeja in his team, so it should be an easy, easy thing for him to lead the team in his way. Salah for a reason. Salah for a reason. Hundred percent, he'll be having a plan with him why he had shifted his captainship to Ritraj. Gaikwad is also a seven-letter name, so Salah for a reason. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? By the way, why has it not been one year since 2008? I don't know, not been our luck since, but this year it should be winning, starting with the Women's World Cup, Women's IPL. Let's see if this IPL is ours. Okay, predict Virat Kohli score today. Oh my god, I just hope it's not a duck, but 50 at least. 50. Because he has no confidence on Virat <laughs> Kohli saying it's not a down. It's an it's is not lucky. It's going to be 7 again. Every time, it's going to be 7. Okay, fine. Chant for Virat or chant for Dhoni? Who's louder? You guys can say Kohli. Definitely Dhoni! Kohli! 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 Dhoni! Guys, guys, you're watching the IPL yeah, Mega man. Preview on Cricket.com. Please subscribe. Yeah, so as you're watching the IPL Mega Auction on the Cricket.com, please subscribe. Yeah, the preview, the action he means. Yeah, please subscribe to this channel. It's really, it's going to be really helpful. Super. Well done. You heard it from the fans, guys. Back to me in the studio. Cheers. Yep, we are wondering where this guy has gone. No one. He's just talking to SRH to just ensure that we have a last over finish if we want to. So, let's see who have, what works out. Stark is bowling. So, I think we still have some time for the game to begin. But do let us know who do you think is going to be the most important batter for SRH. And don't say classic. Uh, because I think <laughs> that's, that's, an obvious that's the most straightforward option that you can say. So... You go first. Who do you think is the most important batter? I know, I know who yeah. it might be from you. I think yeah, you probably do know since we discussed about it. Yeah, it is Abhishek Sharma. Provided yeah. again, he's in as the impact player, which he should be. And yeah. the guys informed. The only challenge, however, having said that, is Mitch Stark. Yeah. Mitch Stark with that new ball. If he nails his Yorkers, Abhishek Sharma is not surviving. That's for sure because he's quite weak against that high pace. A Yorker, a back of length, and he's probably gone. So that's going to be a big challenge first half for him. Yeah, I think I'm, I wanted to go with somebody like a Rahul Tripathi, but I mean, the last season just didn't give me enough confidence. I think it is very, very crucial for someone like a Eden Makran uh, to really come good. Because I think if he comes good, it will put a lot of pressure on that management that now drop me. Uh, and I think that's also a better place to be in as an overseas guy that you are pulling your weight with runs. And again, he can, he can bowl. They did not use him today, but... If ever you want to just save a preserve, like he spoke about China yesterday, that you want to try a few openers, few full overs from here and there, I think Magram could be that value. So let's see. Aiden Magram it is for me and Abhishek Shanama it is for him. Do let us know who are your options in terms of the most important battle because we discussed the bowling pit. Uh, he picked Suyash, I picked Varun Chakravarti already. And uh, yeah, I think. So that's basically both impact players for me, provided they do come in as the yeah. impact players. So. Exactly. Let's hope they do have an impact. That's a big thing here. Yeah, and just while we are waiting for it, uh, your thoughts on the Sam Karan, not just to go back to the previous game today. Oh man, that Important drop difference. catch. That, that drop, drop catch. It, today, I think two two drop catches, one at long off and one at long on today. Yes. Russell exactly. long on, huh. uh, long off and Sam Karan at long on. Tristan Stubbs. Oh, oh I mean, boy. He was in his 30s if I'm not wrong. Sam he was Karan. batting on 23. I oh, think 23. that's the specific number if I'm not wrong. But yeah, what a good knock, man. Finally, his price tag, he's kind of justified it, hasn't he? Yeah. I think the, with the ball, not so much. Oh. I think we discussed, you know, so Anand just gave us those numbers about 26 odd overs, 240 odd runs. 240 runs no and no wickets in the power play. So, that's a lot to work out. But I think that the, the good thing with Harshal and Arjdeep now is he doesn't have to bowl a lot. So, I think that could just be the one, one way for Sam Grant to be in the game a bit more. So, let's see. I think Punjab will be happy. 
new game new venue and uh, a good start good start, good start for for a starter and yep, thing we have the lad the lad He's back. back the lad is back and yeah the yeah you know the, the good you know the thing with the bat yesterday yeah. so i held the ball when uh, csk was the first year nice and he didn't do much he gave the ball to avnish he uh, not on the two akshay and you had you had four wickets for him so bashir so bashir and then <laughs> then akshay got the bat oh. and then anuj rawat and wickets scored oh my <laughs> so I want yeah, KKR to win. So I'll probably grab the ball, maybe. Oh, and also just an update on Jeet. Uh, oh, K- oh I... yeah. yeah, yeah. There's just some oh, of those God. things that happen. Uh, just an update on Jeet. He's a closet RC. I was also called a closet RCB fan. Who do you support? Jeet yeah. is a. I don't. I don't a, support he's anyone. He's a fan who gave up on RC. But that was a long time ago. Okay. How long? Uh, yeah. Probably 2016 was last season. Okay. Okay, fair time. Also. But tonight you're back in KKR. Yeah, I think After KKR. No one really, but Nobody I think CSK are the favourites. Okay, but so you're backing them CSK. Yeah. Okay, you CSK. I mean, tonight. Yeah. Tonight, see for the for the love of content and uh, yeah, all I want I want SRH to start with. Yeah, I just got to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's happened. That, that that's fine. I think SRH hopefully because see you need the IPL to have more teams functioning and giving each other a good fight. And it's not to say disrespect to anyone, oh, but after a point of time, you kind of see that. The top five tops is just build a lot of gap. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen. So I know it's very, very early, but hopefully, because there are a couple of sides who just have a toothless bowling attack without having a go at anyone. Oh, absolutely. No, it's okay. You can name them. I've already <laughs> named them. <laughs> there have been so many toothless attacks over the years and we've already seen a few already in IPL 2024. But early days, like we've been harping upon, uh, let us know also about random things that you guys have caught your eye this IPL yeah. uh, from. Different things, adverts, which one do you guys like the best? The Sunil yeah. Shetty, KL Raj, Rohit Sharma one. And there's one with Ashwin and Bawa Saibar, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, and now there's Ganguly going through the ceiling, so I don't know what yeah. it is. Right, it is two orange batters, and one of them is Abhishek Sharma, and the other is Mayan Gargarwal. So it is an Indian Open pair. The impact sub, like these guys predicted, basically after Kavan won the toss and chose to bowl. Yeah. Um, it was always in the cards, Abhishek Sharma. Varun Chakravarti is holding the ball, but I think it could be Mitchell Stark. Stark. It's Stark. Yeah, oh, it's prizes for guessing. Yeah. An impact sub, just to wait for the Abhishek Sharma yep. sort of sub right now. But guys, let us know your thoughts, predictions of the power play is still on. Thousand bucks to be won. And I think I did see Prajula Benavur, Bevanur, I should say, who did ask a very important question. How many watch-alongs are you guys going to do this IPL season? Now, now that is something that we've thought about with a lot of thought and retrospect and we've decided that we're going to do four to five minimum in the week we might not be able to do all on double headers we of course will do one each both in the evening preferably unless it's an absolutely mad game in the afternoon so watch alongs will be predominantly a good yeah. fixture on cricket.com tomorrow uh we're going to be doing not tomorrow on monday we're going to be doing the monday night live show guys aren't you going to cover afternoon matches or only if you have RC in them I essentially feel like there are some RCB games you might not be doing watch alongs for. Like the one on Monday? Like the one on Monday. Uh, because the Monday Night Live is our staple diet and that will have a fantastic guest. Last week we had, of course, Dan Weston preview the show for us in uh, from his car, basically. Yeah. And then we also like ranked and rated jerseys and two crazy jerseys <laughs> on display tonight. We should ask Zeke that. Yeah. Best Which is jer- your favorite and worst jersey from the IPL? Best jersey, worst jersey, by yeah. the Over or oh, this season? This is this season. Oof. Has to be. Has, has to be. To. Yeah, has to be SRH. Yeah. KBR. I mean, hey, the good one or the bad one? The good one. <laughs> okay, okay. Why, why? That is a good one. We know you like your traditional Kenyan wear then, maybe. <laughs> uh, but start the mind, Agarwal. The last time this happened, was it maybe in that Australia tour? It, this this feels like a good reunion of sorts. Yeah. Netraj and Pat coming, yeah. Stagarwal, Stark. Stark. Crazy vibes. Agarwal, and Pant led today. And Pant led today, yeah. yeah. So it's all like Yabba vibes, Yabba Saturday. Indeed, speaking of super things on Saturday, check out that interview which I've done with Brad Hogg on cricket.com. It's episode three. The first one was with Mike Hessen, the yeah. second, Baradaran, and third is with Bradley Hogg. We can tell you the fourth and fifth, but only if you guys are clever to know. Oh, Ooh. my God, well, thinking this is Yash Dayal, it's not. 
I mean, yes, yeah, bold, bold, yes, bold, bold, bold. So, the, 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 bold, so the two people you both have ranted a lot on, uh, Yash and Anuj. They deliver. They deliver, eh? They deliver. They deliver. And I was really actually happy with Mayank Dagar as well. The fact yeah, that he saved good. a couple yeah. of boundaries early on in the yeah. field. We, in fact, thought Mayank was probably the best bowler for the day. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Like, I did do the SRH RCB game fan camps last year, which Kohli and Klaassen got hundreds for us. We won that game. Post match, I was privy to see how the players chat. And Mayank Dagar. Oi. Oh my so, word! That's flown off by whites. That is a snake of a delivery from Mitchell Stark. It'll go down against the keeper, Phil Stall. Phil, Phil Stall. <laughs> snake. He stalled there. So snake from Stark to Salt. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. All the S's. Yeah. But uh, five whites. Uh, or four whites, however you want to say, five runs and eight. Yeah, and I think I think we really need to start keeping count on the, Man, the runs so getting hard. off short balls as well. Yeah, indeed. Because every team is now lining peppering up, peppering it. everybody's one nil. Yes. Salt is being peppered as answers. Wow. As a keeper as well. Uh, Stark to Agarwal. What do we have? Third ball of the second inning. Ooh. Oh, Stark is up for it. Yeah. is like, hi, we paid you in crores. I want you to run for us. I can imagine you'll be completely being that Roy Keane character in cricket right now, but just to finish up, Mayan Dagar and Virat Kohli, they chatted yeah. so much in oh. that post bat session. I felt, hmm, is there something happening here? And then, of course, we saw the trade with Shabazz, and then he's in RCB. So let's see if we can really get the best out of someone like Mayan, because Himan Sharma, Swapnil Singh, Karan Sharma, none of those other names give you real conviction, even though they're wrist spinners, wrist spinners, and all of that. But yeah, that's a chat for another day. Abhishek uh, will be, of course, not off the Oh, oh my God. Oh. Like the very last over, this first over, the way Stark and Agarwal are going at it. But they've come back for two. and seven That's a very runs. risky thing to do, actually. To yeah. just, I mean, give your stuff to Stark in the power play. It is. If wow. it is 60 for one, Nick and G, in this yeah. power play, would you take it? 100%. Every day of Without the week. Every day of the week. I mean, for a side which had a grant of 7.9, yeah, the last IPL, that's 64 one is uh, a massive With that upgrade. Glass and factor, Markham yeah. also there, Samad, rejuvenated, maybe. yeah, especially especially if they are one down. I yeah, think yeah exactly. That really sets up the game quite well for them. Yeah. It's insane, guys. What's your opinion about Sean up being first choice for Delhi? We spoke about shot, it. Shot, yeah, shot, shot, shot from Mayank Agarwal, you fellow Karnataka legend, brilliant. Uh, I'm the other legend. That's why I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, Guys, what's your opinion? Yeah, we spoke about that. Yeah. Essentially, look, whether he comes back or not, there's only a guy like Ricky Ponting who can actually get the best out of someone like Pratish Shaw. He's been trying, yeah. and he's been failing. So maybe a little arm around the shoulder, maybe a carrot and stick sort of thing. Let's see how it is. Productivity game, good to see you. Imagine every time Sachin comes to bat and scoring 23 of 17. That's basically the other story has done in ODI. Random comment. Uh, neither of those teams are playing. I gotta make connection. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of comments, more to take in this one. But one over up, twelve for none. The rule for the power play predictions: it's simple. Let us know before the twenty-first ball, three point three overs, because then those fifteen balls of the last power play portion can really determine how it can swing like a pendulum. So early predictions count. So, say if someone says 48 now, compared to say someone says 48 later, the guy who said it first wins it. We're not that magnanimous and generous <laughs> to have, you know, cash to my left, maybe cash to my right, maybe cash, like all of that shit. So, a thousand bucks nonetheless, and there's a time one, which I'm sure Jagmeet Singh and all you other people like. Uh, already, 1,400 people have watched this particular watch along. So, oh, that's guessing, nice. That's a good number. Yeah, we should, of course, aim. Not just RCB numbers, like how oh, we got 7K in that first watch long yesterday. But hopefully we can get 3K, 4K if this one will be really, really good. And sponsors, it is a proof of concept that we are encouraging you all. So if you guys are watching cricket.com, lots of interaction, lots of eyeballs. Sponsors are your place. We will, of course, be giving you real estate in terms of media Ooh. also. But straight away, Harshad Rana, good call, G. Good call, man. Now, what is it with Arshadana that he's been uh, stuck with in this cake year lineup? Is it banging the deck, kissing the deck, hitting the deck? What kind of bowler is he next? I think he saw in the last uh, season as well, he took a lot of wickets. There have been six, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And all of them came in the power play. And he rushed people as well. So, I think that is something that you'd want to see. See, power play in Eden Gardens isn't, isn't an easy task. Yeah. So, 
very keen to see if he's able to hit top of off very very often uh, he did it in the first ball oh, oh my god Agarwal over clear. mid off yeah for four yeah. i don't think it was the best of timers i don't know sometimes you do can't make up uh, you, you can't but yeah. look, i mean my uncle read that read that like a book if i yeah. should say and uh, you never know what Mrs. Maran has done with Mayank Agarwal with regards to how she's motivated our players. Just too full. Just too full there. Too full. Just a bit back and because and it's also just again the margin of error is so less, right? That's true. Yeah, like you're wanting to hit that one one patch outside of. But it's see. better to err on the fuller side than the shorter yeah, side. Yeah, I mean, that needs to stop. Especially in the first couple overs, yeah. there is swing and option. Exactly. Can class an open. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this. Drifting, drifting, no, like, drifting, yeah. drifting. Oh, it's going in. Oh, wow. you're having a laugh, and by you, you've already got the wide wrong lad. Missing by a big margin, has to be drifting. The boys looked excited in the first look at naked eye. It did seem okay, fine, maybe, but above the knee roll. But is it a bias call at best? Is it? And it looks missing. I can't believe Mid Stark is just passing Harshadana over there, and straight away we can nah, see how yeah, faster. Missing. All of it is happening. Bruce Oxenberg, come on, That's chop, 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 chop. <laughs> That's missing. And missing. Sack the empire. <laughs> You're getting sacked in the morning. You're getting sacked in the morning. I mean, how bad could you be, man? This is your time to shine. Who is the next Nitin Menon of India? Who is the next S. Ravi of India? Who is the next S. Baker Dragwan of India? Empires, or IPL test players, IPL need to test you all out as well. I mean, if this is out, I'll be. I'm going to sack that myself. That has to be missing for sure. Uh, yeah, just a quick question. Yeah, we are. Missing, we are. Missing. missing. What are you smoking, Empire? Yeah, so it happens. It's a shocker. Happens, happens. Everybody's rusty. Uh, Even the finest have made mistakes. Yep. Are you Steve Buckner in disguise? Are you not making any racist <laughs> comments there? Empire is blind, saying the whole Jane. No, no, no. Come on. I mean, not out. Save us the Oscars. Save us the Oscars, Hashid. Yeah. You also knew that it was just your receptionist. Yeah. Theme. But that is the li- that's the length that you want to go. Line yeah. probably a bit more, just around off. True. True. And he could create. And a that's typical again. Hashid Rana, isn't it? Yeah, that's oh, a good ball. That's a perfect good ball. ball. Yeah, that's very good. Really oh, that. My Gagarwal has chosen a different bat. This IPL looks like the good old BBS SS, that prominent sticker shining bright, yeah. compared to the regular other SS going on, which Surya uses. Yeah. I think Hardik also uses an SS. I know this because I play Cricket 24 on the PS5. And that is fucking addictive. Yesterday, I mean, I was in Chennai. But prior to that, I was trying to make all the latest lineups. And it was just like getting hooked. And I spent four and a half hours on my PS5. <laughs> and it just showed me a message saying, turn off. PS5 is too hot. Turn off. <laughs> I was like, shit. It's time to know when to stop. Uh, who's the most serious looking coach? Dan Vittori or Gotham Yubi? Stephen Tim. Fleming. No, but he was chuckling with Bravo, man. But that's afterwards. You didn't yeah, see him before. Oh, yeah. He kind of gets into the somber, yeah. somber seven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, good over this so far from Harshadana. Even though Stark conceded yeah. 12, they pulled it back nicely, KKR. And Abhishek's playing his first ball in this over because he hasn't, of course, had any yet. Abhishek Sharma, it's so mentioned it that he liked how he goes against spin yeah. and he's taken down the best and the best, right? Hasid Angar, yeah. Rashid, Rashid yeah. Narayan as well, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I think that's the thing, right? Once he's set, he's able to take them on very, very well, which is something uh, we discussed, uh, Jeet and I discussed about Stark bowling that Yonka length or good length, the back of it, just at the right spot. Oh! This is good carry and good zip from Hashid Yeah, because yeah, Nuba is the time that you want the openers out. Yeah. Because once they get set, we've seen all this on this weekend, that Russell was able to find boundaries. Ramandi was able to do that as yeah. well. So, I think next over is, I wouldn't want to say wicket alert, but let's see. Let's it see can be, yeah. There's a good chance. Be but yeah. how big an impact has Mayank Agarwal had in terms of struggling to score for such a long time now? Whenever you think of Mayank Agarwal, you think of someone who's a little bit aggressive, Gets going quickly, bats a little bit quickly. He's been struggling for years now. Something is And there are a lot of such Indian batters, right? In terms of if you roll back the clock, you'd say, select someone like, not always top order, but you were saying, you always felt like he'll crack the IPL, right? And Mayan, similar mold, he'll crack the IPL, shorter format, aggressive opener. And there was that period where I felt like for two, three years, Mayan was just. When did that with Ken? Yeah. Whenever I used to close my eyes and think, yes, high back lift. 
and the way he just plays those kind of shots through cover and stuff like that. But off late, like you just said, Gene, the fact that runs is the ultimate currency of the game. Exactly. And if you don't have those, no matter what player you are, that's why there was so much chatter about Virat Kohli's IPL 2021 because even though he's dominated yeah. this fucking league and he's the most successful batter, some of the seasons you can make make him yeah. look like a deer in front of the headlights. And I think Mayank's definitely one of those. But let's see how he goes in this one. So far, he's got a little bit of luck in that LBW call, but that was definitely string. I can't stark strike. I don't like the bloody excess goal. It's like, yeah. um, what is that famous Kolkata singer who's really, really famous? Uh, no, no, the Usha Uttam. Usha Uttam. You know these crazy saris she wears where there's a lot of gold? <laughs> Makes sense when she's wearing it. She can carry it off. She's a legend. All of these players, no matter how much they are legends in their own regards, too much gold looks <laughs> like, come on. Oh, oh no, that's no, a no, Phil Salt. Don't do that. I know you hate Australians generally as an Englishman. But come on, Salt. Your name is not Butter. Salt, it's supposed to stick. It can still play. work, you never know. It's a yeah, still work. It was honestly, he's not fishing. Forward. I know, okay, but was that half hearted? One second, important question Is there any fish of any sort in the Hada Bridge? Because why is he going fishing essentially? Because <laughs> it's not a coastal city, this Kolkata. And perfect little man that Australia is with Stark, he's giving him the bait there. Abhishek's gone for it. Oh, 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 that's oh a good got squared up there. Bang um, on this time. Put him up nicely. Bang on this time. But yeah, it's, I mean, how important will that be? There are lots of turning points in that first inning as well. Controversial one with that Russell catch. But in this one, could cost them a lot because Abhishek is a fine, fine player. Tomorrow, just a kind, kind information given for me to you right now. Watch a long time. Same time, same place. The GT versus MI. It's going to be a cracking one, that. And I'll be in the company of Knicks and another debutant. Jeet will be taking the day off tomorrow, but it'll be a brilliant game. Oh. So call and, of course, take all your comments about 2.4, 22 for none. Uh, remember, you guys still have, what is it? Five more balls for your power play predictions then, yeah. guys. 22 for none. We nearly saw a wicket or wickets, if you want to say, with that LBW call. What are you guys going for? Oh, it looks tough. I think if they lose one, they could lose two. That's my fear. One brings two. London buses. Yeah, I'll Bangalore go for. Autos. <laughs> I think let's let that that will debatable. Forty four for two. Forty four for two. But one thing is for sure, yeah, Stark is not getting another over, so that's probably something to consider as well. Okay, quick single, so, quick single. Ooh. He just ran down, down the pitch. Unbelievable. Uh, Fifty eight public predictions. Saying Jitmi no. Singh, Roy, good early call. Love it. JSO. Has anyone told you that? Yeah, so you have those kind of initials. Abhishek Sharma versus Stark feels like Bretley versus Almodovar. Don't remind me of that. What was that Pepsi 2013? I mean, IPL 2013. Yeah. I think there are two First dismissals forward. that I want to forget uh, from the batter's lens. One is this one and the Joe Denley one. Oh, yes. First it, baller. Yeah. Ishan Sharma. Was Ishan Sharma, I think. Yeah. yeah. Ishan Sharma. That's mad. Starts final ball, Ooh, F is that's second a good, over, and a great shot. shot. That's a typical Mayan. That's, that's, Mayan. A, that's Mayan. Typical Mayan shot. Uh, uh, shot. Sponsors will be proud of that. SS. Yeah. And I think mid-off is slightly not straightish. Yeah. And I think that's why I went for four. But they'll take that any day of the week. Are you happy with that? Because you're back no. in the other day. I am. <laughs> I'm just wondering that Cummins went for like, what, 20 odd runs yeah. in his first two overs and now Stark has gone for 20, yeah. 22 as well. So, yeah. two of the most expensive buys, <laughs> over 20 crores, have both conceded over 20 in the first and two And what if Stark justifies his price tag by becoming to be more expensive tonight? <laughs> is spot on how he's saying the exact same thing. I mean, it's, it's ludicrous when you think about the money that all these players have been got. I mean, even you look at that Mumbai Indians press conference by Hardik Pandey didn't answer those questions about captaincy and the clauses and stuff. It's like, what are you supposed to say? I actually got bought for 100 crores, but I'm 17 in paper. You can't say that. <laughs> right? Or come out saying no comments. We'll address this at a better time. Don't just look right and be like, oh my God, kya <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. It's like teachers ask you a question. And you're just poke your family like, bro, tell me. Bata na, bata. Tell me. <laughs> and like, bro, don't answer. Just look down. That Trust reminds me of a meme. You remember Shoy Malik doing that after the 2007 <laughs> yeah. World Cup final? I remember that. <laughs> Hilarious. But yeah, keep your comments coming through and tell us which is the best jersey, worst jersey. 
We're debating yeah. that. There's a lot of questions we're asking. We asked you to name us at least 10 players who played for both these franchises. Yeah. We've thought of three so far. Yusuf, Raul Tripathi, and of course, who's the other one, boys? Pat Cummins. Pat Cummins himself. So yeah, three players who played for both. I think my producer also has a couple of quiz uh, questions, funky ones coming your way. So lots to like in this watch long. If it is a Saturday, which is a stay home Saturday for you guys, do it the proper way. Sync your watch alongs, yep. whether it's Star or Geo, put us on one laptop and of course get your dinner and then get chatty with us. Last ball for your power play predictions. 58 is what Jagmeet called. 44 is what he called. What are you calling? I'm saying 52 for one. 52 for one. I'm going to go for 55 for one. And yeah, Maya, a good we've seen that shot before. Oh, oh, well done. Oh, well tried. Well attempted. Raman if it was. Good effort. Good effort. I can now only tell who the cricketer in the outfield is through the haircuts. And you, Raman Deep, went for a fade. I know Shreyas wouldn't be in the fucking deep, even though he has a fade. Yeah. So well done, Raman Deep. Because even if I was a fielder there, I would go for the catch rather than, you know, being yeah. circumspect. Because if you get a wicket in the power play, it's gold. Yep, yep. Oh, and it carries. That. It's, they're nearly stuck, stuck as it's well. And it's running in, so difficult. Yeah, difficult one. But well tried. Well, so actually, this team. created a couple of chances. One, not a chance, but a close call. A close, close call. call. Close yeah. Call. Keep your comments coming through. Harsh and there's more people. AJ Ragnarok, Pratvilla, the regular guys as well. Uh, in Chuchant, I'm guessing, joined us earlier. So whoever you are, make a presence. Oh, that's a top shot. shot. That, that is, shot. is that a is top. That is a shot of the night. Top, oh top God, shot. I mean, nice. uppercuts are always... Always special. This is a shot that makes Jeet and me try with our hanging ball on our terraces. <laughs> All of us have done this. All of us have done it. Everybody imagine the applause that we'll get Mad. when we uh, when we play that shot. That's a top shot. I remember Phil Salt playing a couple of shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Phil Salt it was not open doing it. Yeah, but they this is still went far more squarer in terms of you know where it's eventually gone. Yeah, and this is also a testament to the bowler in a way yeah. because they're getting such pace and carry, and yeah. all the batsmen needs to do is like. Cooper guide it. That's it. Guide it. Go there. Thanks. It's mad. I mean, I was talking about hanging ball on a terrace. My uncle at least had to look at that shot. We have to wait for him to come back when it hits us in the head again. Oh, it's a good comeback. Good comeback. Indeed. He's Ooh. The throw. Why? Why? Why are you throwing, Phil Salt? Haven't you heard from Anuj Rao last night? <laughs> Fucking idiot. I was about to ask the same I was so Rao. pissed. And then he's blaming someone else. But you know what? Rao is giving me young, young Rishabh. Punt raw punt oh. vibes in terms of being chatty. And I'm not saying he's the end product by any yeah. stretch, but really raw uh, runs. I mean, Rishabh Punt Rishab Rishab vibes. Yeah. Short of the day saying sports fan, I agree with you. Neil MP saying, guys, we have a blood donation camp from RCB fan. Please do, need, uh, do join camp. I mean, is it true? If you actually do, then it's great. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I don't know if it was some sick joke, but RCB <laughs> fans pouring out their blood every game. But uh, yeah, if we're around, we'll definitely give you. A thumbs up and some love from our side, Neil. That Hashid Rada. Oh, no, there isn't. No, it's on. And it's over for a chakra. Oh, that's a piece of the game. VC is not going to run that. Never. So, look, essentially, they need to do 40 something. <laughs> they've got, they've gone that's past crazy. my tradition already in terms of 40 in four hours. Yeah. That's a top start. 64 is what you call. Exactly. 40 for one. none right now. No one can change their predictions because that's the beauty of the power play contest. So, Jagmeet, you're still in it with 58. Uh, and Neil, yeah, tomorrow we'll, of course... Where is it tomorrow? Is it in Bombay? Because we won't be there... Oh, what? What's it? The game's tomorrow and in Gujarat, the night game. And then Jaipur? Or Jaipur, is it in Laksa? It is Jaipur, right? Yeah, we won't be there, unfortunately. But we'll try to do uh, some more fan cams up north on the west or on the east. I'm there in Mumbai on the 1st of April for the MIRR game because that's the first MI home game this season. And we chose that game because fans will want to say stuff about Hardik, about Roth not being captain. So we thought of doing that game. We're also there for the SRH MI game in Hyderabad this week on Wednesday. So if you guys are there for that. No, yeah, SRH MI in Hyderabad has been special. Uh, has been special. Yeah, if you know, you know. Yeah, lots of moments in that one. Azadis. Yeah, is that he's Rashid so much? And oh, it is Varun. And that's out. No, no, no. I don't oh my think. God. No, I don't think he's let uh, right. move much. I mean, little office yeah. update. HR has been replaced by VC. If you know, you know. <laughs> replaced by the Vice. 
vice chairman and Varun Chakravarti. Oh, he did drag. Something chance is it? Drag it. Drag yeah. it down. And he came back, back in back. time. You know, oh, Dhoni, said, aren't you, yeah, Phil yeah, Salt? You know, Dhoni, back. aren't you? The thing with Dhoni, and that's why MSD is such a fucking legend when it comes to stumpings. Any other human being wicketkeeper has a normal recoil. He does. Yeah. Dhoni doesn't have recoil. It's like even in slow mo, he's taking the gloves to the ball. That's why it's a split seconds where he's way above the rest. But the intentions are clear, guys. There's something yeah. going to happen. Abhishek, yeah, yeah. six of eight, release really shot coming. Hey, let's go. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, my oh. God, through the gap. Abhi, agar akshay hota hai, are yaar nasib, nasib. Ye SRC bhi ke saath nahi hota hai. Abhi, agar akshay ko abhishek, if you guys know him. Oh, yes. Think about that. But the luck is certainly gone SRH's way, G. Yeah, it has. And they kind of need this, to be fair. Yeah. If you want to chase down such a massive target, you need luck on your way. And plus the fact that, look, they didn't get the rub of the green with that bloody Russell Cook thing. Nitish Rana looked like a... Park feel of that. Yeah, very I think honest. Salt, salt had his head on his head because he knows he dropped him. Yeah, earlier. he's just like, what the hell's happened? Uh, let's see how VC comes back. Oh, that's a top shot. And this is Absolutely. why Sobesh Agarwal said, watch out for Abhishek Sharma because he can eat spin up like how Gukirat enjoys his biryani in the office here. He used to at least. No yeah. watching on tomorrow. We are Abbas. GT versus MI. We are. We are yeah. doing the watch on yeah. tomorrow. I don't know if there's a rivalry, but there's a watch on yeah. for sure. You know what? The Fucking sad fact of life is 30th and 31st of March, which is next weekend, there won't be a single watch along there, but there'll be some really, really good stuff to come out because we'll be traveling a couple of offs to certain guys. So next weekend, there won't be watch alongs, but Friday, there will be one, and Monday, Monday Night Live, and then we'll overcompensate that week. SRH finally having some luck in the power play. Yeah. Last year, all these chances would have gone to hand, and they would have been 23 to 3. Good observation. 50 for Nan 4.3. Becomes 51 wow. for Nan 4.4. Look, all our predictions are really, no. really being challenged. There was one guy saying 60, I think. 65? Another oh, yeah, guy yeah. saying 58. 58. Jagmeet said 58. Yeah, 65, they came in the first inning. Yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> but uh, 51 already, 4.4. So, again, no one won anything so far in IPL 2024. Maybe I should just put like a 5,000 voucher <laughs> and then people will go mad <laughs> and then someone will win it. So, Still, let's see how this all goes. Varun Chakravarti to bowl to Mayank Agarwal for the first time in this match. And Mayank is not as kamikaze as this man is to spin, it's but he still drive. gets one or he doesn't yeah. have two. No, he'll settle for the single. I think this is also one of the things that a lot of us have been speaking with uh, KKR's point of view that who gets those new ball wickets? Yeah. You know, we discussed in the preview uh, and they've continued that, considering 15 every single game. They did that last year. And they've continued that tradition at least today. And uh, maybe it is the conditions, but you really want to hope that they'll find more options. Mm -hmm. Because not always will you be able to rely on Harshit and Stark. So, let's see. Oh, he's Harshad. gone That's down the ground. Six. Over That's a six. Oh. Z for six. And there's an MS Dhoni fan oh, there trying to catch it. But 58 for none. Payo is gone. Many people are reckoning 58 for none would be a power play score. But they've done it with an over the spare G. They have, and again, it's that man Abhishek Sharma against yeah. a spinner. Against a spinner who obviously no mug with the ball. Yeah. Varun Chakravarti, I know it's still early days in IPL 2024. No bowler wants to fucking go for runs in his first over. But we saw that even with, who was it? Shavaz Ahmad, Marco Jansen today, who went for 20 yeah. in his first over. So it's about getting the yips initially yeah. when you're bowling. But yeah. 58 for none, Fayo was gone. That's insane. Quickly, two questions at the top of my head, which is, could be a making of a good YouTube live poll. One is if you had to choose one of these players in your team, only one, who would it be and why? Stark or Cummins? Across formats, if you had to just pick one player. Across formats, I think dwindles it in yeah. favor of Pat Cummins. Yeah. If yeah. I have to stick to T20 or wide ball cricket, I'm going for Mid Stark any day. Yeah, you guys agree? Yeah, okay, yeah. let us know what you guys think in the chat below. And it is good that you comments. had that condition because I was about to say one well, and then yeah. all conditions. All all conditions. Again. Again. Okay, so Harshad, Harshad Lara to continue. That's and chance. he got the wicket of Mike Agarwal. It's no. all Z. So it's all kind of going the KKR way. I didn't ran back. No, sorry, the SRH <laughs> way at least in the power play because no man's land yet again. And yeah. HR is not happy. I'm not yeah, talking it's about a... human resources, but Arshad Yeah, and also slightly surprised by no Naren yet. Yeah. Uh, 
I think he would be the first one that I would go to. Even are they saving him for class in? The but then they already have Suyash for that matchup. Oh, yeah, uh, so I think this this is probably a gamble. Or we'll just suffocate them in, with spin. Yeah, but then the thing is, they've already got sixty, and it could be sixty for one. Oh, oh. nearly good improvisation there. Yeah. So I think this is probably the over that's a bait from uh, I think from KKR that will go after him. That is true. You potentially concede twelve fifteen, but then if you get a wicket, we want it. So I don't know if this if it works because they've already gone for a lot. Yeah, so, but uh, again, someone like Harshit Ran, the thing is that he's predominantly a new ball bowler. Yeah, At so the yeah, back end or the middle overs, he's yeah. not so good. But this also emphasizes on the point of how important Mitch Stark is going to be with the new yeah. ball. That guy, look, he's not someone like Bhuvneshwar Kumar or any other random swing bowler whom you'd front load big time by giving yeah. him three overs of finishing off his oh, over the spin. way. There is a man and there. That's out. And this 60 for one. Man. Oh, oh, and there was a little send off oh. as well from Harshit Rana. Mayank doesn't like it, but he'll ah, have to walk. Nice. But look, SRH, make no mistake, you guys have won the power play. Yeah, you I think they'll always the take power it. Play. 60 for one. I asked Nick this. 60. He was just like, you know what, take it all day long. And Mayank, 32 of 21, mate, you've done yourself a world of good. You've still managed to get more runs than Virat and David Warren in this <laughs> tournament so far. So look at it from that perspective. And a kiss oh. of death right in front of him. Oh, you have the audacity and the cheek. <laughs> Imagine HR being that bad. <laughs> I mean, we have an early good HR. Drops, Jayat, you know, you know. Essentially, talk to me about how this is all unraveled in the power play, guys. Because this is a game. I think this is going to go down to the wire. Yeah. It is. But in terms of uh, SRH, this is the kind of start they would have wanted. Yeah. But KKR, after the kind of start SRH got, they would have wanted that one wicket one desperately wicket in the power play itself, which they've got. They again with three balls to go. They'll be hoping they can squeeze in another wicket and yeah, one brings two is exactly. Right? But that, I mean, obviously the wicket makes GSI look good that these persisted with Hashidrana three overs in the trot. But do you think you would have still gone for this move? And now it's vindicated also, right? Yeah. So as I said, I would. I probably wanted to go to Narain before Varun. Oh yeah. But uh, again, as he pointed out. Probably the best time to use Harshit as well in terms of the new ball. We can, as I said, this is an over where they're happy to concede a few, but they want that wicket. So they're happy to have Harshit be the guy who takes the aggressive option. And it has worked for them. But let's see if Rahul. If, oh, oh, my God. God. God bless his chin and his neck. Mm. Please get a concussion substitute right now. Because that is Jack back in how he nearly gave him the kiss of death as well. Oh. He nearly did. They have stuck on Rahul and that really stuck Rahul. I think this is how Russell got the yeah, first ball as well, right? Oh, I mean, if, if Rahul, Russell woke up, that is I hope yeah. Rahul hasn't woke up. This is madness. I mean, if Russell got like literally a spitting cobra, this was honestly like you trying to kiss a girl in the fourth grade and they're trying to run away. You know what I mean? Like that was just trying to get big on me. I was like, what the hell is that thing? Kiss in a nice way, guys. Yeah. Don't always just get like this. Is just laughing with these nice guys. You guys are always just having your own things in the comments. But fantastic 143 that wow. last delivery. I wonder how much that speedometer showed when he was eked away for six, which my own kind of got in that previous. Yeah, I still can't get over this though. This is that is mad. That is cool. Cool. That is as cool. cold as cold as it gets. If I was wow. my oh my. Who cares about the fair play, isn't it? Yeah. yeah they Let them get them. docked. That's fine. That's crazy. That's honestly crazy. But look, this is some kind of stuff that you also enjoy. You want yeah. this kind of stuff as well. As long as it's within the line, I think we're all yeah. happy with it. That's fine. Oh, that's so good. I think he wanted to pull that and then just bailed out. Bailed yeah. out of it. Harshad Rana, who does he play for? State wise, domestically? Haryana? He plays for Delhi, Delhi, Delhi probably. Delhi. And he's not related to Nitesh when he's no, he's no. not. I think that's the first question a lot of us had even last year. Yeah, uh, now some people had that. Yeah, yeah, they connected. If they one runner doesn't get you, the other will. But one of <laughs> 21, 2.5, and he's got that important breakthrough. Mike Agarwal, remember all you lads, uh, whoever is winning the power play predictions, is there any winner? Sean, let us know. Avnish, you can watch Kill Chris Stumpings, even he doesn't take the gloves back. Yeah, Giddies, again, brilliant. <laughs> Down, Why, down. Is that, that is an absolute that? sensational oh, shot for. He did take his chances, but calculated rakes from Abhishek Sharma to end the power play. 65, 65 for, one. for one Nikhil Popat. Yeah, SRH's power play. Yep. Hands down. I don't Definitely. think you yep. could have planned it better. You Yes, you can say some of things have gone their way. There's a drop catch. A couple of missives that could have gone to the fence. 
but I think this is as good as it can get in a 200 run chase. And, and I want Suya Shin now. That's it. Yeah, I think get Narayan on. Yeah. Give more overs to see Varun, but get Suya Shin as well. Yeah, I know we talked about this in the start in terms of setting it up. I think that job is done in terms of one of these openers clicking and giving them start. Now, this is where I also want Abhishek to really badly. Yeah. Because it then helps Makran Klasen and uh, others to follow that. They are, don't have to get in and start going immediately. So, right. if Abhishek bats deep, he just reduces the margin as much and keeps it to 10. But so the I, problem with Abhishek is that he is not that kind of a player who, you know, generally adjusts according to the situation. So or, I, or I want him to keep going. Yeah. I'm, say, I'm saying he wanted yeah. to keep going, but for a longer period of time. But that's the thing, right? Someone like Abhishek Sharma should now kind of come with it in terms of, okay, I have the aggression up front. I can, like, go berserk if I need to and exploit the power play, which he's done. Yeah. But like Nix has mentioned, he wants to take that game to the next level. You should know how to switch gears in yeah. terms of being the run accumulator right now. Especially when you have your Markhams and Glass you don't want to expose them too early on in a chase of 200 plus. I feel like, okay, yes, he had his luck go his way. Perfect platform that he is, 13 balls, 27. Just go for it. Just go for it. But just coming back to the power play, just one yeah. spin over of Varun and then five, of course, in terms of pace. Was Varun always the first choice of the spin options in the power play, or was it almost like any mini money more? Because they can choose the three. I personally was surprised because I was expecting Sunil Narayan to yeah. you know, at yeah. some point in time play a role. But they were like, okay, let's throw in a mystery spinner who has kind of done well. Yeah. And, but and I think it's Suyash, but do you kind of remember right now when I ask you, but did he bowl much of the power play last year? No, he did. He did, right? So no. he's probably middle, middle overs, yeah. Middle yeah. Okay. So it'll be a spin suffocation, I'm guessing, from Gambir and Co. Uh, let's see what the messaging to JSR is out there in the middle because Chandu Pandit and Gambir, both mad tactical leaders, they'll definitely have something to say. Our producer also has a couple of trivia contests to, of course, show us. We'll take that and much more. The second question I wanted to ask you, like how I asked your staff of Cummins, who's finishing higher in IPL 2024? Is it KKR or is it SRH? I'm going for KKR. I yeah. feel they yeah. are better rounded in terms of the resources they've got. And they've got more impact players in terms of whether it's bowling, batting, fielding, whatever it is. They've got the right players to get the job done this time around. I know, I mean, that top order, that middle order, they've had their own woes, they've had their own struggles. But if this unit clicks, I think they're going in the top four for sure. But can't it be like perceived as a new SRH era? I mean, essentially, all Hyderabad fans watching this, we really appreciate you all also. And we'd like to talk about your team quickly before that over resumes, can we look at it from a different prism? The fact that SRH, new captain, okay, fine, maybe the same old frailties, but surely Pat Cummins will do more good than harm. But then that's the problem with SRH since a while, right? Yeah. Since the last few years, we've always looked at them as new captain, uh, hopefully in better year, better tactics. I think last year was a perfect example of almost them having everything. Yeah. And we all call them going to the playoffs and then it's like an egg in the face, egg on the face for all of us. So. I think Pat Cummins has, would have had more learnings yeah. uh, in terms of his homework. So, I'm looking forward to that aspect. But you know, as he said, KKR have filled those gaps. Now, again, ex execution is something that we need to see. And that's a good uh, good dab for a single. Yeah. So, I think KKR do look more primed to finish higher. But if Indian contingent of SRH fires, sure. then I think SRH will be well worse. Because they have a good overseas contingent. Yeah. They'll do the job. But the Indians, I think Natarajan did that today with the ball. Now, we have one of... Uh, Abhishek and Mayank giving Mayank, a good start. Oh uh, yeah, Mayank, Trip, Rahul, they all get going. Then it's a completely different ball game. And it's a conversation we were having a while ago. The fact that out of that top three, the Indians that he's talking about, if any of them have a 663 plus run season, then you think SRH is definitely in the business because, Ooh. like he mentions, a plethora of names that they can choose from on the bench to call upon overseas like Phillips, Head, Hasaram. Yeah. I mean, essentially, you could probably. Do they still have Faruqi this year? No, they don't. They don't. They do. They do? They do. They do. Okay. Yeah. So, Faruqi as well is an option if Tansen gets injured like for life. But Narayan bowling his first over here. So, so decent start. Good to see how Narayan goes. Again, he's been playing the IPL for donkey's years now. <laughs> Speaking of donkey's years, just saw that stat. 499-320 game for Sunil Narayan. He's going to be playing his oh. 500th. Where do KKR play that next game, Shona? Can you just Google that? I don't know if RCB play them. RCB play PBKs first, right? On Monday. Yeah, then Monday. It's Chennai and GT on Tuesday. Wednesday is. 
Rashid Khan. Okay. Hope Not only IPLs, definitely in terms of look, if you want to break it down into pacers and spinners, of course, Pumra and Rashid. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I would have gone for Pumra first up. I think yeah, uh, hmm. all phase bowlers, all phase bowlers, I mean, can go anywhere to anyone. As okay. good as yeah, I can't look past that. Bumra or oh. Rashid, good bounds. Uh, I was going to say good ball. Good Your cannot? Uh, second bouncer, right? That he's That's zone. the second bouncer, yeah. So, Russell clearly executing well. That didn't look 127. Or was it? I don't know. Maybe. Speed some guns speed shall guns. not be trusted. <laughs> Do they actually give them some time here, guys? Two new batters for the crease. The party mark him. They don't have to go gung ho right now, given the fact that there is so many runs in the last over that Rinku Russell hit. Yes, you obviously are not in that same ilk. You have a class, and you could argue. But even if they're 130, 140 in the 15, they're well in the game. Yeah, but then, oi, oh, that so that kept a bit low as well. It did, but what is Rahul's body doing? Looks like yeah. it. Never mind. But yeah. yeah, I think it is still a few too many to chase. Uh, is what I said. Because it's about when you're depending on only a couple of individuals and, and if they go, yeah. then you're not having anyone to that try and cover up as much. True. So, which is why I said 10, 11 is still doable. But if you have 130, then they need 78 of the last try, right? So, I don't think that is something that's that they want. Yeah. They probably want because to keep it to 68. Yeah, when, you, when you look at these 200 plus totals, they're thinking you'll still be in the. But then you're like, shit, 70, that's 15 in the last. Yeah, and, and, it, and it is one bad over. It needs one bad over for yeah. you to be so far behind and then everything just falls. And those but, totals can only be chased, especially with that equation, like Nick said, five of the last, I mean, 70 of the last five. If you have a peak fallout, peak Dhoni, yeah. a shit bowling attack, invariably, if you have RCB bowling, then you still are very worried. Because <laughs> I'm guessing RCB, even though I love them, I always think about how many times teams have conceded so many runs in the last over while defending. Asked 100% up there in that record. So <laughs> let's see. Dal Tripathi. Hello. It this is, is the over. Derby after all. The Dal Tripathi yeah. Derby. It asks ask that question again. Can you name us more players to play for both these franchises? 77 for 2. Edo is gone. Yashwant Reddy, good to see you. Mark from middling the ball. Is it Suyash? Brother has some. Yeah. Suyash? Indeed. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Suyash Sharma. Naran continuing. Okay. Okay, they're just announcing the sub now. Uh, but it is Narayan yeah, who's continuing. You know what? I generally think what SRH needed was this printed jersey inspired from the SA League. A successful <laughs> jersey mimic works on the country. For as Germany, simple as that. Possible. Nuts. Look at Suya Sharma. Many people are saying that MS Dhoni put into a washing machine and shrunk. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It is true. So yes, do not. But tell, hopefully, no wickets, Rahul. Just bat it. Just yeah, bat just it, bat it. Yeah, yeah. Look, but the problem is it's 130 to 12 overs. So they can bite the time, but probably not more than like eight, nine balls. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. In I just such... don't want Rahul to take the the riskier option. I think he's good enough to, you know, go downtown, look to drive over covers. That's the shot that I'm looking for. I just don't want a cross batted swipe. But you're probably going to get that with Rahul, isn't it? You're going to uh, get hopefully... those cross batted shots, yeah, those sweeps, just... those slogs. Yeah. I think to Suyash, yes. To Naren, no. Well, so the Naren is very quick, and again, that length, it's, it's not going to give you much. So It isn't. By the way, Abbas okay. asking me, uh, ask me or DC who's going to finish higher. Tell me who will be 9th to 10th. Well played, Abbas. Well played. Your beloved Mumbai will be languishing in the bloody bottom. And I'll be in the dizzy heights of the top three. Mark my words. Ask me, definitely going to go a distance. I think it's going to be a CSK ask me final and ask me to do them in Chekhov. Imagine oh, that. that's the sweep. The best way to win an IPL. Do it the hardest way. Do it the absolute hardest way. And Swiggy is calling me because I've ordered a... <laughs> Nice pants here, chicken breast and a keto chocolate cake. So that's hopefully my dinner tonight. Hello, where are you? <laughs> yes, where are you? Lovely, yeah, no. first floor, please. Thank so, you so much. Last three balls, singles, doubles, boundaries. Yeah, I don't yeah. think... Uh, Double boundaries, maybe. I mean, or maybe they'll just milk the wily cat. I don't yeah. think they should really go for Narayan because yeah. it's... Perilous. The call is coming again. I still do not go against the wild. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. Again, Baran Chakravarti's put it down and they have a little bit of luck going their way. And Dude, I told you this is not the yeah. over for Rahul to play the cross batted swipe because it is not going to come up. It's very unlikely. Man, and Baran Chakravarti, have oh. you had a lot of butter paneer in the mid innings break? Butter fingers, or you're just doing your best impression oh, of Neil Porter tonight? That that would have been a horrible replay Dern for Rahul is, to look look back at, but but Narayan is desolate. They'll come back for two. Sure. 
and Markram's quick and free. So just, just before you know, in the break, we both of us had a call that who is the most important player for I think how did we drop that? Cloud <laughs> That's the thing, right? There are two fielders. Whenever I see the ball Russell, go high in the air and two fielders underneath it, I'm, one is Narayan, the I'm second is C V Varun. Third, Mahesh Tikshan, of course. Yeah. Not Mujib. Huh? Not Mujib. Mujib, not as much. I know he's quite bad as well. But yeah. with these ask, three fielders, ask, ask I just Maxwell. lose all hopes. Uh, that's true. Uh, oh, you wish, Avnish, we're going to rock tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. Prajula, join us. Ooh. Go watch along indeed. Uh, it'll be Shuban Gill uh, and having a fantastic debut as an IPL captain. I can tell, tell you that for sure. Or maybe I might have win it. Let's see how that goes. But keep your comments coming through. An absolute anguish there on Andre Russell's face after that catch being put down. And we were so close to calling it yeah. on, literally, on point if that had been snaffled by Varun Chakravarti. Right? It just also makes you think about whether these two now are just having enough. Because like Nick's mentioned, Jeet, you can't just be playing, I mean, not catch-up cricket, but essentially having a too many sighters right now in the middle over. You can't. I mean, that's a big problem. Whenever you're chasing a target that's well over 200, you can't afford a bad over at this point in time. You have a 6 and 7 over, the required rate is going to rise rapidly. So, you've got to kind of at least target one boundary per over, yeah. nudge the other balls around for like singles, doubles and try to squeeze out those 19 runs of the over to keep the momentum going. Yeah. Okay. So, Yashama, early in his T20 career, just spreading 8 wickets in his 19 matches. But nevertheless, he has a point to prove tonight. Not just a Jeet, but generally the rest of the KKR yeah, fans. And I want nice. the googlies. That's yeah. it. For the wrong run, ones. 14 no runs out of wicket. Start with oh, that's wrong. a leg break. Yeah. Four, 14 wrong. runs out of wicket of Rahul Tripathi. Okay. Interesting call. A wrong one to get in, if it is. Yeah, because he's going to look to sweep. So, okay, fair enough. Shivam, if it. today's DC is that pouring his calm against KKR, you and Jordan Gales, 100 records against Priyanshu. Also, let us know what you guys think about the game. Where is it meandering to? All you lovely people in chat. Chant was asking us about the studio. It is a brand new studio. Facelift, which is only going to get better. We're still yet to add our final touches, polishing it off. Shob's going to give us a wave there from the yeah. new production hot seat as well. And Rathal Party 6. 6. Shabash. So, Nix has got one part of that prediction, mm. right? And he's gone wide of long on for 6. Yeah. A good shot that. And again, releasing some pressure because the required rate was above 11 before this over. Beg your pardon, before this ball oh, as well. Yeah. Nobody will ever figure out the mystery of Varun Chakravarti playing ahead of Chahel in the 2021 T20 World Cup. No one. Yeah, but forget it. Forget we've, it. we've discussed about this. Bygones are bygones. It's time to move on. Bygones yeah. are bygones. 92 for 2, 9.2 is all going off. 9 fours and 4 sixes. And makes you think about where they will be in terms of the 15th over mark because KKR really played catch up in that bag end of their innings, yeah. but they're well set. But about wickets being the key again, Ooh. cross bat and sweep to mid wicket for one. Yeah. 93 for two. Tripathi's also got a little bit of luck. We saw Agarwal had a little bit of luck. I wish he had a little <laughs> bit of luck. So you need that to go with you sometimes, yeah. maybe just to put them back in their groove. I would really wish what we could listen to what Dan Vittori is saying, but we do these watch longs on mute. Yeah. Also, are you guys watching it on Star Sports with us? Are you guys watching it on Geo? Tell us in the chat, Chachan, Priyanshu, Prajwala, at the top of my head, I remember those three names, sports fan, there may be more. Flat shot. That's a good shot. Oh, that was great. So, this was us talking about. And we, that is. We spoke about two people who I felt Makaram would be the guy to watch yeah. out for. For SRS, most of what he called Abhishek Sharma, he used to left time. Yeah. He wanted to pick one. But what's surprising here is Suyash bowling leg breaks. Guy who yeah, predominantly <laughs> bowls those wrong yeah. ones has started with four leg breaks. It's time to surprise people. And now, even though it was a touch shot, normally batters would like try to over hit that yeah. and then just Man, manage yeah. to find the field on the deep. But I think Markram, if you watched him and observed him closely, he nails that shot. Yeah. He's made that one of his own, like that powerful cut through the offside. It's just something oh. that he's been doing it. Oh, it was the wrong one over there, Jeet, and nearly making kind of making unforced error over there. 98 for 2, 9.5. And they're going on course here, SRH. So, all you people watching from Hyderabad, from Kolkata, how worried are you? How excited are you with regards to their first uh, win of the season for both these teams? Who knows? Similarly, nobody can figure out the statement of Rohit Sharma still being the captain of T20 team in the World Cup despite two, two horrendous previous records. I mean, left alone. Left alone. <laughs> and it makes you think whether Rohit would still be. Ca oh, really a great attempt in terms of cotton ball from Suyash. He saved the empire, his balls, all right. 
in terms of his balls balls so 14 runs it is 40 oh my god oh my god legend. that's why he's Bro a legend, is a legend. Yes, we just keep trying. Sometimes, no, no, sometimes it comes out. Words like that's <laughs> insane, guys. Please like it for that particular thing. Rewind six balls ago. This calls the for man it. literally said 14 runs in this over. And what do we have it? 14. It's madness. Click crazy for any reason. Of course, follow him. Uh, his link is, of course, in the description below. More comments to take. And of course, tell us what you guys have been enjoying of our content in IPL 2024 so far. Fan cams is out, unwind is out, there is watch alongs, and there's going to be many more things you'll love. Monday Night Live, we might get a really interesting guest from the UK. Uh, either that or someone who's been affiliated with RCB. So, either way, you're going to have a fun guest coming on MNL. One is bald, one has really good hair. <laughs> so it's really weak in my head, but right now it's bad. And both the 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 guy who's involved with RCB, his last name starts with M, and the guy who's from the UK, his first name starts with M. So <laughs> if you guys know, you know. Both I just who, this been one. on cricket.com wow. in some capacity. Um, but yeah, lots of people joining us on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, Instagram also we kind of do live content, but that's only for the fantasy. Oh, oh my god, it's hit him on that shin the empire. What's it? Which is the most painful injury? Is this it for Suyash on the tip of the finger? Because even those are nasty, and that'll be like purple and swollen up in the morning if you don't put oh, the ice. This is already what this. It's probably this one. Yeah, probably, probably this, this one. one. And I've got this not in cricket, but I've got this in football well, before. Yeah. Where you get tackled on the shin if you're not wearing a shin guard, and it fucking stings. So that's going to be a purple mark for that empire out there. Yep. It's been a tough day for this man. <laughs> he's got a wide wrong, he's got an LBW wrong, he's got hit. He nearly got hit in the nuts as well. I'm convinced Nick <laughs> runs a betting ring on the side. I mean, he's not Gurkirat, where I literally had to ask Gurkirat time and time again, like, Kya Gurkirat, like, Dikhi me last <laughs> Or like, Kona Agar Pay, like, you know. Weird people that ring the bell at weird hours and be like, koi nai, koi nai, <laughs> <laughs> like, You know what I mean? It's quite crazy. But again, tongue in cheek in jokes and banter yeah. and shits and giggles. Don't take us fucking seriously. <laughs> I only joke to make it just more enlightening. God bless the empire and his shin. Hopefully. Neil has a good option if you want to go Marcus down there. Is Gothic? No, close, but no cigar. It's I think like... he's batted with Marcus, the guy that I'm going to get onto the board. Um, but not Marcus. Not Marcus indeed. Nearly. Michael Vaughan and Malolan Rangrat. Great shouts there. Great shouts. Both who have met at airports uh, in the last six months of my life. Michael Vaughan during the World Cup and this man earlier as well. So, what's the policy of retired work from Bayes? They have a standby. Yeah, for Bruce Oxenberg, yeah. who will have to kind of run down from the third and Bayes spot and come into the shield. Do that. I mean, we heard it even in this Bangladesh. Um, the ODS series. ODS series, right? Yeah. Kerala got a heat stroke or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure of the exact reason, but yeah, we saw everybody getting the stand in the bar. Yeah. yeah in he was fatigued. Speaking of Bangladesh, they're hosting Elise Perry in Lot, right? In that Bangladesh yeah. women's Australia women's game. So that's quite crazy. Because there was supposed to be a trophy parade, bus parade of RCB women's, but True. I don't think that'll feature Elise Perry and all those. It uh, won't. The Aussies. No. Even Kate Cross is flying her tape for England yeah. against New Zealand women's. Follow G for all women's cricket updates, of course. Please, yeah. please do give him a like uh, on his platforms, Twitter in particular. Uh, he's already amassed about, what, 2.4k followers? Like, you're like a cult hero in certain quarters, man. That's good to know. And welcome to the Cricket.com family. Yeah. Really, really good to be sharing a space with you and someone new because we've got a big, typical Somesh is up shares. They're not going to leave anytime soon. Gurkira's taking a break because he didn't want to see Delhi being relegated and finishing 10th. So let's cut him some slack. 102 for 2, 10.3. And uh, I think liking this video right now is a good way to go about it because this is that phase of the game where we also ask you to predict what's going to happen in terms oh. of the time this game's going to get over. And they should have reviewed that. It was wow. chance. It. Wow. They wasted an absolute opportunity there. That's tough to take. So who do you go for 
in the next over? Do you continue with Suyash or do you Suyash. try someone Suyash. like Suyash? Suyash, yeah, for because sure. Or CV Varun. That's, a good that's, that's yeah. probably a good choice as well after what Suyash did in his first over. But I don't know the little mental fragility that Varun has had in the last 15 minutes of his life. I think he's used to it. Right. He's down. used to he's, it. He's done, he's, fine. he's done this before. I mean, Varun will be a good shot. I think Varun will slightly be better. Maybe Do when you prolong the game forward, good fielding, mid start, he's yeah. doing everything he can. And yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Justifies, Justifies price tag. Varun, I just think he has a. What Suryash has is, of course, loop, long one, and all that. But Suryash won't be able to fire it in like Varun can if there could be a batter going down home. So I would just keep Varun slightly preserved at this stage and maybe Suryash next. But again, apples and oranges, you could. Choose but Suyash. hasn't Varun just bowled the one over? Yeah, he's bowled only one. Yeah. So you can and probably Suyash bring him on. One as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Suyash was just introduced. So. I think this is this is one of the pet peeves that a lot of us have had in terms of introducing people very late. Yeah. Why is he very late? Sorry, he's kidding me too. Oh my word. So it's just proving that, you know, we had that uh, uh, a fashion input in terms of when is this jersey used? So this is exactly like something like that in terms of no clue. What is what is the use of it? And this yeah, is the worst ad though. This is the worst ad by a stretch. By a stretch, it's the worst ad. I don't know if you guys saw the latest cred ad which featured uh, Leander Plays. Leander Plays, yeah. Leander Plays and Plays. plays. And, but Leander Plays in that advert with regards to a mosquito bat with yeah. all his tennis shots in his past. So 32 of 19 for Abhishek, 32 for Agarwal as well. But you just need that 40 or 50 to kind of get yeah, this 209 yeah. total. So 104 of 9 overs on any other ground in a Chepok or maybe your bigger grounds, it's really out of the equation. But this is the Eden Gardens. And you can factor in the fact that Klaas is still in the hut. Yeah. Samad is there. There is, of course, more power in Jansen and Cobbs yeah. as well. They back deep. Um, but again, we have a win predictor. We have Crick, uh, Crazy Nicks. We have, of course, Crick Lyrics. <laughs> Where are we standing in terms of the win percentage next? 53, 47, 62, 38, what is it? Yeah, I was just going to check the same. I think Rahul is going to give a chance. Uh, Before you see that, what is it in your head compared to what is it in our app? Uh, I think SR would still have a good chance now. I think I wanted them to keep a 10. And I think they've done excellently well to keep it at that. Because now they still have a lot of batting to come in terms yeah. of all they have Rahul to do is... Rahul insane. <laughs> insane, Russell. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I completely lost time. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, Klassen, Janssen and Cummins as well at the end to finish. So, uh, if they're able to keep it at that, I think they should be able to do it. So, probably 65-35 in favor of Hesar. But okay. one of them has to launch now. Yeah, which is why I said I felt Rahul will probably give it a chance. And, and it was a good call from Jeet because prior to this over, he just yeah. asked me and invariably all of you all who should bowl, yeah. whether it's Suryash or Varun. They've gone for Varun. And 10251 looks mm -hmm. difficult. Mark Krim as he picked up mid wicket. He has. He has. Yeah, that's the and chance. Oh my God, I love the celebration from Rinko Singh. He's taking the cats and then he's swimming in the lawns of the Eden Garden. Amazing. And Jogmeet Singh Obroy being the first one to have a go in the second innings prediction contest for 1,000 bucks as an Amazon voucher. What is the time that the game will get over tonight? He's saying a bowl 11.24, which is still, which is still, let me just clarify, 51 minutes away. So, good call. And look at this. <laughs> look at that. You'll see it in the slow-mo later. Yep. And Varun Chakravarti gets his man, even though he couldn't catch Razabati out himself. Well, 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 that brings class into the crease. And you feel for Aiden Markram because at least shot was coming. Yeah. And maybe he just uh, tried to go too hard and great catch again from Rinku. So, three down SRH. Hyderabad fans, jittery now? Or you still think, you know what, class in. Is it class in or is it Ledu? Ledu means no <laughs> in Telugu. So, tell us. Tell us indeed. Sports fans saying 11.34 is the final time that this winning runs will be scored or the winning wicket will be procured. Um, but whatever the outcome, I was just thinking about it and I was just telling Shobhan in the cast before the watch them started. They were like, now that Aspi has lost the first game, how do you want the results to happen? So I said, at least for the first two rounds of games, everyone should win one, lose one. So now CSK, they play GT on Tuesday and I'm hoping GT lose. 
uh, I mean, win to, of course, I mean, beat CSK, but then lose the MI. So everyone will have one, one, lost one. And I want that to happen with Delhi as well. Whoever they play next, they should win. But Jab play RCB. So obviously, RCB have lost. So RCB win that. It balances it out. And that's how I kind of perceive the tournament in the early days. I don't know how you guys look at it. Because you obviously are not a fan fan. <laughs> I honestly don't look at it that way, to be fair. But but you want the balance, right? You, don't you want do. People to look, run away. as a viewer, yes, you do. But in terms of being realistic with some of the squads that have been assembled and the kind of playing 11s we've already seen, we might see some of the weaker teams you know, keep getting pushed around all the time and eventually you'll start seeing that gap yeah. between, yeah. say, like the top five, maybe top six, top seven and the bottom three. Yeah. It is going to eventually happen. Maybe not at the start, of course, in the sample size of two games per team. But eventually, yeah, probably four games, five games, you'll start seeing that gap. Between. And I don't like that, and obviously none of us like that yeah. as cricket fans, the Galton class between three, four teams like he's pointing out, Next, Who yeah. are those three, four teams again that could really storm away in this season? Storm away, definitely. CSK, looks like right? Chennai. Yeah. I want to see how Mumbai start. Yeah. A lot of debate on their bowling attack. But I think they would potentially be there in those top four, top five at least. Uh, Any of the teams you've seen today? Punjab, your Delhi, your KKR, your SRH, can they? No. KKR, I think, have, again, I've, I had them in my playoffs in terms of predictions. So, I think they do have enough people to make up for it uh, in terms of other people stepping up. So, I think KKR from the people who have played so far, I think CSK and KKR. Okay. Interesting. Let us know what you guys think. Harsh Tiwari telling us the time Ooh. in terms of when this game will be done. Make a wish. They normally say at 11-11. But you've gone for either 11-11 or 20-23. Which is of course eleven twenty three, but you have to check stick one. We can't give you two. Then we'll have to kind of go through all night and the producer. But it's the same thing, right? Is this making it's it eleven twenty three? Yeah, he's and wanting to write twenty twenty three for some reason. Yeah, I don't maybe know. he's like twenty twenty three for some reason. Essentially, I don't know. But uh, yeah, more comments today. My prediction that finish top three from bottom. <laughs> LSG, wow, that's a good shout. Okay. Langer, Loosners there now. Yeah, a good shout as in terms of content. Not mm. in terms of uh, anything else. Yeah. Uh, the time Ooh. to come now is, of course, through class. And, but will he take on the Ryan? No, I think it will again be Rahul only. I think we'll take the risk. Yeah. If class in falls here, lots of pressure on the rest. So, Huge. Yeah, it is. I mean, Rahul, if class in gets a bad ball, he'll hit, which is fair way to go. But in terms of risk, I don't think... It's just time. There is Rahul and he has to just really make up for it. But the interesting pattern that I've observed already is that Rahul is, as usual, trying to swipe so everything yeah. to the leg side. So, yeah. all the spinners... The I think he's played it at the past. I think he's also a very good hitter over covers. But yeah. at today, I don't... He just hasn't he's had He's having a swipe across yeah, every delivery. So, the spinners are either trying to spin it away from him or keeping it wide outside the off-stump line. Yeah. So, the best thing to do right now is if he could just give himself some room just go over covers if you can. Because for now, the swipe is going Jai Mata Dewey. So I mean, technically, you won't be a good brand ambassador for Hinge, Bumble, or Twitter. <laughs> he's swiping left all the fucking time. Swipe right sometimes, right? It's okay. It's fine. Oh, he swiped right. <laughs> no way. Swipe right, mass decline. Literally mass decline. But Narayan, again, he's just bowling those canny Top overs. Spells. Yeah. Two balls left in a spell. And he's conceded less than 20 when the asking date is over 10s. That's classic Sunil Narayan, isn't it? Classic. He's doing his job here. And in a chase like this, four overs, 20 odd runs, I think that's job well done. But is that also because of how much? Oh, hey, that's, a that's, that's a catch. That's a wicket. Yeah, that's a catch. Yeah, yeah, through the man. Yeah. And Narayan gets. Well deserved wicket. Very well deserved wicket. He was never going to walk away in this yeah. night not getting a wicket. Nearly did get it early on, but the party goes for an 20. absolute slowish 20 of 20 to feel yeah. for him. And now that run rate next, required run rate, is nearly 14. Is yeah, I think this is the bit about, you know, playing a knock that really cost your side. Yeah. Somebody will have to really cover up for it in a massive way, whether it is Cummins or Yancey. So, probably as I said, 25 too many if they do not go that way. But let's see. I think class in now becomes a game. This okay. was a spin strangle that was always coming, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it always comes. Again, yeah. probably tactically next to maybe Suya Sharma against someone like Hanrik Klassen won't be a bad matchup either. Yeah, well, yeah. you. You want, you want to go for the kill as well, right? There's no yeah. point waiting. You get Suya, you get Varun from the other end. Yes. Try and just build the pressure high so that even if they go for a few, I mean, it still leaves Harshit and start enough, you know, at the end. And you also have Russell. Yeah. So I actually think Russell will also come in for an over to class. And I think 
in cases sometimes classin has had that very early pull and the top is coming in let's see if that is the case today and the thing is now when you look at it from an srh perspective yes you need to go hard because very it required already to search but then you lose some hard lose classin then you're staring down the barrel and then your net run rate starts getting affected so they shouldn't be in a situation where you know they're leaving it all the heavy lifting at yeah. the end and it's neither that neither this but let's see how abdul samad can of course revitalize his career under dan vitori because under brian lara i don't think he was of course getting the best out of but of course abdul samad still there class and still there and there's jansen and common still to come so it was the interesting part oh i mean kkr they, they're getting a very forward shot leg yeah I that's gotham gambir i can't wait for that's PSG gotham gambir that's gotham gambir for you but this is madness he's getting a forward shot leg for abdul samad in the 13th over dan vitori is like what is happening <laughs> Oh, oh, oh that's close. Yeah. Oh, that hit him on the back pad. Inside edge. That, yeah, that's, that's the only thing, thing that could have Maybe made them not there. Maybe height, or you don't think so? Back pad. Ayer has two to use, and he'll take one of them. He just wants to be a coolie about it. He does take it. <laughs> he does take it. So Ayer refers. Now this has gone to the umpire, who hasn't been making shit calls or didn't suffer from the sprain. So let's see if Vinit Kulkarni. Has got his call correct here. Original decision not out. At worst, it's some bias call, isn't it? Yeah. Unless, of course, it's okay, it's not an inside edge. Bad, 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 bad and bat and ball. But I feel it was always going over. Bruce Oxenford, what can you tell me straight away, sir? Without referring to the technology, Ayer is not that confident. Salt was, Narayan was. It'll be a cherry and the cake for Narayan if he can get this and to finish his figures of two for nineteen. Only time will tell. It seems drifting. It seems high. It seems everything that it don't want to be. I think it should be red. I don't. Okay, let's see. That's what I'm thinking. At the think worst, it's, it's umpire's call. I yeah. think it's umpire's call. I think it's umpire's call at best. But I'll be absolutely surprised if this is three reds. Yeah. So he's either out or he's surviving on umpire's yeah, call. I don't think it's missing. Uh, How can his prediction? Oh, I would wow. be surprised if the red. You never know. Yeah. One That's red, true. Two red. I think it's missing that. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's the by the margins, barest of margins, as they call it. Prefer shout. Prefer shout. Prefer shout. And nearly it was the umpire who was judging it on the appeal. I didn't think the line appealed that hard. Salt did, but yeah. it gives SRH a little breather because they can ref reflect and just about discuss ideas going into the strategic timeout. I'm guessing that they will take right now. Seven overs still left in this contest. Still nearly hundred runs yeah. to be had. With regards to SRH, if there's anyone who could do it, and the class and the way that he's been talking the ball for fun, maybe him, maybe others as well. Okay, let's have some fun on the watch along right now by having some quiz in competition. What is life without quiz in competitions? Guess the player is what we've devised for you today. Now, this is the first clue, or is it the only clue? He was Kolkata Knight Riders' highest wicket taker in the 2021 IPL tournament. Who are we talking about? Now I can think that they made the final that year against CSK and lost. So are we looking at a certain Andy Russell? I think he was pretty effective. Yes, it's very straightforward. Russell? Yeah. Varun, Varun. Varun, yeah. Oh, yeah, Varun, yeah. And that Varun. just makes it oh, even. And that's why he. Oh yeah, fair enough. Now it gets easier. Yep. Now it gets easier. How many did he end up taking? Not quite sure of that exact number, but, but I think whatever that, yeah. he ended up. Taking obviously was a perfect pathway to enter the World Cup squad. Yes, yeah, so I think that is what led to his selection yeah. eventually. Yeah, so it uh, wasn't actually a mystery that he played over Chell, but and he wasn't the reason that he played. Exactly. So, yeah, but that's okay. It happens. It happens. Let's see how that goes forward. But yeah, guess the player. More such things on cricket.com to watch along. You can also check out our huge data, which is an offer. With regards to all the stats, all those numbers that you guys like about the game on cricket.com, check out our website and the app. It's refurbished. But right here, right now, we're also having a contest in terms of the second innings predictions. Ooh. Final time that we're asking you right now, within the 15th over, what time will this game get done? What time will the winning runs be hit? Is it, yep, is it around 11.20? Is it 11.30? Let us know. You have to be specific. And you can stand a chance to win something really special, maybe even thousand five hundred bucks as a prize in terms of our vouchers. 
Uh, Kolkata Hyderabad happening right now, but tomorrow will be good shot. Mumbai in terms of watch long, and that'll be match five because match four is RR LSG the afternoon encounter. Who are you boys hoping in that? So it's RR LSG. Yeah, yeah. You, you think it's Sanju or KL? Oof. I'll say KL is going to take that game. So whoever wins that, they're sending their wicket keeper to the West Indies. <laughs> Well, with Sanju, you never know with the selections and you know how the pattern has Even been. If Sanju wins, he's in game. Yeah, that's, that's how the pattern suggests. Yeah. Two South Indian non South Pos fighting for a keeper spot at number five. Let's see how that South goes. Indian non South Pos. Yeah. Well done to come up with it. Well done to come up with it. But yeah, five seconds left for this timeout. But who are you going for tomorrow? Ada? LSG. LSG to win that. And away from home. Well, Savai Mansi, good batting deck. I think that's where, that's where they did. But I want to see if they chase because we discussed in detail yeah. about Lucknow and the problems oh, chasing. Okay, we've got the matchup. The Jeets won't take oh. it. Straight away, a wrong one from Suyash to Klaasin. And Heinrich's like, oh, where did that go? Do, would you think that Klaasin would. I don't think he'll shy away. But maybe Klaasin can get someone to. Him. And he can then just bat a few more overs deeper and then he gets So, good. the interesting part of this is that Klaassen is known to be a designated spinner. Whereas yeah. Samad is someone who bashes those hard lines of yeah. pacers. So, we could have that at play as well here. Yeah. But right now, they are in a situation where both need to attack. Oh, there is no other choice. This is the okay. Suresh Sharma is a fucking top holder. CSK look good. PPKS look good. Now, KKR, it will be very competitive. Now, top four will be very, very difficult to finish. What was this one? Basically, in one game, lad. PPKS didn't look good. They got over a very far Delhi side in their new home ground. And again, Sam Curran had to bail them out, batting higher up. They got the points, but the real test is how they do away from home, how they fare against RCB on Monday. Because even though many people take the piss out of RCB to come to RCB and win, um, that'll be a real statement from Punjab Kings. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Suresh to Samad. A googly. And oh. yeah, you're calling it absolutely spot on, Jeet. 112 for 4, 30.3. <clears throat> do tell us what time this game will finish because it does look that it could go down the wire if and only if Heinrich Klaassen gets going. So far, he's had six balls and he's got just four. But Suyash has been pretty good. Two Google so far. Will he have another one up his sleeve for Samad? No. no it's a one. That one. But again, great ball in the last couple of overs. KKR for an absolute strangle. On proceedings for SRH right now. And yeah, there's Stark enough. Still has two more. They have Starks too. Varun definitely bowling two more. Even Russell is going to come in. Yeah. For they that one over. Yeah. I think he'll bowl to class and I'm looking forward to that. This is Suyash's last over in many ways. Or no? Nothing he'll bowl one over for sure. Yeah. He has to he's bowl in this over. Maybe just getting him one yep. over. Chance. Suyash has got a wicket maybe. Oh. No, it's been put down by Nitish Rana. I mean, I don't Wait, know if that was I a mean, half chance. Yesterday was the first time I was like, ooh, who dropped catches? Yeah, that's bad. And then we had Arshad drop today. Yeah. And Varun dropped today. And, now, and Warner. And Warner of all people. Insane. Who could have imagined? Who could have imagined? But yeah, this falling shot, maybe not, but remind me fun. of that Ramandeep attempt earlier yeah. on. But that was far tougher. Yeah. I mean, this, this is more taken. similar to that. And who is it? Anna, the Russell catch. Finger. The finger is a problem here. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Yeah. CSK here would be epic saying Mahmoud Irfan. Always. When is it not? When is it not? Avnish and Kamin saying so long as Shivastava. Honestly, thank you so much for making your presence felt in the watch along. Uh, if you are a Cummins fan, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. The Tishrana comes to bowl and images of head dismissing flashes in his mind. Let's not talk about it. Let's go ahead and watch a six. Oh. Four oh, has he got four? Two, it oh, seems two. Trey Every Russ. time you see Trey Russ feel, KKR fans will be, you know, holding their bated breath. Cause... I mean, how many years have we gone talking the same thing about this guy? Man. I can't remember. I mean, it's, it's always same, like... It's the same thing. Man. Yeah. I mean, he falls and like, oh, bye. Aram say out. Aram say out. I mean, you can't blame him. He's having a good rum punch in terms of <laughs> a long gone. For his cooling break, then great. So now, do you try one over of Stark by any chance, or you go to CV? I'll world? go to Russell. I'd and still then... hold Stark back unless shit hits the fan. Yeah. So I'd still like you know. Why not kill the game right away? With let's unleash Stark. Just give that one over. And bowl those yokers. Like, knock his poles out. Yeah, 
Try for one more wicket. It's a good shot. 94 of 36. 94 of 6, you saw it 78. Left it to 94. So, I think that, that entire time when, you know, Abhishek got out. And then Mayan, uh, Aiden tried to keep going, but then couldn't. And Rahul is completely kind of derailed the you know, momentum out of the innings. KKR fans, salty or non-salty KKR fans, will say, you look at the equation right now, it's 94-36. But if mm -hmm. Russell was given out, it would have easily been like, you know, something terrible, 64-36 maybe. Right? So, are they yeah, going to... That's a chance. Uh, chance. Are we going to go look back at that moment? Or are we going to look at, again, this part of the game where KKR absolutely destroyed SRH from here on in their innings? And do you think that will be the, the make or break of this game? Next? Yeah, I think the narrange spell. I think the entire yeah. narrange spell. Because, see... Mayang, Abhishek, they did well to keep them today. That's we true. discussed about them keeping it to 10, even at the halfway mark. So, from there, that's when you expect people to kick on. Yeah. And you had enough wickets in your hand as well. So, it is just about, see, it's a very tricky thing to say, okay, take your time and keep the rate in check. It is a, it's a mixed uh, double-edged sword. So, yeah. one of them had to go big Short, and they not. Klaasen has gone big, yeah. That to six. Yeah, that's a good shot. But there's one more point with this. So, CB Varun bowled his first over, got smashed, he was taken off. Suyash yeah. first over, taken off. Narayan first over, tight one, gets four was flat out. And yeah. that's and that the is magic almost, of Sunil Narayan. And it also have how a lot of teams now captain. You saw that in the uh, WPL as well, how, you know, so Asha doesn't work, you go ahead. Veram doesn't go, you change. Yeah. I think everyone has gone, gone down to in terms of don't give more than a couple unless it is Sunil Narayan. It is. And let's see if it is Heinrich Larsen tonight. Oh, oh. Is it? That's a white? I don't think that was a white. I think the has given it. No, he hasn't. Oh, hasn't given it, right? But he hasn't so reviewed, so yeah. Okay, Larsen was soon to interview. I mean, it, interview, I'm saying, review. Uh, but Chakravarti again. Oh, is he in front of the fielder? No. Oh, oh good. That's, a power that's close. Uh, awesome. Absolutely well close. played. But he's keeping SRH in this game. And a little bit of uh, yeah, still a true a true game changer, uh, so to speak. Highest strike rate in T20 since 2020. Look at those numbers. Yeah, man. Those are dream. I mean, even if you're dreaming, you don't you can't dream of having a spell like that. It, I can't stop looking at it in terms of how much, how how well are you playing? Rossen did his time. job. Now Klassen has to step up as well. No, that's true. That's true. But those are numbers to behold. If you're a South African fan, if you're an SRH fan, you can gloat about it because you have Heidi Klassen in your squad. And Ooh. again, flatter, shorter this time. Klassen knows that he's missed out. But again, it just gives you a little bit of an indication of where SRH are going to go. They're yeah. going to go big. And with that man, he just knows one direction. 81 31 though, still seemingly impossible. Let us know how many of you guys think KK have already won this game, unless it's a miracle in yeah. terms of the SRH guys tonight. Well, bold. Wow. That's why he blows out. Yeah. I think they need 10 hits. That's fine. Yeah. I think I will be happy with that. Even though two sixes, he's still giving you less than the required rate. Yeah, so, yeah. I think, well, this is why I said, I think 10 hits, in my mind, 60, you have to aim for it. Yeah. Uh, whoever, do you have enough people who can hit sixes, even now? Yeah. So, Klaasen, Samad, Janssen, Cummins. Yeah. And you have to trust them to be able to find Klaasen has to be not a, for them to... Yeah, at least 50% of these runs have to be scored by Klaasen. Yeah. Just to be clear. And then you can expect the others to try and score those 40 of those 15 20 balls. I think they're making a substitute field or they're bringing good bars on from the Rhine. Could be some sort of injury concern there, I see. I think he's just bored. I don't think that will be an injury concern. That's a typical tactic. I think Anupul Roy will come in as a specialist yeah. sub. I mean, that is the specialist sub fielder. Specialist sub -fielder. Wow. I think Mumbai started the trend and they've all caught up. Uh, That's you. Caught not what you wanted starts back. Yeah, finally. Yeah. You wanted him slightly early on. Yeah. But anyway, I don't mind this either. Yeah. Because this is still a great, right? 30, 81 from 30, the pressure is entirely on the bat. Yeah. So, Stark can come in and bowl. Of course, he doesn't have to always hit the Yorker also, just as of now. So, so the, even a 12 or a 13 run over is a win for KKR is what yeah, I would 100%, say. 100%, 100%, yeah. Best to get a wicket, for sure. Stark to, of course, Samad. And so yeah. because Stark right now is not taking a single wicket. So, I'm guessing the memes will start. If he does get wickedness, <laughs> even though KKR win, and the time is up for, of course, all your time predictions to win thousand by the bucks in terms of the coupon. Uh, hopefully, someone can win it today. It's not been ever won in the history of this competition, but some people have come perilously close. Yeah, by, by minutes. Short, by minutes. 
and we'll only go by minutes. I'm not going to go by seconds. Yeah. So that's been like ludicrous. But um, yeah, 15.1. It's about needs to support plus and you have a class in the start and again well done and mid start will also be tested here because like you mentioned it doesn't play that much d20 cricket you're in the cauldron that is calcula you're going to be impressing your home fans so there's a lot for him to prove as well he's not going to be happy with just conceding 10 this over and not getting the wicket he wants to kind of knock class and fucking off stump out of the ground if that he can so let's see how he goes so 80 of 28 and I think who Russell just took the game away, especially Russell. Uh, uh, let's see, sun ball, pull. That's one. Early man of the match out, guys. Russell or Russell? Ooh, right? Yeah, Russ. Yeah. Has to be Russ. And whoever wins it, if, if, I, if I started to win, whoever wins it from here, you get uh, yeah. it, so the match. Okay, interesting. And that has to be Klaassen. There is no other option, really. Yeah. Klaassen. So, Klaassen and Sir Samad make my Saturday end on a high and not in a one sided game. Please, Samis Santosh. Uh, let's just take some more comments right now because I think we've been parking them for a while. Need that 15 more, 50 kind of no if one's coming yeah, to for KKR. I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you, sports fan. Mohammed Defan saying, Remember Klaassen once debuted for RCB in the past? He did. He did play for RCB. We get that. Uh, Ooh, oh, that's well a good ball. Well done, Starkey. Well done, Starkey. Someone's playing the role of the Patidar for SRH, all hype and no gas, saying to Chan. Thanks for those thoughts. Good comparison. Um, who else? Who else is getting chatty on the Saturday night with us in the watch along? Keep your comments coming through. We will take them even from X, we'll take them from Facebook, and not to forget from YouTube as well. We have been putting a couple of YouTube polls up. We've been asking you some trivia along the way. So it's not just us and our reactions, but it's about you guys getting involved as a community. Stark has done really well so far. Four balls and he's conceded just. Oh, well, bowled, Yorker. And again, how can you play that? Even if you're in the class. And so, fantastic over so far. Just four off it with a ball to go. And I think the game's in the bag here. It yeah. is, yeah, definitely. Probably next door, maybe CV or Suyash. And then again, go for Stark and kill the game right there. Okay. Abbas Kundi chipping in saying, but then it doesn't look good when teams, or great teams, if I add, like MI and weak teams like RCB have seen points. It's like India and Papua New Guinea with some points. They can slander when they want to slander. They, they're, oh. a, they're a mean lot this time. <laughs> Abbas and the chaps. Nikhil Bhai, who will you be bowling the remaining overs? Stark I think it's straightforward, right? Why don't you go and close him out? And then you have Stark. Yeah. Uh, now, there is the question of Russell, which I feel he will bowl one. Yeah. Because I don't think you need to go to Harshit again. Uh, but. You can either go both or to Russell. So I think the next one, as you said, you go to Varun and then you go to Russell and then start and then Russell. So that is interesting. Also you go the same way? Yeah, pretty much. That's what I believe. The next one has to be from a spinner. Then again, go for Stark, I would say. Finish it off. But then Russell can't bowl to under. under Russell track. can't, but you have another over of a spinner, someone like CV Varun with his variations in the last two. And then imagine oh. if. I think CV only has one, right? If I'm not wrong. 44 was the last two, imagine that. I mean, so of course there's just four overs left. So Varun has one. Stark Suyash. is one. Stark is one. So two from Russell. That's what I feel. Two from Russell. Unless you bowl Shuyash. Can you please touch the remote? Emergency. Where Emergency. Is the remote? The set box. Set up box is going in the standby mode. Just like SRH have, yeah. but hopefully SRH and we both will be pressing the extra letter in time. Let's see. Let's see. What happens, and we it's are in Russell, time, and Russell, it is. Russell. And it is a six to begin with. Yeah, it is again. a six to begin so with. Can't Russell Russell. Like Russell. One of ten. Done. Okay. One of ten. Okay. Considering. So, 139 for four. Is there a glimmer of hope? For that's, that's the only thing that's there. I mean, uh, because there's a lot, lots to catch up on. And it is exactly that we discussed, right? You leave too much to do, and then the margin of error is such. But again, as you said, is there is a, if there is any venue, this is the one. And that glimmer of hope, it's almost like the six from Samad. It's like a little mat stick in the jungle. <laughs> but that could really start a fire. That can start off the fire. Yeah, and he this gets, is the over to target, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and he it. could do what Raman did. Yeah. He gets certified or very quick time. He just takes the pressure off class in and then you have Yansen and Kamin Jessel who can come out. Come out Yorker and out. No, Samad can be yeah, that. It's a Yorker oh, yeah. and that's a boundary. Oh, that's a four. That's, that's a boundary. Shabtul Samadhi, the Chingari in the forest. Shabash, Shabash. Two of ten. Two of ten. Let's go ahead. Oh, my word. We're 
they're going to go in to get a grand slam finish 100 percent here still 22 balls left in this game and they still require i know it's a lot but yeah. mathematically it's still possible this ground you never know miracles always happen we've been talking about great knocks after great knocks in this knock i mean in this ground we talk about yusuf patan 72 28 what russell did so many times good ball that's a good russell. ball and it's single, yeah, they'll settle for the singles. So it's a good, great start, actually. They can really capitalize this over, get in excess of 20 22 if they're heading that way and they're back in the game. 144 for four, 16 points. We've not seen Kavya Maran at all. I don't know if you guys have seen her in terms okay. of Eden Gardens viewing. Super, Super well. no. <laughs> we would love to kind of call it Super, it'll we'll just be much more. But I think this is happening, it's happening this way. Happening. Basically, yeah. they needed Russell to win this game. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, oh so that's, that's a, a good run. So that's a good run from Samad. I think he uh, was quick events. to yeah. Just I think he got out. Had he hit? Yeah. I think he was in. direct hit. Well, I think Samad well, has gone. That's an optical illusion from that side angle. Uh, we took this from Harsh Tiwari. More comments to take for sure. Uh, in this dying ember of the Super Saturday watch along, uh, do hit like because yeah. this is of course a big game. Stark versus Cummins. We're seeing it in terms of Eden Gardens cricket for the first time in IPL 2024. So yeah. lots of things to like this evening. And again, is Russell the man of the match? Because he can cock it up in the next two balls if he goes for two more sixes. SR is trying to lose with smaller margins. So in future, that does not affect run rate good tactics by Paddy. <laughs> Uh, there was one certain season where somebody batted for reducing the deficit. That's a no ball, I think. Six, is it? It's, oh, a six. it's a court. Yeah, is it a no ball? And I think they will check it. Lucky. I believe with that same useless tracker. If it, yeah, if it's a tracker, then I and it will be dipping. Like so, I mean, when does the tracker not show sure dipping? Unless you are getting hit on the chest. Or I'll never understand face. that. Yeah. That's the only time it's going to miss the stumps. No super over, please say Samish. Need need a good finish. Have to watch prime. As Vikas Bhais said, Jalebi Fafra time said. Yeah, good to have the Jalebi Fafra. I don't think I'll get it here tomorrow, yeah. but no problem. We will try to organize that for sure, but that's a wicket. Um, Interesting, actually. I the batter also did look straight yeah. away square leg. It naturally is, especially when you get out of full toss, which is questionable. But Saman has to perish 15 of 11. We were expecting a little bit more, but now I guess the curtains can be really closed when the sunrisers attempt to chase down 208. Honestly, it's where you guys lost the match with the ball in the last final over. Five overs. Overs. For one, yeah. It was just nuts. But they're just confirming the wicket right now. I think that's still... your office in BLR, the beautiful Lavelle Road. I don't want to spill too much details, but Lavelle Road is a huge road. You can come try to find us. If you do, great. You can say hi to us. Uh, after today's bowling performance from SRH, I feel <laughs> SRH bowling looks good. Just wait and watch. SRH is going to RC bowling. RC bowling, bowling looks, looks good. Just wait and watch. I'm telling you. Sorry, yeah, I did that wrong. But <laughs> um, also, with regards to how you guys think the top four predictions are, let us know because we're going to make a fan board of all your top four predictions and then we'll nail it yeah. somewhere in this corner. With will you. we allow somebody to scratch because I know someone who did it. Oh, really? Yeah, Vikas did it, I think. Vikas, I mean, he's always like up to no good at times with his predictions. Yeah. After today's, yeah, we took that one. Um, go on to more comments if there are. We'll encourage more comments from Facebook and Twitter as well. Do you think Klaassen's entry point is late in a 200 plus run chase or what could have been uh, SRH done differently? Boys? <sighs> I think the entry point, see, it is something that is, I mean, you had to have somebody from the other end also keep yeah. going, right? I mean, he came in when Makram got up. Now, Makram isn't someone who would say he's not, cap not, uh, not capable of doing it because he started with the boundary. Yeah. And he was timing it well. He had the cuts also that he timed very well. So, it looked like he was shaping up for something very exciting. But I think the Rahul Tripathi flourish never came. And it just, it just put them too far behind uh, to really catch up. Because even if you take out 15, 20 runs from here. Yeah. 44, 19, yes, it is dicey, but you still feel there is some, some, some semblance. I think it was his knock that sucked the momentum yeah, out exactly, of the chase, yeah, is yeah. what I believe. Run a ball 20 in a chase like this. Yeah. Oh, you said, you said Shabazz Emma. Yeah, I forgot about him for a second because you talk about Johansson, Cummins, and stuff like that. Why wow. have sent him over the rest? Why was they trying saying Emma? No, this guy can oh, get. Can yeah, get of course. And he's 
and is starting with the boundary. Well done. Three of ten. Sixty of eighteen. Wow. Same. Same thing uh, for my end. And all you guys watching across wherever, please like this on YouTube. Subscribe to us. We're literally 50 or 60 away from 49,000 on YouTube. Let's get there. Let's get and there before asset, tomorrow. Because honestly, Instagram is great. And we've already kind of got 4 lakh people on our Instagram following us. Uh, Masum Zidhi, I hope you're following us, not just on Facebook and Farooq Hussain. But follow us, of course, on Instagram and YouTube, cricket.com. Good to see you all. Uh, Varun Chakravarti, man. So he's going to be finishing out. And maybe it's because even though he conceded two sixes to class in, I guess GSI liked the fact that the over ended in a high for Varun. Two dog balls. So you know what? Go again. See if you can get him out. But again, like, I mean, they are not at a loss here. Even a 20 run over means yeah. 40 will be required of 12 balls. Yeah. They'll get Mitchell Stark in. Cardwell is not conceding a lot of runs, right? Yeah, it's tough. But 60 of 18, you really need a 30 over to bring things back in the parity. Uh, RCB Blood, Shehbaz saying, Mohamed Irfan. Mohamed, I know you're a huge RCB fan indeed. So I'm surprised that you didn't go for um, your head. Or, I mean, you got not go for heart over head over there. When Hasranga is available, I'll play him at four and place a mark him. Tell him just play for extra cover shots, you know, charge shots. Sure, that's the first. Stop, oh, We need two, three in this over. So, 4 of 10 done. Let's see if we can get all, all 10 done. 54 of 17. There is life. There is, is life. Life's... All you Sunrisers fans. Is it Pat Cummins and his Midas touch again? There's nothing that man can do wrong. He's won in New Zealand also. He's just coming off from there. Yeah. It's yep. madness. One RCB Let's player, see. always an RCB player. Feet Harsha Patel. <laughs> yep. Crazy over That's okay. Abhishek yeah. Porel took him to the cleaners. Speaking of Abhishek Porel, we've got an interview with him. Yeah. That's available on the app as well. That's hey, a that's a miss it. No, I think it won't carry, will it? Come yeah, it won't carry. Two, yeah. come for two, come for two. And they do come for two. Brilliant. Yeah, good running. Good running. 52 of 16. So, you have to have Ida Class and bat at least 14 potential balls of these 16. Uh, the longest batting lineup is CSE, PKR, MI, and RCB. And most likely, these teams finish top four. Interesting. Those are all like... Chuchat has RCB. Wow. Hey, so basically, he's going for all the trophy teams and RCB. I'm still surprised that he's still the longest bat in lineup is RCB. Yeah. Surprising to put because CSK, KKR, MI definitely bat deeper than RCB. Yeah, I don't think RCB has a lot of batting depth. Yeah, short six. Man, this guy is hitting. This is mad. He's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. How it looks like it? a miss hit. Yeah, forty-six of fifteen. He's so just five a, hits that five left. He's just a fucking machine. This guy. It's unbelievable. This guy is game. Plus ball with a sensible ball, one. Yeah. Well done, yeah. Samit. Shabash. That's two. Plus ball. Plus ball, ball, yeah, maybe. Sure. 12 uh, fours and nine sixes in this innings, but you'll need plenty more sixes from Plasin. And he's really got 15 of this over already. How many more can he get? Yeah, but then, do you feel his... I mean, I don't think Varun is doing much wrong. Maybe no. the line is... Chandu Pandit. Chandu Pandit. <laughs> yeah. GG shaking. A because I think he can't bowl full. Plasin is more than adept at hitting it. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe just fire one in, like that second delivery. That was a 109 yeah. case. So, maybe another quicker but delivery. Thing, he can do anything. Same yeah, so, maybe time. just look for taking off strike. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get Shabazz on strike. Bowl a quicker one here. Yeah. yeah, something what Pan said today. Jan Gutske Singhal was there. He said it to Kuldeep. When Did he was we bowling. have a booby in the 2021 World Cup? T20? I believe we didn't. No, I don't think we so. We didn't, right? We no. didn't do that in the World Cup. Don't uh, recollect it. The most expensive bowlers tonight, Booby, none for 15, 1. Parun Chakravarti, oh, that's yeah, 1 for 48. That was a quicker one. But they got what they wanted. Is that a single? That is a single. No, oh, no, he's taking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's better, right? Shabazz, yeah. he has two free hits, basically. Yeah, he's for it. He can keep going for it. But how now much was he fancy in the last over for SRHD? 23? Uh, yeah, I think 20 is the. Max, because again, I think the last row could also be Russell and not Stark. Yeah. Because I think Stark will be definitely bold next. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I'm sports fan, you can tell us as well if he can do anything. How much do you think he can score in the last? Last over. over. Yeah. Short, Shabba, short, short, short. Great. Six of ten. Man, Six of ten. Down to the wire. Four more left. Wire. Four more left. I'm as hungry as a bull. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the game to be finishing <laughs> off. That's why my energy is being reserved, but it's fine. 
I definitely yeah. feel uh, Shabazz has added some life into this. First yeah. of all, then a six, and now even class in. Yeah. It's a big over this. Yeah, and this could, I get, don't want to put the Mogas in that with Abdul Samad. One more ball to go. 39 at 13. Oh, yeah, that was a wide. Gets away with it. So, I think 21 off the over. Four. Man, that's a huge over. Shishan Singh even RCB dropouts are hitting mystery out of the park. <laughs> Man, talk about it. Talk about it. We only know one way to go out of the park, whether it's Harsha Patel or Sh <laughs> Shabazz. The results are the same. But look, who's bowling this? Stark. This is Stark. Stark. You've got to go Stark. I'll go Stark last over. But then Russell is a huge risk right now. Why not go for Stark? Assuming, so it, even yeah. if he goes for like 14, 15, maybe 16. It's still know. giving enough cushion for, yeah. uh, for Russell. And it's the age old saying, right? It is Mitchell Stark. Give the best bowler the 19. Okay, so Mitchell Stark it is. Remember, they were neck to neck, these two. 170 for 5 SRH currently. AKR 174 for 6. So Russell still using his muscle in that back end to over. Yeah. Fine, he dropped the rubber the green, but he made it count. Chavaz is generally bad against spin, but also <laughs> has a shot for Varun Singh Darshan Sentil. Uh, yeah, I mean, history there. Chavaz Ahmed is a batter in IPL. You remember that chase with DK against RR? They came to some sort of fruition then. Right, so Mitch Stark it is in his final over of his first game for KKR. And he's bowling to... Oh, hey, that term is hit, but is it a six? Is it, it a six? six? Oh, wow. Three more six this guy is honestly mad. What is that bat? What is that muscle? What is the power? What is the strength? Seven of ten. Super over saying Adyan single. Keep an eye out of the clock as well. Yep. Yeah. Because many 11, people 11. are reckoning 11, 11. That's yeah. done. Whoever said 11, 11, 11. Uh, Nachiket S saying Stark in max give 15. I think Nachiket S, if I remember correctly, you are an SRH fan. I know I'm right. Just so he's diversifying. No, no. I generally <laughs> think he, when we asked him like a year ago, or something like that in the chat, who do you support? He said SRH. I might be wrong, but Nachi Kate. They're looking at us now. And how excited are you guys in terms of SRH fans? Are you guys nervous? I'm sure you guys are nervous. And it's a super Saturday with biryani on the side and with your balls in your mouth. So <laughs> honestly, you guys can choose how it is. Stark can get max 15. We've taken that one, but still 11 balls left. So, three runs per ball, 33 of 11, Klaassen, he's on 43 of 22, to Mitch Stark. Ooh! And Stark it was there. The it was there for the day. He did it. Did he kind of just like, maybe take the slight pace on the ball? Or no? Yeah, I think a lot of space on. A lot of space on yeah. If KKR lose, will be party whole night saying Mama did fun. I don't know in what sense, but... Maybe in your just an RCB fan. Yeah. So he loves to watch Should he come around the wicket? Should right? he come around the wicket and try to hit that outside the off stump line? But then if he misses, it's like. Cummins looking at that answer and he's shocked. <laughs> he's shocked himself. I can't believe that Mid Stark is off 57% compared to his 43%. Right. Can. Oh, he's, uh, he's also gone around the wicket. Stark vindicate those fans. That's right. Oh, that's, that's a right. That's a right. How does a white? It is a white. It's all you can't do much about it. Decision DK brilliant. We need to cutney. Start getting hit out of the park saying how's Tavari? Not yet, at least. We're watching the start. Who do I support? Um that team that follows basics like CSK or GT. Well done, Hayes. Well done. That's a good point. And both your teams are playing on Tuesday and we're doing a watch along for that. So join, join us for that one as well. It's gonna be Tala against Mini 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 Tala, which is the one <laughs> game. Oh. He needs to still climb the ranks to ever kind of go to those uh, heights, heights, the gigantic heights that MS has had. 32 of 10, come back to this game, 6 more. Six oh, that's a bad one. That is 3 of 10. 6 more. That's a bad No, Shabash. Oh Just 2 more is needed. Just 2 more is needed. Heinrich Larsen, take Lassen, a bow. Make no mistake, this is not him like lying to you in terms of stats. He's being in his true element. Exactly. And as as class in as can get. Yeah, seriously, man. By the way, speaking of two elements, they don't lie. Check their food out. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, new sponsors to so give us some love. Yep. And of course, go buy most of their products. 26 of 9, then it is. And then Nicholas in. No one cares about his 50 oh. because he's got six more. Are you joking right now? Yes, wow. well played. Wow. 15. Oh my yeah. God. 25 all 15. Yeah, done the Russell. Take your fans, hold your breath, 
Nine of ten. all over till it's over. And told you he's a freak sports fan. You're right. And we can finally see Kavya Maran on screen right now. 20 required of eight. That's madness. I mean, this is power if there ever was, Nikhil. He's hit Mitchell Stark. And, over and oh, time. yeah, Gambiri. <laughs> that reaction is serious. That's how good he is. And see, it's not even bad bowling, it is excellent batting. And uh, that's a good ball. And he's muscled it, and it's fine. It's a perfect result, this. And look, you were talking about Stark giving 16 or 17. Well, he's given 20. 20. It's more than that, yeah. It's given so 20 now already. Russell to bowl the last over. Russell is probably the only choice. I don't think they would go to Harshit Give it a Suyash, lad. Ooh. And that might be too But risky. again, class and that's it's same. It's fine. Just give it a Suyash thing. You're going to induce... I mean, I know it's a ballsy thing. It's like throwing a piece of meat in a lion's den and be like, can I just randomly <laughs> get a back back? You can't. But you can sometimes the lion's eat. I mean, he's hit 7. I was talking about 10 sixes. It was stuck at 3 for a while. That's bad. Let us also know if you guys think Russell played a blinder or Klaassen swing an even better blinder. But this yeah. essentially is going to be like a free hit, quote unquote, uh, of Shabazz of Stark. Get a boundary, 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 get a boundary. Get a boundary. Oh, oh, ten. Oh, oh, all oh, ten, oh, all oh, ten, oh, all ten, oh, ten, oh, ten that hits is done. crazy. What a game. Where is he on a Saturday night here? And 196 for 5, Mitch Stark, Stark you have received in a lower run. 51 insane. runs, that, in that is 14 double, points. That is double, literally what they paid you. 25 points <laughs> for 2 by draws and you go for 51 runs. Mitch Stark, you're having a horrible day in the office. The IPL is not that easy, sweetheart. You have to come back harder, Mitch Stark, the next game. 25 crores down the drain, <laughs> KKR choked again. And it's going to be feisty to see Gotham Gabir, who's angry if they lose this. Because the next wow, game, 13 of 6. It's RCB, 13 of 6. Who would have thought 60 of 3, they hit 47 of 2. And we saw what the last two overs that KKR got themselves, 44 yeah. of 2. So maybe these last two overs that we just saw was the game changer next. Yeah, I, I called 10, 10 bad, hits. 10 hits. Bad. And they've got all the 10 hits. Yeah. Now they need 6 of 13 of 6. This should be done. You can't need a Yorker for yeah. 25 crores. Are you kidding me? 25 crores by foot plus and saying, <laughs> not me. And 13 of 6 in the Eden. Well, it's become like our TV. Silent, no noises. No, no. Just getting the job done. Stark is Look just at like that. And I think it's also, we need to give it Shabazz as well because. Oh, it's oh, Arshit. Oh, 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 that's more. a six to start. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's, it's a high heist. It's a high heist. If wow. Was. And Harshid Rana knows it. Call HR for the final <laughs> over. Not a human resources, but Harshid Rana. But even that to no avail. And Kavya Maran's smile tells it all. They have absolutely wow. looted KKR in the dying embers of this game, Jeet. They haven't demolished. So oh we talked about God. how he needs to replicate Andre Russell. Well, he has done that. He's it, done they exactly actually better that. it, if you see. Man, because they just need Greg seven saying, game over, boss. Navodit saying six. Good to see all you legends join us right now on this end of the watch alone. Now, Harshid Rana, well, he's got wickets in his column today. But... Can he hold a sticker? Last Can he 50. produce a magical delivery? Wow. Come That's... on, this is where talent meets opportunity for an Indian youngster. He's going against the best in the Let's business see. right now. Why do you Maybe, but the Indian boy, does it he does he have it in him? He goes oh. slow ball. That's a good Let's result, see, you know. Six yeah. and four. Mine yeah. coming with fiery celebration loading. Abbas Kundi saying, oh, that'll be a great kiss of death from mine indeed. Oh, okay. <laughs> it that, guys, it's to Harshit also. And all you guys quickly, loving this watch along, please like it yep. immediately. For whatever reason, for Gambhir, for Stark, for Cummins, for Shreyas I returning, please. The fact that it's a humdinger and yeah. it's a watch along, we know that we've called it right. We could have done the Punjab Delhi game, but we've chosen this game. Kave ki smile lately. Many, many. Kushal. Kushal. Yeah, yeah. Kya yes, for sure. Six or four, Russell can't believe yeah, it. But this, this would be great cameo from Shabazz as well, right? 100%. He, uh, sent over Janssen and Cummins. He's done his job. 400. Six of Varun, yeah. six of Stark, and he could just finish him with sticks of uh, The only other batter who I remember in IPL history who faced five balls for 20 rounds was Krunal Pandya, who played a gem. Yeah, to it's close out in India. Yeah. It's seemingly becoming that knock. Can he clinch it? He can, maybe. No, that. Oh, is it a wicket? Yes, it's out. Oh. Look, man, you were under the ticker, under the pump. You delivered. You got class enough strike. Oh. 
you got Shabazz in, and now you can really fancy yourself against Marco Jansen or Cummins. But you called Cummins in the very end, didn't you? Maybe no. over the offside. Yeah, let's see. How many see. times has Cummins done that for Australia in recent times? Yeah, very I have well, a question. Well. But would you or send... not so in recent times. But you would still send Cummins, right? Or you go with Jansen? I go with Jansen. I think Jansen is a better six hitter. Would you say that? Or, oh, or you know what? That's a very good question. It is Jansen. Mix. It is Jansen. Okay, it is Jansen. Because okay, fair. Essentially, Cummins is a more cool, calm customer. Yeah. Maybe if they did a two three, maybe they would have said Cummins. Yeah, maybe Cummins would always, always be like six of three. We can nudge two two three twos here and bring it over. No one thinks of that. Need a super over and all this madness. Saying sports fan, sports fan, please be a. I champion. think Classen doesn't deserve a super over. So yeah. to, to be very very honest, hundred percent. I like this particular video because it's definitely going to go off the charts. The watch along has only garnered so many views, but we're hoping for more views. The morning which follows after, we'll timestamp yeah. the video for you as well in brief bits. So don't worry about that. Six of three. three. How the hell if SRH pull this back? If this match were literally 15 overs aside, you would have said 120 play 120. But it's a 20 over <laughs> game. And the last five overs have been chaotic. The death over runs, guys, has been mad. Like yeah. Hashidara to Marco Jansen. Oh, and he's got leg side. Gap? And yeah. that's it's in the gap. Oh. No, no. Just a this is suddenly bad. closed. Are we going five. down that road? Oh is it God, really a super over time? In the second game. <laughs> Of IPL 2024, oh, how are we going to see a super over? Wow. It's those dreaded two words. I was <laughs> hungry as an absolute bull, like I keep <laughs> saying. But it's fine. Cricket kibuke, as they say. Shabash. As they say. say. Avnish being in his two elements. Two elements. Have it. Speaking have of it. Kachi minis for the win. Protein bars. Please go check that out. But I'm Close out. 63 of 28. And Rio still 64. You can hit the winning runs and better his score and really put Pat Cummins on top here as captain. Oh, you're to do this! It's gonna get! Oh my god, that's a catch! What a catch! Wow! And one rolling from Hashidara. Oh my god! And tell his love to Carpenter in the IPL and Dragon Hayes and everyone saying game over, boss. You never know. Oh my god, and Again, Hashidana, he sent him off, and Heinrich Glassen oh. doesn't like it. He's told Shreya straight away about the celebration. A great slow ball, Nicks. Yeah. Have the balls and take a ball yeah, that to yeah. Glassen on a length. And, and a good catch. Great catch. Great catch. Well, yes, well done. I felt he really Brilliant. lost control, but well held. The City of Joy, the Eden, Howrah, different places in Kolkata are holding their breath. Tony Gunge, maybe, for different places. What a great as well. knock. And also great for Ashit Rana. Man, 5 of 1, Neha Das Wives. <laughs> Imagine comments doesn't make it. Imagine comments doesn't make it. Oh my god. Oh my, god. Oh. Oh oh. my word. Banger, banger catch. catch. Oh. Banger oh. game. What a game. Banger watch along. Please like it. Imagine Cummins' IPL captaincy debut. 5 of 1 and you're walking out. Quick in the iconic Quick Eden call. Gardens. You can't paint these storylines. Yeah, yeah. Quick card. 4, 6, Quick it. I think it's going to be a four. Inside it. Oh, oh man. I think it's going to be just the one. Just the one. Yeah, I think it's going to be a one or a wicket. One we'll try for the is second. Is he on the award of a five four or six four? I think he's got three. three hasn't yet, he? yeah. He's only got three, Harshitana? I believe so. He's got definitely more than three, right? But who knows? Five yeah. of one, wherever you guys are watching in the world, please hit like at cricket.com because we'll be bringing you great reactions of this in the watch along. Sure, you can watch the highlights later. Yeah. Sure, you can see your streams in later. But look, Hello. right up at his clear fat comes back. Fire one. Point, by the way, Ashit Rana. Oh, that's oh, a door. The door. Wow, the door. Well, oh, done, well done, Ashit Rana. Well done. Stuff. Absolutely top class. He got his six from three. Unbelievable. Game winning by four runs. A game which has had every close. Swung like a pendulum. But you know what they say. In a corporate culture, call HR. Damn. And God. HR deliver. Literally, guys, jokes apart, Harshit Lana, it was a big okay. test of your character. Yeah. You can give the kiss of death to Mayank Agarwal early on, yeah. but to get Heinrich Klassen out, especially yeah. him, set, Nick's. I mean, yeah. that's the game, man. Yeah, and I know, this is so good for KKR as well in terms of long term because you don't always get Indian, the Indian bowlers to bowl the end overs. Yeah. But now that they've got one, they did not go to Russell. And they bowled out Sak, who was far more expensive yeah. for Harshit Rana to deliver the goods. I think they'll be buoyed by this. They'll be you know? Exactly. Really. Like we expected Andre Russell to be yeah. bowling that last one. And then there are a few guys, because I was just looking at the Jeet, that they're so fucking relieved. Your Varun Chakravarti's. Yeah. Just maybe to an arguable stretch, Mitchell Stark. 
Yes, and he didn't look stuck. Well. All of them heaving a huge sigh of relief because Cummins, if he connected that, yeah. that could have gone to Howrah. And exactly. it could have been a different chat we're having right now. But yeah. a word on KKR. And again, I think man of the match, yes, we said early shot, Andy yeah, Russell. But oof. scrap it, delete it, it's Harshad Rana. Harshad Rana, yes, yeah. that's a good shout. For sure. Yeah. In that's a, a good shout. In a game, let's give it credit yeah. to the bowler. And to, to be fair, that celebration as well. Absolute yeah. props to them. KKR fans, how wild right. and ecstatic are you on a Saturday? Party wherever you guys are. Go out and have an absolute ball because it's going to be something to behold. Last year, it was SRH who got the points in that home encounter. But this time, it's a perfect start for Stark, for Shreyas, for Gotham Gambir and his return to the franchise yeah, that he delivered success in Silverware too. And it's been a riveting watch along as well. Knicks, I mean, honestly, we can't paint it further. But yeah. final words with you because you've called so many great things in this game in terms of prediction. Do you think it's a perfect result in terms of how the Super Saturday is all unraveled? Yeah, I think great game. Uh, both teams had their moments. And then Russell just ensured that they have enough. And then when it, SRS started, you were like, oh, 60 for one. That's exactly that the start you want. So I think it had a mix of everything. Good spin bowling, tight spell from Narayan. And then oh, what a comeback. I mean, we cricket, we always love a comeback. So I think great to see class in. Class in find a way off. Uh, oh, the... we have a winner. Oh, Sorry winner. to serve you. Well done, Jagmeet Singh O'Broy. And Shabash. that is a special shout out to you, man. Because 11 24, you called it way, 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 way ago. So, honest to you, props to you. And we'll send you those particular things that we mentioned. Just get in touch with us on X and we'll have it shot to you. A lot of things has gone on in the last 10 minutes. We all thought it was KKR for the longest yeah. time. Then SRH came back in this. Then Arshad Rana and keeping his calm. And he must be over the yeah. moon to bowl three, first of all, in the power play. And then one in the death. So Rana, not Nitish. It is Harshit. I know yeah. KKR have had Nitish Rana be part of their success in the past. But Harshit Rana is a name to remember indeed. And yeah. Russell, look at that. Okay. Because even that moment of controversy, that catch, they'll bring that out. SRH fans indeed. Can take a man out of the SA, but not the oh, SA. Out of the man. Let's and not get that's too harsh. Too harsh. Absolute salt being sprinkled, not fill, but generally whatever salt you guys use. Speaking Spam. of which, thanks for joining us, guys. It's been absolutely brilliant from my perspective to come back and do a watch along with you guys. I was at fan camps yesterday and missed out, but today again with a debutant and Jeet yesterday and debutant with me personally today. He's been brilliant. Nick's has as well always and. Uh, Shout out to our producer as well. Shout out yep. for everything brilliant. Right. Thanks for watching this. More to come on cricket.com. Go check out a huge whole host of things tomorrow. Starting with 1 p.m. and this man on my left. His fantasy previews. Not one, but two games. Yep. RR LSG. Who the captain? Who the vice captain? GTMI. Who the captain? Who the vice captain? Who to have in your playing 11s? He'll give you all the big top tips to win big. And you can win actual cash on cricket.com. So check out the fantasy with regards to that. Go check out Jeet for random cricket things. You can follow me on Instagram for some shits and giggles if you care. If that's your cup of tea. But it's been a night rider to, of course, savor with Harshit Rana. We saw a game in the west of Bulampur. We've seen it in the east of, of course, Kolkata. And as they say, east the best. Cricket is the, the best. best. Cricket.com, well, Isa Lal Kamnamde and Whistle Podu and whatever you want to say. Uh. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheers. And commiserations. Oh, it is.